Hello everyone, this is HDSKSKI here, and I am back with some more retro game action. This time it is going to be StarCraft 1. As you guys know, I've been playing a lot of retro games lately, and I really, really wanted to do a complete playthrough of StarCraft. I'm also going to be doing my playthrough of Doom, and I'm going to be following it up with yet another playthrough on top of all of the StarCraft 2 casts that I'm already doing. So I figured what better game to play than the one that started it all. So I'm going to be playing through the single player campaign of not only the original, but Brood War as well, and potentially mixing in some of the other versions of StarCraft that were released. So let's go ahead and do the original. And of course, I'm going to be none other than a husky. So if for those of you who haven't seen StarCraft 1, well, buckle up. The story is awesome. The characters are great. There is going to be love. There is going to be tears and hate and backstabbings and revenges. It's going to be awesome. So just sit back, enjoy the ride, and let's play some StarCraft 1. In the decade since the end of the Guild Wars, the oppressive Terran Confederacy has stood unchallenged in its supremacy over colonized space. All of that changed four days ago when a large alien fleet emerged from warp space and laid waste to the unsuspecting Confederate colony of Chausara. The Confederacy, fearing that the alien fleet's next target will be the colony of Marsara, has sent you to invest er, intervene. Acting as magistrate, you are to safeguard the colonists and keep their state of panic from escalating any further. So this is going to be Boot Camp, Office of the Colonial Magistrate, Marsara Kani. This is going to be kind of the starting mission, I believe. I'm just going to go ahead and skip the tutorial um, because it's Build 3 Refinery, or Build 3 Depot is a refinery and a Vespine, uh, 100 Vespine gas. So I'm just going to go ahead and skip that one. Hopefully uh, not too sad about that. Wasteland, Office of the Colonial Magistrate on Marsara Colony. has quarantined this entire planet and we'll proceed with a lockdown within 48 hours you're to relocate your core colonists to the outlying wastelands now i know there won't be any problems with these new arrangements transmission ended i've contacted the local marshal james rayner rayner has agreed to meet your personnel on route and escort them to the new wasteland site. All right, so during this, I'm going to try and turn the volume up and down so that you can hear all of that uh, dialogue, but also hear me right after. So you can select multiple units. Um, that is good to know, obviously. And uh, also... Okay. All right, there we go. Oh, the music is so good. And uh, this first video is going to be for sound balancing, so if there's any sound issues, just let me know um, if the volumes are low or anything like that. But there's Jim Rayner. Oh, okay, well, he didn't have a whole lot to say. But Rainer must survive. No, Rainer, don't you do it. Obviously, we should send in the SCVs to do it. And, oh, here's the base. All right, so let's get these bad boys to work. Everyone who is not an SCV, preferably the Marines and this guy. Come here, Jim. Come on. Okay, I didn't even see what my mission objectives are. So build a barracks, train 10 Marines, and Rainer must survive. Don't end mission. Almost ended the mission there. So there's only about four mineral patches here, so not a whole lot going on. Rainer, this is the town you've been overseeing. This town is pretty janky. It's like four mineral patches, a supply depot, and a command center. Not a whole lot to do here in this town. So SCV, go ahead and get back to work. Now, some of the awesome quirks about StarCraft. Number one, there's no auto mining, so you cannot tell your units to automatically mine. You have to individually tell each worker to uh, begin mining. You can set rally points, but you can't really see where the rally point is unless you click on the building and it highlights it there. There's no giant line. There is no multiple building selection, so I cannot select the command center and a supply depot. I cannot select multiple barracks. Um, so something to keep in mind there. The unit pathing is very poor. 
compared to, um, you know, other StarCraft 2. I almost said other StarCraft games, but there's really only StarCraft 2. And uh, you really have to rely on your micro to play to the best of your ability. Let's go ahead and scout around up here. I don't think we're supposed to kill all this stuff, but who cares? Because killing Zerg bugs is always fun. There's an expansion up here. Should I need to take it? And I already forgot my mission objectives. I'm sorry. Previous mission objectives. Build a barracks to train 10 Marines. Okay, so barracks and 10 Marines. Gotcha. Easy peasy. Um, you can actually do queuing up commands. That's something that most people don't actually know about Brood War. You can queue up one command. I believe that this guy will begin building after he makes the supply depot. But you have to queue it up before he builds, if that makes sense. But uh, this map, or this game is so awesome. If you guys have not played the original Brood War and StarCraft 1, you need to. It is so good. Just know it's it's very archaic compared to what we are used to um, in StarCraft 1. So we're just going to build up a whole bunch of Marines and kind of wait for that. So the Marine counter has been activated. Ah, it's already counting my first five. Thankfully, I didn't kill any of those ones off. So hopefully, I don't end up losing any. I don't want to lose those because i got to remake them. Um, and yeah, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Of course, the first mission is going to be a little bit boring here. But uh, I'm making a bunch of Marines. I have six right now, and I am making four. So we, I might as well just scout out with Rainer. Why not increase my chances of losing this game by uh, getting a little cocky? Moving out with Jim Rainer to uh, kill off all these Zerglings. So, oh yeah. Oh, awesome micro. Look at me tricking out that Zergling. You are so dead. You are so dead. And there we go. Boom. Hold position, micro. Here we go. Yeah. Come on, Jimmy. You can do it. You can do it. There you go. Good old Jimmy. This is Jimmy. Oh, yeah. Let's see. I can place a spider mine. All right. You guys ready for this? Hopefully, I don't blow up myself. All right. Spider mine. Go, go, go. Oh, that felt so good. Did it? Yep. It almost killed that Zergling as well. Kill off this Zergling. Boom, baby. Maybe I'll play two missions. One mission is, is kind of easy. But uh, you got to remember, this is the very first, ah, very first mission in the entire StarCraft franchise. So this is, yes, victory. So this is the uh, the start of it all. So to say, there is the victory screen. Unidentified creatures were just killed off by myself. Spoiler alert, there's Zerg. And let's see, Backwater Station, which is Office of the Colonial Magistrates. So here we go. Receiving incoming transmission. Comlink established. Hey, what's up, man? Got your refugees tucked in nice and tight. Provide you can sidestep any more surprises from our Confederate friends and we can keep them away from those critters. They should have an easy time. Priority alert. Backwater station under attack by unknown alien organisms. Distress beacon activated at 0658. Alerting Confederate headquarters on Tarsonis. Stand by for incoming transmission. We've already received the distress beacon from Backwater and we'll take care of it. You just sit tight. You'll be notified if there's anything we think you need to know. Damn. Listen, if we wait for Confederate reinforcements, that station's dust. I'll head out there now and do what I can. You sit in some militia, and we'll save those folks. Trust me. I trust you, Jim. I just think we're going to make Mr. Duke there a little upset with, you, with us. All right, so I don't really need any tips. Time to kick some serious butt. <laughs> ah, had to cough, man. It's this dust on the map that we're on. SCV, good go, sir. I think you can actually, like, lift this off. Can't you, like, lift this off and land it closer? Yeah, you definitely can. So let's uh, let's save some mining time, guys. Let's go ahead and relocate the command center. Something that's different from StarCraft 1 and StarCraft 2 is your command center floats so very, very slowly. All your buildings do. You can lift off your engineering bay, which you cannot do in StarCraft 2, um, which everyone was kind of shocked when we discovered that you can't do that because I think what they wanted to do was not have any floating buildings that weren't able to produce units. I think it was to discourage you know, just floating a ton of buildings all over the map. Um, obviously, for those of us who play on the North American server, we know that people still do indeed float buildings all over the map, regardless of if they have won or not. Um, that's just kind of, it's the North American way, man. We're all about BM and not very Kai on the skill calendar. So it does look like, uh, I got my little attack force over here. I'm pretty sure there's nothing up here 
worth me killing? No, nope, I don't even need to kill those. Don't even need to bother, because I know which way to go. We are going to be heading up north, and I believe, yeah, there's some guys over here. You guys are trying to set a trap, but that's not going to work on me. Ain't going to work on me. Okay. The hotkeys are also hilarious. Like, hotkey for Marine is M. Oh. Looks like the ground here is alive. No, my Marines. You must micro away. And I think this will be enough workers. I can build a refinery just for fun. I mean, why not? Why not? We'll set the rally point up here. Okay, there we go. Oh, here's another town. What's going on, guys? But they could be pretty useful. Well, duh. Yes, fire bats. And just remember, you can't it's select multiple buildings. You have to individually make these guys, which is just hilarious to me. I'm going to get my macro going. Probably a bit overkill on the macro, but it'll pay off in the later maps where they get a little bit more difficult. You know, you got to practice. You got to do well. And remember, there's no medics in uh, StarCraft 1. So there's, it uh, looks like I'm out of hotkey already. You can only hotkey, I believe, what is it, 12 units? 1, 2, 3, yep, 12 units at a time. Come on, fire bats, we need you. Oh, we need you so bad. Okay, so I lost a couple Marines in that engagement, which is fine as long as Jim Rainer's still alive. These guys going back to work. Oh, and you also have to do the add-on for Comstat. This is for scanning. It's actually an add-on on the side. Kind of like Barracks, how they have add-ons in StarCraft 2. It's very, very similar to that. Apparently my forces are under attack. Oh, a Hydralisk. Hero, go ahead and kill you guys off. All right. My army's starting to look pretty dope, although you may be taking a lot of damage. Also, another thing to note is, um, oh, shoot, where's my Jim Rainer? Is that there is a high ground advantage in StarCraft 2 that is very, very relevant. That's something you definitely have to pay attention to. You have like a 30% chance to miss units on the high ground. Ow, these Hydralis are pretty good. And so if you're fighting up a hill, the, the act of them attacking will reveal that there's someone attacking you, so you can actually view the high ground and kill them off. But uh, they have a huge advantage in their... Okay, I keep trying to select multiple buildings, but you can't quite do that. Here we go, let's scan. I don't know where... Oh, apparently it's S. Boop. Some more guys down there, but that's fine. We'll kill off. I think we have to kill all the buildings. I'm not sure. But killing buildings is always fun. All right, let us push to the north. Burn it, boys. SCV, good to go, sir. All right, let's kill off this ugly ass infested command center. Sounds fun. All right, so uh, did a pretty good job cleaning out that Zerg infestation. No sign of Protoss, which uh, I don't remember when the first time you see Protoss is. It's definitely been... I can't even remember. I'm just still making SCVs because why not? All right, we took that one out. Oh. By destroying the vital Confederate installation, you and your men have violated standard colonial law. Oh, shut up. As of right now, you're all under arrest. I suggest you throw down your weapons and come peaceably. Are you out of your mind? If we hadn't burned that damn factory, this entire colony could have been overrun. Maybe if you hadn't taken your sweet time and get there. Now, I asked you last the first time, boy didn't come here to talk with you. Now throw down them weapons. Guess you wouldn't be a confederate if you weren't a complete pain in the ass. True that, Jim Rayner. True that. Alright, so the first two missions have been completed. There's many more on the way. I believe it's like 10 to 12 missions per race. And there's two games. Uh-oh, Premier Patrol. Confederate. Border Colony, Marsar. We better turn this up. Kind of spooky. Is that a Hellion? AC 
Sarge. Why we always gotta listen to this shit for anyway? Cause I'm in charge, that's why. Oh, it don't seem like no good kind of reason to me. Hey, what's that? Hold on a minute, second. Looks like you mashed some poor feather's dog, Sarge. It's a Zerglin, Lester. Smaller type of Zerg. But he can be out this far unless... Oh, shit. I love you, Sarge. <laughs> Whoopsies. Well, that was a romance that was never meant to be. Desperate Alliance. Receiving incoming transmission. Com link established. I got your message, Magistrate. And frankly, I don't care what you have to say about Confederate regulations. You damn fringe world yokels are all alike. I don't know where your loyalties lie. Y'all have a real good day now, you hear? Transmission ended. The report you requested is ready. Sixteen outland stations have reported sightings of the alien invaders identified as Zerg. The Confederates have arrested all standing militia forces and continue to avoid action against the Zerg. Three stations have fallen to the Zerg already. We've been unable to locate any source of military relief except the extremist faction known as the Sons of Korhal. Their liaison is holding online. Good day, Magistrate. My name is Arcturus Mensk, and I represent the Sons of Korhal. You are familiar with the Confederate propaganda surrounding my group, but your reputation suggests you'll see past it. It's never been our practice to operate in any one place for long, but these Zerg don't look like they're going to wait. I'm going to make you an order, Magistrate. I'd like to help you out by sending down a number of transports to your colony and evacuate any survivors. You know, of course, that operates outside the bounds of Confederate law. That's why they spread their lies and misinformation. If you decide to accept our help, you'll be branded as an outlaw too. But it's a chance to save those people. Time to make a stand, Magistrate. Ending transmission. Priority alert. Evacuation zone under attack by Zurich forces. Distress beacon activated at 1220. All right, well, I guess we know where we're headed in our next video. Man, we're just making that old Duke guy all sorts of pissed off at us. So, uh, yeah, let me know how the audio levels are. Hopefully the frame rate's good, video's good. God knows the game is good, because this is the original, man. This is some OG stuff right here. Do keep in mind that they released Brood War, I think, like six months after this game came out. So, uh... Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of games to be played. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Definitely pay attention to the storyline. So so far, we got introduced to the hero of StarCraft 2, Jim Rayner himself, and we helped, I guess, kill Zerg Bugs as colony. Then we helped save another colony, and now we're going to help save yet an additional colony. So we're just running around all over the place saving a bunch of people. We're gonna find out if I can survive for 30 minutes in the next video. Hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys next time. Hello everyone, this is HDS Kieski here, and I am back with some more StarCraft 1 playthrough campaign action. So we're going to continue right where we left off, which was Desperate Alliance. Let's go ahead and see what they have to say on the office of the Colonial Magistrate, Marsara Colony. Receiving incoming transmission. Com link established. I got your message, Magistrate. And frankly, I don't care what you have to say about Confederate regulations. You damn fringe world yokels are all alike. Don't know where your loyalties lie. Y'all have a real good day now, you hear? Transmission ended. The report you requested is ready. Sixteen outland stations have reported sightings of the alien invaders identified as Zerg. The Confederates have arrested all standing militia forces and continue to avoid action against the Zerg. Three stations have fallen to the Zerg already. 
We've been unable to locate any source of military relief except the extremist faction known as the Sons of Korhal. Their liaison is holding online. Good day, Magistrate. My name is Arcturus Mengsk, and I represent the Sons of Korhal. You are familiar with the Confederate propaganda surrounding my group, but your reputation suggests you'll see past it. It's never been our practice to operate in any one place for long, but these Zerg don't look like they're going to wait. I'm going to make you an offer, Magistrate. I'd like to help you out by sending down a number of transports to your colony and evacuating any survivors. You know, of course, that my organization operates outside the bounds of Confederate law. That's why they spread their lies and misinformation. If you decide to accept our help, you'll be branded as an outlaw, too. But it's a chance to save those people. Time to make a stand, Magistrate. Ending transmission. Priority alert. Evacuation zone under attack by Zerg forces. Distress beacon activated at 1220. Okay, so we're going to get this mission started. Before I start really quick, I just want to say I have turned up the in-game volume, so I do apologize if you can't hear me as much. I also turned on the unit portrait subtitles, so anytime one of the characters talks. So if you can't hear me, that is simply why I figured the game sounds are so awesome. And here we go. Kyrie, this thing's on fire! You ought to send an SCP out here to repair it. You can fix my bike up too while he's at it. Well, I can see your guys' problem right here. You don't have anyone doing anything. Went and get these guys mining. And I th is this one of those where I can just lift this off and put it closer? Yes, it is. Oh, Blizzard. Making me have my buildings so far apart for absolutely no reason. All right, we fixed that one up. Get you guys going again. No, you got you up there. You, you don't have any minerals to return. Okay, so we'll put this guy up here. So this is a mission that is timed. There's a timer up in the top center. So this video will be about 30 minutes long. But you also got to remember that the uh, Blizzard time does not work like other people time. It works like Blizzard time, man. They do whatever they want. Where is I under attack? Oh, clean that up. Easy peasy. I ain't got to fix up your bike. You're just a stupid culture. You are not worth my time. Yeah, let's put you over there. And uh, on this map, I have actually beat it before. Where I um, I actually moved out because you can you can move out and kill the Zerg on this map, completely kill off all the bases and everything. But I don't know if my skills are quite up to par to where they need to be. I feel like it's a little too far out there. All right, there is that okay? Are you gonna move over? There we go. So I'm just gonna be making a lot of SCVs. Make sure my units are kind of spread out here. And uh, yeah, for those of you who have not played StarCraft One. Definitely watch the series um, that I'm going to be uploading, mostly just for the plot points, because the story in StarCraft 1 is really good, and the StarCraft and Brute War is very good as well. Um, I'm going to be playing through both of those games, just because I love them so much. And uh, if, if you don't watch me play and fumble around the game, that's fine. But I, I definitely think that any any fan of StarCraft should at least know the story. Um, it, it really makes me look forward to Heart of the Swarm, which I think is going to be an awesome, awesome game. Um, the story, I don't know if I'm sold on yet. I'm kind of curious to see exactly how that one goes. Um, if you guys haven't seen the previews for that game, then uh, definitely check them out. They do have quite the interesting story, not anything that I was expecting by any means. And here comes another attack, but we should be okay. Really, who needs, a, who needs an engineering bay? Not this guy. And, yep, I should have enough SMEs going on in there. Oh, I need more depots. That's that's a poopy situation to be in. Embarrassing! All right, so there we go. And uh, I do know that later... I'm trying to remember playing this as a kid. I think they send mutilists my way. That's something that I need just a couple turrets to defend against. And down... Oh, not up minerals. This is not StarCraft 2, Husky. They do not take the minerals until you start building the building. There we go. And supply depot nearly done. That. Where's the SCV? Oh, there he is. Um, and another interesting, interesting thing is that you can actually queue up commands. I know I talked this about this a little bit in the previous video, but I just found it very interesting because I don't think I ever did that in StarCraft 1. Where's my Marine at? When I played as a kid. Come on, Marine. You can make it through the mineral line. There you go. Back to the mineral line. Okay, so put a missile turret up here. Oh, you can't build up here. I thought you could. Well, fine. 
We're not gonna build one up there. But I feel like this mineral line's a little a little defenseless without it, so we're gonna go ahead and build one over there. And I guess just make a bunch of marines for now. Um, they'll also start to send out hydralists and because hydralists you gotta remember are tier one in StarCraft one. They well you can get the hydralist in before layer 10 basically. Yeah, there we go. Pull out that hydra. I could also research spider mass. But I almost finished like pure marine is the way to go here. Also, not getting supply blocks again. It's a good way to go as well. I wonder how it would happen if I put a supply depot here. Let's just try. Let's see what craziness happens when I build a supply depot right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and build that. And got my defenses going, got all my marines loaded up. And you gotta remember this is StarCraft 1, so there is no medics. No medivacs as well. So this is not poor. The campaign gets a lot easier once you can make medics. That is for sure. All right, get these guys mining. Um, you want to try to individually tell your miners to mine specific patches because they're kind of stupid and they'll get stuck on the same side over and over. So just try and tell them to mine the more further out ones. Okay, so that's done. And I can build another supply depot. Yeah, I don't want to build one that far. That's kind of that's getting kind of weird. Now we'll do marine range. Oh yes, you could increase the marine range back in the day. As if they don't have enough upgrades in StarCraft 2 though. So they do have quite a few. Alright, marine, marine. I'm not even gonna need that much gas. I'm wondering if I should make, should I make spider mines? I guess I should, I should show off spider mines, right? Oh, I heard a beetleist die. That's because they suck and they got moved right away. This bunker's not even in range. Put my ultra up there. I guess, I guess I'll make a factory. I'll, I'll show you guys what's up. What's up with the spider mines? They are so good. I'm also learning that you have to hit the keys, at least on my keyboard, you have to hit the keys much harder in StarCraft 1. It's so sensitive in StarCraft 2. Okay, come on, build some mighty foam. Come on. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. So basically this mission, we are helping out Arcturus Minx, which for the- oh, did you get stuck in there, SCV? Oh well. It's been nice knowing you. Not really, because you're dumb enough to get stuck. But is it my fault or the SCV's fault? That's the that's the real kicker. What? What? Oh, stim pack. I, I don't even know if I want to use stim pack because there's no medics, so my guys will just stim themselves to death. Um, I can't increase that though. Let's go ahead and work on the attack upgrade. Okay, so I should have enough SCVs now. And as long as I keep making marines the entire time, I should be okay. And then I'm going to work towards spider mines. I don't even need this much gas. I feel like one guy on gas is going to be enough. No, return your cargo. Return your cargo and then go there. Okay. So I'm going to have that on the way. I could build another barracks and just basically rally this one to right here. I have a lot of Marines. I probably honestly could make enough Marines to go kill them. Just rely on spider mans or spider mines, man, to hold everything else off. Add on complete. Let's get some spider mines, baby. We are working on those. Oh, did I lose that Voltron on the high ground? Oh, no, he's down here. Okay. I'll lay out the spider mines once I'm ready. The spider mines as Protoss were so terrifying to me. Every time I played a TVZ or a TVP, I just hated my life. Absolutely hated my life. Um, should I make a CompSat station? Sure, why not? I'm not making anything else right there. And, yep, I guess I'll just keep making Marines. I could make some Vultures as well. I just feel like Vultures are not that good at killing off Hydralis. I just know the second I move out, it's going to be all Hydras all day. And I could research STEM. If I wanted. Sure, why not? What's under attack? Where is it? Oh, this one, Muta. Muta is very weak to Marines, as one might suspect. And I'll put another right here just in case. All right, so the scan is S hotkey. Let's see what's over here. Oh no, one creep colony. And can't queue up armor or anything. So there we go. So now that the bolters are done, I'll show you how the mines work. So basically you just lay a mine, and anytime you think it's next to it, they get blown the F up. And so I'm gonna put these around a little bit. Maybe put another one further up here. And then tell him to come back. So he should plant that mine and then come back. Oh man, queuing commands is so good. This would have made me so much better at StarCraft 1 if I knew about this. And we'll send this guy as well. Keep blasting out the Marines. And I need a supply depot. Research. You need to make a supply depot. You need to go up there. Okay, so you build a mine there. There. And maybe I should make another barracks. What do you guys think? Get some three racks action going on. Oh no, a hydralisk! Retreat! Plant a mine. Okay, oh, oh. Oh, you better not come down here. What? By what? Oh, my spider mines. Here it goes. Boom! 
Boom! Only killed one Ling, that's fine. That's like, no big deal. Okay, so we got Marines rolling out like crazy. Oh, this guy never built a barracks, what happened? You need to come up here and repair. Anyone down here? Not quite yet, we got a lot of Marines going on down there. Okay, so I now have stim pack. I was gonna be careful. It was so funny the first time that I uh, I went over to Kurtz the last time when we were working on Nerdy and I know it. I think I said this in another video, but I don't know if you guys watched that video or not. But um, we were playing StarCraft. He hadn't played it in a long, long time. He's a very, very busy guy. And uh, we, we were playing online, and right when his opponent attacked, Kurt actually had a superior army, but then he spammed the stim attack, so his entire army went down to 10 HP. And the Protoss player laughed at him. It was so funny. Because Kurt had not played in a really, really long time. Okay, so we got Command Group 1. So there's Command Group 1. This is going to be Command Group 2. Add some more guys to it. Command Group 2. I'm going to keep them inside my base for now. I think I want to get three Command Groups. Come on, give me, give me some more guys. Okay, so this will be Command Group 3. It's so hard to move a lot of units on this map, or on this game, rather. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally gonna push out. Screw waiting around, man. Wait and put all my SCVs on mining. You gotta remember that uh, SCVs are kind of really dumb. So, or really any worker in this game is really, really stupid. So you have to, the more you make, the better. Unlike in StarCraft 2, where you can actually oversaturate. There's really, really no such thing in StarCraft 1. It always helps mine a little bit faster. Of course, you know, if you have like 200 SCVs on one place, then it's probably too much. Okay, so we want to... Oh my god, we're almost ready. We are almost ready. You guys are prepared for the awesomeness that's about to ensue. Alright, so you rally up here. I'm just gonna keep making Marines as well. Come on, guys, you can do it, you can do it. Make your way through the base. There's no auto repair in this game either. All right, what's the worst that could happen? Let's go. Let's go ahead and move out. You gotta remember that the pathing is really, really bad this game. Um, there we go. Uh oh. Here we go. Gym these guys. Oh yeah. Retreat. All right. Take it out. All right, well, hotkey group number three has lost quite a few units. Let's go ahead and replenish these. Oh, I feel like my, all the, these guys are stuck, actually. So we need to lift this off with a piece of here. Ow, ow, stim a couple of these guys, just one. Just the one. He's the drug addict anyway. Oh no, oh no. My reinforcements. My reinforcements. Quick SCB, repair it. You can do it. It's gotta be totally worth it. I don't even know where my army is marching off to, but surely it's going to be a okay. Oh, oh goodness. Oh goodness. We're killing some overlords up here. Ooh. I'm gonna take some of these guys. Some. Oh, oops, I brought up Wasteland website there by accident. Okay, where is. Three? There we go. Alright, moving forward, stim a couple guys. Stim the ones in front. They're the ones dealing the most damage. I was constantly sending in reinforcements each time someone dies. It's like, oh, you just got drafted into the suicide army. Have fun. I feel like this is a lot easier than I remember. Maybe I'm just that much better at video games. Oh, you guys, why are you not helping down here? You should probably definitely help out. Oh no, no vulture. You can do it. I'm trying to regroup my guys, but they're so far spread out. I think I messed up my hotkeys. All right, you're the new hot group number one. So you guys stay over here. Okay, you're the new number one. You guys can be the new number two. Oh, these guys keep getting home. Oh no, I messed up my hotkeys again. Oh no, my micro is falling apart, guys. All right, here's hotkey group number one. So let's go ahead and send them in. And these guys will be number two. We'll add, give them some reinforcements, help their morale a little bit. Hotkey group number two. 
And three is going to be these guys. Don't worry, I'm just going to clean these up, man. I'm just going to clean them up before the dropships even get here. Oh, you can be, you can be number three as well. Okay, there we go. Let's see, is there anything up here? I could scan a lot, I guess. I don't see anything up there. Just a couple of things. And there's some more stuff up here as well. Alright, so might as well come up here. And three. I feel like I need another barracks. This is just not spending all my money. My macro's off the charts! Alright, well this is going swimmingly so far. You're, you're really just supposed to sit in the base, but they did not know I've been playing this game for 12 years. Ah! Got some Korean micro going on, only that. Okay, I'm pretty sure that once it gets to the countdown timer anyway, it just spawns a bunch of units. And there's really not a lot you can do to prevent it. Oh, did I mess up my hotkeys again? No, no, I'm okay. I'm okay. Two could use some reinforcements. Let's see, this is... Yeah, three needs reinforcements as well. Stemmed. Yeah, look at the pathing. This is how pathing is on StarCraft 1. All your units go in a line. And that's why a lot of times you would see multi-prong attacks and things like that in StarCraft 1. You do not see that as much in StarCraft 2. You see it with Zerglings, but uh, Protoss especially is really difficult to do that with. Um, Terran kind of do it, but it's mostly drop based, not ground attack based. Okay, well, I don't know where else to go right now. Do I have enough energy for a scan? Oh, I should get the hotkeys. It's different. Yeah, I go ahead and go up here. Do send one up there. One up there. Get some crazy split action going on. I need our some lighting over here. Soon. I'll build it right there. Perfect. Oh, there's some stuff here. That's it. On this one. Let's see. Yeah, go ahead and break up here, but I think that's going to be it for this one. I remember always trying to do this as a kid, and I could just never figure out how to kill the Zerg this quickly. Unfortunately, I don't think you get anything awesome for doing this. Other than, you know feeling awesome about yourself. I feel though like I should probably expand, so let's go ahead and take the Zerg base. Right, uh, sure, right there. Might as well expand, I don't see why not. And I wonder if the, if the Zerg actually took that back yet. Sometimes they do. They'll take it. Nope, I killed everything off. Oh, there is an Overlord though. Obviously I should stem some Marines over there to kill us. Oh, uh, yeah. I gotta be honest, when Marines take drugs, it I feel like they make recreational drug use sound cool. Because they sound like they're having so much fun. Yes, kill the Overlord. Woo, that was a little bit overkill. Alright, well, good thing I got my expansion on the way. Sure, why not build a fire bat? Just because I have so much money. Well, yeah, I am out of money pretty soon. Run right away, sir. Give me some issue. I'm gonna rally these guys up here. At this point, we just sit back, relax, wait for the show to begin. And of course, I'll have my expansion. Let's see if he's gonna build another expansion. He has enough money. And he was three resources short, so there we go. Alright, so we got some fire bats going on. Look at fire bats, they are so awesome. Fire bats are so good. Look at him, man. What a total baller. If you wonder what they look like when they shoot. Oh, wait, we showed you actually in the last game, but there you go. They do lots of damage to light units, so they're very good at killing Zerglings. Um, yeah. One, one funny thing about StarCraft 1 is that it doesn't tell you what damage it does versus different types, so it, it takes a long time to actually learn all of them. 
and the damage does not scale downwards. It scales, uh, or it doesn't scale upwards, it scales downwards, and it's percentage based. So if a vulture, for example, is attacking a light unit, it does 100% damage. But if it's attacking an armored unit, then it'll do less damage. I believe it's 50% damage. Um, so yeah, just something kind of interesting about StarCraft 1. So I, I feel like units don't necessarily die as quick in StarCraft 1, but I might be mistaken. Uh, I better transfer over some of my workers to my new expansion that I have going on. And I guess keep making marines at this point. Not a whole lot else to spend my money on. And I could probably even lift this off and land it closer at this point. But that's okay. Just got practice my macro for my online games of big game hunters with fans. And make this. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Now we're really, really getting this underway. I feel like this is not how they originally intended to play this. But we're going to play it this way anyway. Not enough minerals. Need more workers. Need more minerals. I set the rally point to up here. Something I forget is I always set my rally point to the wrong places. Oh my goodness, these, these mineral fields have tons of money here. Alright. I think uh, I think we pretty much got this beat. Just got to wait for a little bit. Only one minute remaining. So I have one minute one minute to finish off my base. But I must protect my newfound base. Because this base is awesome. I do not want to lose this. There's a Vespian geyser up here just all by itself. Oh, Blizzard. You make me laugh. Better scan around a lot. If you've got time to scan, you've got... Time to, I don't know what I was doing. I always hated that at work when they'd be like, if you've got time to lean, you've got time to clean. And I was like, or I'm really good at my job, so I actually made it so I have free time. Sorry that I'm not that into making hamburgers. But, uh, I was the best employee there, man. Well, actually, I actually left the hamburger bill. Oh, well, there we go. Usually they send wave after wave after wave, but uh, I kind of killed off everything, so. I guess that makes that one a little bit easier. So mission number three, I would say about as big of a success as it gets. I will check to see um, how the volumes were. It, if you can't hear me that well, it will be fixed in the next game. But uh, one of the most discussed comments was Husky, you need to turn up the volume. So we are gonna go on to, I believe video number three, but mission number four to see what happens to Jim Rayner now that he's pissed off everyone in the Terran Dominion. We'll find out after this. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. And there's Wasteland again. Hello everyone, this is HTS Yusky here, and I'm back with some more StarCraft 1 campaign action. We just completely crushed the Zerg in the last mission by moving out of the base a little bit early and just completely owning them with my intense macro. Haha, <laughs> I kid of course, but uh, we survived that one. Now let's go ahead and continue on to mission number four. This one is called the Jacobs Installation. And office of the former colonial magistrate, Marsar Colony, three hours after colonial evacuation. Here we go. Your tenure as colonial magistrate is suspended, pending an official investigation of your affiliation with the Sons of Core Hall. Receiving incoming transmission. Hey, man. Arcturus' boy sprung me from the prison ship. Apparently, they're as frustrated with the Confederates as we are. I know their reputation, but they seem to be on the level. I think Arcturus wanted to speak with you. Commander, Mar Sarah is almost completely overrun by the Zerg. The Confederates are abandoning the planet. And so are we. However, there is one thing I'd like to do before we leave. I want you to raid this colony's Confederate outpost and retrieve whatever design or weapon schematics that you can find in their networks. With the chaos of the Confederate's evacuation, you shouldn't have any trouble getting in or out of their installation. I'm into it. All right, well, if Jim Rayner's into it, I'm into it as well. And ah, uh, it's one of these missions, no macro required. This is all pure micro, baby. So I hope you guys are ready for me to get completely owned in this game. Rainer here. And let's go ahead and move out. This should be good, Jim Rayner. I love your optimism. Jim Rayner, always so optimistic. Rainer here. This is Jimmy. Go ahead, Commander. Moving out, I guess we... I already forgot what the mission objectives were, which a lot of people were laughing at me about. Um, yeah, let's kill these SCVs, why not? 
Oh, why not? Oh, some civilians? You guys aren't armed? Okay. Oh, noble Jim Rayner as always, killing off those poor civilians. Their fault for being born into the civilization, though. Am I right, guys? Oh, apparently my guys are fully upgraded as well. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Take it out. I almost wonder if it's even worth microing on some of these missions. I feel like I'm just going to do more harm than good, knowing knowing my inability to micro. Um, let's see if there's anything down here. Knowing Blizzard, there'll be like a hidden WoW expansion down here or something. You've discovered the Mists of Pandora. Oh. Well, this video took a crazy turn. Yeah, let's go this way. Yes, more civilians. More civilians. Got to get them right up here. And unload. Yes. Oh, that feels good. That probably feels better than it should. I don't know if there's something wrong with me, but... Oh, hey. Hey, guys. What's going on? Oh, yeah. You know, no big deal. Just passing through. Oh! Okay, I'm done. I promise. All right, Jim Rainer. You be careful. Anytime you're ready. One thing about StarCraft 1 that I remembered is that the heroes, you never wanted to use them because if they died, then you like lose the mission. And the heroes like don't really have special abilities, they just have abilities that their unit would normally have. So like for example, Jim Rayner has Stimpak. Um, yeah, something to keep in mind when I'm playing future missions and I'm not really using that hero very much. Am I going the right way? I feel like... I feel like this is kind of a weird way to go. But there is a marine up here, so I guess we just follow the train of death. Anytime you're ready. I feel like I don't need to go that way. This this video is probably going to be a two a two missioner, as the uh, these type of missions don't usually take that long. Compared to you know build ten bases. Okay, build this one off. Who designed this place? I feel like this place isn't actually used for anything. Like, it, this place is just all mostly hallways. Like, who thought it would be a good idea to build a hallway this long? I don't know. Maybe it was Rainer. Rainer did say Rainer here. Some more civilians. Kill these guys, because they are a plague to society. Sorry, the music's just so good. I almost don't even want to talk over it. It's just so freaking good. Oh, my firebats never get to see any action. If you know what I mean, huh? Uh, I really hope I'm going the right way, guys. Otherwise, it's going to be so embarrassing. All right, go down the stairs one at a time. And I feel like I need to be working towards the top left corner. I don't know if that's actually true, but I just feel that way. Is this where I'm supposed to be? Or am I here too early? Come on, Marine. Going up the stairs is not that hard. All right, let's see what happens. Is this the right one? Teleportation field activated. Ah, teleportation field. Okay. Got that. And I guess this is where I'm supposed to go because it did say sector two. What? Oh, shut up. Ah! I almost don't even want to use Stimpak. Because I feel like... Well, Jim Rayner hasn't taken any damage yet, so I am should be okay. I just know me, if I stem at the wrong time, my whole army is just going to get completely out. So far, I have only lost one guy, though. So I think that's a testament to my commanding abilities. Unless you're that one guy's family. But that's fine. They're all a bunch of criminals anyway. According to the lore. Although, is there really that many criminals? That's... Because I feel like not every single marine is a criminal, just the ones that you're using. On, like lost temple. <laughs> uh, oh, my army is slowly getting weakened. Although I did find another teleportation pad. After I kill these our uh, civilians. Uh, oh, here we go. Downloading files. Hey. Oh well. That was pretty quick. Quick and easy. Good, because I love macro and man. I don't like relying on my micro. So let's go ahead and go on to the next mission. That was only four, almost five minutes. That probably sounded disgusting on your guys' end, and I want to forgive myself. Uh, in the wake of the chaos resulting from the Zerg invasion, the Sons of Coral escaped with the stolen data disks. Fling to the border colony of Antigua Prime, a tourist group now plans its next crucial moves against the Confederacy. 13 hours after the evacuation of Marsar, Protoss warships took up orbit around the colony and unleashed a massive planetary bombardment. All life upon the surface was extinguished. 
I was going to read that shorter, but I thought it was going to uh, go away quicker. Revolution, secret staging area, second moon of Antigua Prime. And here we go. Hey, man. Headquarters has begun analysis of the disks. They expect to have them decoded shortly. I hope whatever's on those disks is worth it. Receiving incoming transmission from Arcturus Minsk. You and Captain Reyna have done well, Commander. I believe our efforts have weakened the Confederacy's grip on the fringe worlds. But our job out here isn't done yet. Lieutenant Kerrigan, my second in command, will elaborate. I'll get straight to the point. Our sources tell us that Antigua Prime is ready to begin open revolt against the Confederacy. Unfortunately, the Confederates seem to be aware of this as well. They've stationed a large detachment of Alpha Squadron troops there under the command of General Duke. It will be your job, Commander, to free this colony and show our good intent to the Antiguan people. Lieutenant Kerrigan will help you deal with Duke's officers. The rest of the Confederates are yours to deal with. All right, let's get this party started, man. First mission with Sarah Kerrigan. Yes, please. This is Jimmy. Anytime you're ready. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Where are you at, Kerrigan? Where are you at, darling? Hey, what you doing tonight? Anytime you're ready. Maybe we could uh go for a drink. Scouting out the area. You pig. What? I haven't even said anything to you yet. Yeah, but you were thinking it. Oh, yeah. You're a telepath. Look, let's just get on with this, okay? Right. Come on. Come on. You guys, you can't pick on a guy for having those thoughts. That's just how we're programmed. I'm ready. Plus, she is pretty hot for being in like 16 bits. Or how many bits this was. I agree. We should take you out after we take these turrets out. Just for a date. You know what I mean. Alright, let's see. No, stupid vulture. That poor marine is so dead. Vulture is definitely two shot marines. Oh, I remember this mission. I think I can, uh, let's see. Get some skills. You guys ready for this? What's the hotkey? What's the hotkey for cloak C? Alright, time for some fatty Kerrigan micro. Yeah, it's like that. Oh my god, this is taking forever. Actually, why don't I just go kill this thing? There we go. Rates are so bad versus ground anyway. Okay, let's see. Kerrigan can use her cloak ability to sneak by enemy forces, detect her users of missile turrets, and kill her. Or can detect her. Is there anyone in this bunker? Oh god, yes there is. Oh dear. That was that was not my best decision yet. Let's see, can I kill a turret? I don't know, I almost feel like I should just beef my way in here. What do you guys think? No, Jimmy, don't you die on me. Wait, I think if you... Hang on, I got, I got a, a sweet plan. You guys ready for this plan? Alright, sneaking on by. Ow, 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 okay. That's enough of that. Let's see, I hope this works. Come on, Kerrigan, you can do it. Yes! Such harsh words. All right, now all hell breaks loose. Um, does look like you need to go in that bunker. And everything else should be easily uh, taken care of. And you guys can just go back over here, just a bunch of SCVs. All right, taken care of. And if I remember, yep, there's a bunch of stuff down here. Commander, I'm picking up a large Confederate strike force advancing on our position. Well, they're not wasting any time. What now? Alrighty. Gonna group together all my new found friends. 
And this is basically where the macro machine starts. Go ahead, Commander. No guys in these bunkers down here. I'd probably kill this turret if I wanted to. No, not the raid, don't you dare. That'd be the biggest, like, most cost inefficient way of killing off a missile turret ever. This is Jimmy. Standing by. Standing by. Alright, so now I just start mining these up like crazy. I'm just gonna make a ton of SCVs because I need a ton of SCVs. Making the other stuff isn't all that important right now. And I remember that they dropped me at some point. I just don't know what angle they dropped from. Oh no! I think he got the first shot off. Come on! Oh, well, that was short lived. Alright, I'm gonna put Kerrigan in a bunker. My luck, she's just gonna run off and get killed. You can come down here into that. I almost feel like I should expand right away. I think I'm gonna do that. Just go ahead and move down here. Still make workers, but go ahead and throw down an expansion just to get it going. Because there's one, two, three, four, five different batches. Good enough for me. Wow, this is a lot of mineral patches up here. But I'm greedy. I don't know what angle I should put this at. Like right here? Down here? I guess right there. Oh, the music's so good. Just listen to it for a second. Oh, that music is so good, guys. Please bring that music back. It is so amazing. I freaking love that music, man. It's so good. Okay, I definitely need the add-on. And then on weird, this may sound super well, mineral patches like this that are really weird, I like to mine out the edge ones first because then they can get around it a lot quicker. I don't know, maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just crazy. Which is a distinct possibility. Now, let's see here. Should I just go Mass Marine? Do I get tanks yet? No, that's only for vultures. So I guess Mass Marine it is. Which means I need some dropships. I also need some more at depots. Alright, get this guy's expansion going. Yeah, I love playing a macro mode game, which may be a little bit overkill for the campaign, but uh... I'm okay with it. I am okay with that. So it's going to take a little bit just to build up the macro. And then I'm going to start mass dropping right here at some point. Got to get a lot of dropships going first, though. And also, I wonder if I should, like, completely unload my bunkers or not. The engineering Bay, yo. What happens if they attack me with wraiths? I already lost my first wraith. Need more money. And you gotta remember that in StarCraft 1, your SCVs bring back more minerals. I believe it's 8 per trip, whereas in StarCraft 2, it was 5. Um, I think they had to bounce it a little bit just because the miners are so much more intelligent in StarCraft 2 than they are in StarCraft 1. So that kind of makes sense, I suppose. I'm just gonna make one wraith. Wraiths, I feel like, are such an awesome unit. Okay, you need to build a missile turret right there. And work on infantry upgrades. Look at this, I'm playing such a macro game. I got so many workers going now. SCV, good to go, sir. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Okay, my income is going to be awesome Order for just a moment. Orders cap. Go ahead, Okay, those guys are going. Now I guess I'm going to begin the marine go, production. Not enough minerals. Not enough I'm working on the attack and armor upgrades. I got my wraith going. Reporting in. Oh, I'm just gonna have him patrol right here. I'm try and set up a defensive perimeter. Got my missile turret. Just gonna put one more right there. And honestly, I think that's all I'm gonna do for missile turrets. 
Yes, sir. Maybe one right here, just in case. No, that's a horrible spot for Mr. Turret. No, don't do it. Right there. Much better. Alright, three dropships should be pretty good. In transit, HQ. Let the marine production begin. Oh, where's that at? Oh. Okay, they probably attacked the most horrible spot to attack ever. What? More depots? I thought I had a guy on it. Ah. Oh gosh darn, SCVs build more depots. Go ahead, HQ. In the box. No, idle workers. Get back to work. Additional supply Oh shush. They are on the way. We don't need we don't need a place to live for everyone. God, the music is so good, I cannot get over it. Come on, you don't get stuck back there. That's one thing I always loved about StarCraft 1, is that those guys would get stuck all the time. Alright, I'm gonna have so many Marines. This is gonna be sick! Nope, stop making SCVs. I'm in macro mode, I need to be in make units mode, which is also macro mode, but that's fine. You guys know what I mean. Alright, so let's take out half the units out of each bunker. Let's put Jim Rainer back here so he doesn't die. And this is where we take all the Marines, and we're going to put them all down here. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Make some more dropships. Get these guys going down. Oh my goodness, my army is growing at a rapid pace. I feel like I should repair this one just in case. Okay, I definitely need more med or more not medivacs dropships. Load them up. Come on, guys, get in there. Nobody lives forever. Alright, time to move out, man. What's the unload button? You is unload. I'm too used to uh, StarCraft 2. Must make more depots. Must make more dropships. Do I still have guys in here? Unload! Unload! Oh, it's just one guy. Figures. Charge! Alright, we'll see what happens. By the looks of it, they have a lot of stuff down here. Come on, Marines, you've got this. You've got this. I really hope they don't have siege tanks on this map, because that would really suck. Chop. For those of you who don't know, a lot of what the dropship says is from the movie Aliens. If you don't believe me, go watch the movie Aliens. Plus, you should watch it anyway, because that movie is freaking awesome. Alright. We are moving right along. Oh, no! Spider Mine! Oh, that was close. That was close. You do not want to get hit by Spider Mines. Give me Mass Marine wins every time. Well, that's really the only option you can do on this map, unless you want to get race, but nobody makes race. Yeah, killing them off. Watch out for spider mines, guys. That's your only objective, is to watch out for spider mines. Man, my, my forces are looking pretty good. Ah! Watch out for the spider mines. Alright, this will be my mind clean my mind sweeping team. Yes! Good job guys! Find another spider mine quick! See Oh, I guess there's no spider mines. I'm having a total brain fart. Where do you even research stim pack? I'm having like the biggest brain fart ever. 
Your forces are under attack. Go ahead, Commander. He moves forward. I wish you guys shoot the thing that's killing you instead of the building. That would be. That'd probably be good. That would be good. Better make more Marines. Have a Marine conference down here. Yes, kill them all. Slay them all. The only, my only regret is that there's not more civilians to kill off. Ah, the Academy, that's where it's at. I forgot about the Academy. Back in StarCraft 1, you had to make a separate building for unit upgrades for your bio. Yes, victory! That was, uh, that was pretty quick, actually, compared to how long that used to take me as a kid. I'm kind of curious as to exactly what the elapsed. Yeah, 14 and a half minutes, not bad. Not bad, not bad at all. So that's going to stop this video for now. We are going to continue on to the next mission, which is mission number six. Is that right? And uh, definitely the plot is going to thicken. As the games come up, a lot of you already know the plot, but some of you may have never played StarCraft 1, and you are missing out on an awesome game and an awesome story, but I guess you're not missing out on the story at least, as we're going to be continuing it here in the next video. So I hope you guys enjoy it, and of course, I'll see you guys next time. Hello everyone, this is HDSKSK here, and uh, ugh, I am back with some more StarCraft 1 campaign playthrough. We will do formalities and introductions in just a moment, but we're going to continue, and I don't believe we watched the cinematic that we unlocked here, so this is called The Downing of Narad 2. More like Antigua Shipyard. Snap, it's Guardians, which can't attack air. But the Scourge can! Boom! Scourge OP, man. Well, down it goes. That was pretty easy, it only took one Scourge. Alright, so Narad 2, Secret Staging Area, Antigua Prime Colony. It appears that the Confederates are in a state of panic about the Antiguan Revolt. I'm picking up a high number of Confederate transmissions going back and forth between their outposts and their headquarters on Parsonis. Most of the transmissions are heavily coded, but wait, here's something. There's a General Duke calling from Alpha Squadron flagship NORAD 2. We've crash landed and are being hit hard by the Zerg. Request immediate backup from anyone receiving this signal. Repeat, this is a priority one distress call. Zerg? Here? <laughs> Serves them right. About time they got a taste of what it's like to be in there mixing it up. Jim, I want you to move in and save that base. I'm positive I didn't hear that right. Arcturus, have you lost your mind? Listen, I know Duke's a cold-hearted bastard, but an entire colony shouldn't have to suffer for that. Besides, a Confederate general could prove to be a powerful ally. This is an opportunity we cannot miss. I don't like this at all. I'm not asking you to like it. I'm asking you to do it. Yes, sir. Great. Let's get this over with. All of a sudden, Mr. Jimmy is like his right-hand man. I guess Kerrigan's his right-hand woman, then. Left-hand woman? Right-hand right woman? Hand. I don't know. Either way. Oh! Alright, cleaning these guys out. You guys were reminding me that I can indeed repair Jim Rayner. So, that's, uh, that's a good thing to remember. Alright, grabbing all these buildings. This is the one we are in here. Goliath Online! Oh no, repair it! Don't let it die! Alright, you go over there. You build an SCV. And uh, one thing you guys also were reminding me, or actually, no, no, no. Well, you guys were reminding me of a lot of stuff, but um, on this map, so the idea is that you want to guard this battle cruiser right here, which is a little bit smaller than actual size, as somehow all these units somehow fit. It's like, what? Why are they unburrowing? That ship won't last long against those Zerg. Oh no, stop preparing. I need the money. Stop preparing. Um. One funny thing about this map is there's a ton of Zerg everywhere. I mean, everywhere you look, there is a ton of Zerg. 
and you're supposed to fight your way all the way through to the Narad. Now the interesting thing is that you can easily beat this mission by just building a bunch of drop ships and flying them because the idea is that you bring Jim Rayner to the, the beacon right here and essentially you can just build a bunch of drop ships, fly directly, oh, they have a bunch of air defense right here, is you can fly directly over this and then just unload and beat the mission. But I, I don't think I'm going to do it that way. Also I feel like I can lift this off and land it closer. Maybe not. Maybe not this once. Uh, I don't know. I don't think that actually changed the... Uh, where it was. But yeah, um, I, I don't think I'm going to do that in this game. I know that it may make the video a little bit longer, but also I, w I used to always beat it that way and I feel like maybe maybe I should beat this like a real man by sacrificing people's lives, you know, the cool way to do things. So I am going to mostly be doing that in this game. And in goes to that bunker. There's another bunker down here. I should probably put a fire bat in this one. I feel like it's certainly going to be anywhere. They are going to be right in this bunker. And there we go. Okay, cool. So usually on these missions, what I tend to do is just build a lot of SCVs, get my macro going, get my macro on. I'm definitely a macro player if there ever was one. Which sometimes on missions can kind of suck because they expect you to be building, you know, attacking units and, you know, to defend timings that they have uh, in the game, but I don't know. I prefer just to do it this way. Go ahead and repair these guys up to defend the Narad, and uh, yeah, so pretty soon I shall begin making something other than just pure workers. I also like building refineries really early on StarCraft 1 because since your guys mine like eight gas at a time, if you just have a couple guys in there, you usually have more than enough gas. I think that's why they kind of made it in StarCraft 2 where you need two geysers with more workers. Because it makes you have to decide, you know, when am I actually getting these geysers? Because you do have to commit a lot more SCVs to it. But in StarCraft 1, just throw a couple SCVs in there. You're going to be just fine with Vespine gas for the majority of the game. I do tend to get that one relatively early. And I think I can go ahead and repair that up right now. Uh-oh, looks like the refinery is done. I'm going to throw those guys in there. And a lot of people were saying in the comments that watching these videos makes them want to play the game even more. I highly recommend it. This game is awesome. I also am really liking the Red Alert 3 campaign. I know a lot of people were uh, not liking that game, saying, you know, this game's horrible. But uh, I will just say that I'm having a lot of fun with it. Like, it's one of those things where, yeah, maybe it's not a good game. Maybe when it first came out, it was an insult to the franchise. But to be quite honest, it's a fun game to play, especially if you have a friend playing with you, because, I mean, how many RTSs have co-op campaigns? Not nearly enough. So uh, it's, it's something I'm having fun with, and hopefully you guys can tolerate it a little bit as well. But, uh, yeah. So that's what's up with that. That's actually uploading to my second channel, since uh, a lot of people saying that, that they wanted to see that on my second channel. Oh, why do they keep on growing? This is just unfair. I should probably go ahead and repair that battle cruiser up. Um, so that is on my second channel. For those of you who don't know, my second channel is youtube.com slash husky. And that, that YouTube channel is more of a... Ooh, we get an armory... Our factory. Um, let's see. I guess I'll make a factory. I wonder if I get siege tanks. If I get siege tanks, this game this map will be a lot, lot easier, but uh, right now I just don't know if that is indeed the case. I also like how repairing this battle cruiser is costing me Vespine gas, but that's fine. Ain't no thing. Did I lose a Goliath over here? I think that I did. Kind of sad about it. Oh, two little Zerglings attacking me, which is fine. I can handle those quite easily. And uh, so yeah, the, the YouTube channel is youtube.com slash husky, and that's where the red alert or stuff's going to be. That's where vlogs and stuff go when I am have time to make vlogs. I haven't had that much time to uh, make vlogs recently, but uh, using my fancy camera is definitely something I want to do. And let's put this right here. I like lifting up buildings and landing them by bunkers. I don't know. I don't know what's up with that, but uh, for now I'm going to keep making marines. And I feel like, is this enough workers? It's, it's always hard to tell in StarCraft 1 if you have enough workers because the AI is so bad on the workers that, uh, yeah, never know quite what to expect. Okay, so down there... And I feel like, let's see, can I get tanks? I don't know, I'm doing the add-on anyway, so we'll see. This could have potentially been a big waste of money because vultures are not really that good, but we'll see. We'll see if it ends up paying off or not. I definitely should make another barracks though, because marines are a pretty good unit. I also have to make the academy, huh? Yeah, I forgot about the good old academy. Um, ah, shoot, I can get Goliaths. Goliaths are pretty good. That does take an armory though. So, let's see. Build Academy. I don't think I have an Academy anymore, do I? Sometimes they hide the buildings in the base already. And then I look ridiculous because I didn't uh, 
Didn't realize that they were there. This should be enough workers now. And that bunker is going to be just fine. So let's go ahead and send out Rainer. Might as well plant down a couple of mines. Because spider mines are awesome. Okay, so definitely can't go up there. No! Get some patrol micro going. You guys ready for this? Yeah. Wait! I thought it was patrol. There we go. Or the spider mine can kill it off. That, that also works, I suppose. And I guess I don't really need... Yeah, I definitely don't need any more workers here. I'll actually lift this off and make it closer. But um, I'm not going to do that. So let's see. I'm going to make sure my supply is good. And really, I need to find out where the nearest expansion is. And I think if I leave just one green in these bunkers, I should be okay. And we'll leave the fire right in there so he's so low on HP anyway. Ah, I, I gotta be careful, Jim Rainer, because I, I know for a fact that I have lost many, many a times because I let my hero unit die. So you definitely have to be careful with that. All right, so here's Hot Key Group One, Hot Key Group Number Two, and there we go. The music is so good for Terran, and definitely need the green range. That upgrade is a necessity. And I seem to remember there being. Let's see what's over here. I can't remember exactly what's over there. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see if he gets taken out right away. Oh, there's nothing down there. Nothing really up here that I can see either. Okay, yep, just keep the green production up. And I will be moving out pretty soon. Having comp stats awesome. And let's see, just a couple of hydras burn up there. But it looks like there's a potential expansion up there. And you know me, man, I love the macro. So I need, I need the moolah. And let's go ahead and send that. No, let's send Jim Rayner. I'm feeling confident. We just have to be really, really careful. And I gotta repair him. He's gonna have an, S an SCV buddy. And. Should be okay. Let's build another supply depot. Oh! Uh, yeah, that Marine can handle that. I should probably have an SCV over here dedicated to Marine, though. Oh, oh, oh! Is he gonna handle it? Oh dear! Oh, that one circling killed it off. Now I have to. No, Marine! No, gosh darn it. Okay, the SCV took care of it. Alright, I gotta. The second I move out, man. The second I move out. Okay, so. You guys will be hot key group two. Okay, there we go. There we go. Keep making some Marines. And I'm gonna go ahead and build a command center for you. Oh, is this expansion completely free? Well, there we go. Taking my natural, baby. Alright, where's that SCV? There he is. Oh, there's some over here. Aha! I have the high ground advantage! This is sweet. Where you guys think it's going? And you need to build command center. Where's the gas? Right here? I guess right there. Alright guys, you've got this. You can do it. You have the high ground advantage. And remember, in StarCraft 1, there actually is a high ground advantage. Unlike in StarCraft 2, where if you can see the high ground, you can kill him. But the difference is that when you shoot from the high ground, it uh, does allow them to attack you. Why are these units so stupid? Like, oh, I messed up the hotkey. That's why. I've noticed that the keyboard I have is really weird when it comes to StarCraft 1. So I mess up the hotkeys a lot. But you guys come down here. You guys will be hotkey group 1. You guys will be hotkey group 2. And also be careful because spine colors are very deadly. Time to make another barracks. Okay, there we go. Hey, hey, you stop that. You stop that right now. You hey, you leave my SCV alone. What is this about? Do I have to kill more Zerg buildings here? I feel like I do. Um, let's go ahead and make an armory. Just because Goliath is so freaking cool. Yeah, I definitely have way too many SCVs here. I actually might even benefit me to transfer the right now. Just because it is completely oversaturated. Oh, I forgot to get upgrades. What? What's under attack? Stop it right now. I do need some damage. Let's put some in there. Let's put three down here just to be safe. Man, they really want to kill us at Expo, don't they? And I hate the one thing I hate about StarCraft 1 is when you transfer workers, they all mine off the same mineral patch. Oh dear. What are we doing down here? We should be okay. Yeah, that guy's gonna get taken out. Oh, only one Marine in there. Only one Marine in there. Come on, Jim Rainer. Come on, Jim, save it. 
Oh, two HP. Whew. That was definitely close. All right, let's get some more Marines down there. I feel like I, I actually do need them down there as they keep running by. Okay, so that's good. Yeah, see, like I said, the the three guys on gas end up with so much best speed gas. But now I can build Goliaths. And everyone loves a Goliath. Okay, you need to the rally point there. Get my depot going. I'm feeling pretty solid about my macro. Boom, boom, boom. And this expansion is going well. I don't even think I need to mine more gas. And uh, also, I, I can't remember if I mentioned this, but when a Vespine Geyser gets depleted, oh, this one is depleted now. But when it gets depleted in StarCraft 1, then they still they still mine a little bit of gas from it. It's just at a severely lower grade. No, you leave that into your game. Okay, I think once my once my third hot tube is ready. Go ahead, turn. Oh, it is almost ready. Go ahead, turn off. Alright, so that's good. Anytime ready. I wonder what's up here. SCV Love Song, scout up here. Leave your SCV Lover. Oh, there is something up here. And, ooh, it's a Mutalisk. Zergling, you've got this SCV. Go the distance. Look at this. They have 60 HP, man. They're so OP. Just ran past that spine crawler. Or, not spine crawler, sunken colony. Alright, we're moving out with everything we got. Making an army for backup. I'm gonna rally the army down here. Now on. Because they keep counterattacking every time I move out. And I do not like that. Building their supply depot. Goliath. You just gotta be careful because the AI is so bad. Now thankfully, they don't have lurkers. Because that would be that would be terrifying. Alright. Jim Rayner, I don't want you up in front. So let's do it this way. There we go. Yeah, take him out. Yeah, stun that one green because why not? Alright, don't you take damage, Jimmy. I'm counting on you. And I don't need to keep it. What? Oh, these guys are still okay. You guys doing okay? Goliath, you're okay? Go ahead and repair those. Alright, let's continue marching forward. I see some Zerg bugs down here. But what do you guys have? Oh, careful, Jimmy. You, you maybe stay back here. You're, you're getting too old for this. Online. Oh, I thought they burrowed the drones, but you guys cannot hide from me. My army's looking awesome. Slowly working my way towards the uh, battle cruiser. Oh my goodness, this army is great. I didn't realize that's so much stuff. I'm just gonna send these guys on an unmicroed mission. Just because uh, they're expendable, man. Stim pack is OP. Actually, I do need some of you guys to add to my groups. I feel like I definitely have this mission on lock. Okay, let's see. Oh, there's some stuff up here. I see these guys over here. Because you're off on your... Oh, they actually have uh, queens. Queens are basically the investors of StarCraft 1, only they work very differently. But they are this kind of weird spellcaster. I guess investors are kind of weird if you think about it. They're like a grub bug. And oh, I found another expansion. Not that I quite need it, but. Alright, but ow, you're puking all over me. For those of you who don't know, queens, they can do two abilities. One slows movement, which is that green thing you're seeing right now. And one basically kills a unit and spawns two groomlings. Oh, Jim Rayner, you stay safe. Drive safe. Oh, I may have just attacked my queen, but that's okay. I feel like I need another barracks. Hey, maybe even two barracks. Oh my goodness, this base is intense up here. I feel like you're not supposed to be killing this base. They even have hive tech, man. There's some ultralis spawning out of here. Oh my god, this queen is so annoying. Thank <laughs> you. 
combos, though. Even though I am losing a lot, I am making far more. Jim Rayner up to 11 kills. All right, kill this stupid Sorry, it's just so annoying. All right, we are killing off their hype tech. Also, when you kill buildings in StarCraft 1, they don't spawn a bunch of units like they do in StarCraft 2. So you don't have to babysit your guys as much. All right, maybe you guys just start marching this way and see what happens. Those are your orders. Attempt to reach that location alive. And if you die, it's okay. Because I have a lot of money to replace you. And why not kill the larva? And just got to keep an eye on Jimmy. Just got to keep an eye on him. Because my luck, he is going to get himself killed. And then that would kind of ruin StarCraft 2 for me. Because Jim Rayner would be dead. And that would be a completely different game at that point. Uh oh, I'm supply blocked. I thought I had you building depots, but it wasn't enough. I'm like almost maxed out. Ow. There's quite the range on that. Stim pack. All right, where's Jim Rayner? Where'd I put him? Uh oh. Oh, okay, there he is. All right, I think, I think we pretty much got this at this point. But yeah, this game's a lot more fun if you just don't build a bunch of dropships. <laughs> which is what I did in the past. And I think I just bring Jim Rainer down here. And why not have my guys stim themselves to death? Yeah. Not enough life remaining. Ow, you guys got this. Even though you may be softened up a little bit. And more of you are dying than is really necessary. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and figure these out and get good old Jimmy Rainer down here. Should be able to uh, put him on the fleet beacon and be just fine. After, of course, I make a couple more... Uh, Units there. All right, Jim Rayner, go ahead and get on that beacon. Oh, oh no, take your time. Take take your time, Jim Rayner. There we go. He's not the best driver. Oh, wait. What was I supposed to bring here? I think the mission objective is bring a dropship. Gosh darn it. <sighs> I guess I should actually read the mission objectives sometimes. Or let's see, previous mission objectives. Bring Rayner and two dropships. Okay. All right, fine. Read you loud and clear. Why not research armor? That would have probably saved a lot of lives. And hey, while we wait, we can kill off some more Zerg bugs. Oh my goodness, this one Marine is the last sole survivor of that uh, drug addict. Stimpaks Anonymous down there. But man, he feels awesome with his three kills. Okay, are you guys done with starport? Oh, you didn't make a second starport? Go ahead, Tarkov. Sure. There you go. Can you build that now? Thank you. Okay, so I have to make two dropships. But I have to make the control tower first. What, what am I under attack by? Oh, it's over here. Man, that's one marine. is all sorts of awesome right now. Let's send him down here. He's up to four kills. I'll even micro him against these Scourge. I don't think he's going to be able to come off, but you guys got this. Four colonies cannot attack you. I love how the AI like randomly leaves guys sprinkling around the map. Or my bad, my bad micro, I guess. Uh, so this is going to rally point right there. And I didn't know which one was going to be quicker, so... I'm guessing adding on the control tower will be quicker. I don't know. No, maybe the dropship will be quicker. But either way, this mission is nearly over. And this is the first time in a long time I've actually beat it a fun way. Like I said, you can just beat it with a bunch of dropships. But where's the fun in that? Yeah, kill the Scourge. I think you're a Marine man, four kills. And this SUV sucks. So we'll keep thinking about the game. And I think that that's pretty much... I wonder if there's anything down there. Blizzard always hides stuff. I'm going to check. I feel like there could be something hidden down here. And I'm the only person to ever discover it. And let's just, let's just check. Let's just check if there's a bunch of skeletons. Nope, nothing cool. Well, that, that big skeleton's actually pretty cool. Alright, let's bring him down there. And you guys need to use, use drugs. There we go. Enjoy your 10 second high. Alright, so that dropship is done. Moving on over. So this should be. Oops. This should be the end of the game. As we are res by the way, we're rescuing Duke. There we go. What's your angle here, Minsk? Our angle? 
I'll give you an angle, you slimy Confederate piece of shit. Jim, enough. I'll handle this. The Confederacy has fallen apart, Duke. Its colonies are in open revolt. The Zerg are rampaging unchecked. What would have happened here today if we hadn't shown up? Your point? I'm giving you a choice. You can return to the Confederacy and lose, or you can join us and help save our entire race from being overrun by the Zerg. I don't think it's a difficult decision. Join forces with you? I'm a general, for God's sake. A general without an army. I'm offering you a position in my cabinet, not just some backwater post. Don't test my patience. You've made the right choice, General Duke. I can't believe you're really gonna trust this snake. Don't worry, Jim. He's our snake now. Awkward! Alright, so surely he can be trusted. Surely he will be a very crucial part of our forces. But yeah, the game took about 22 minutes. I do believe that in-game seconds are still quicker than real game seconds, or real life seconds. But uh, yeah, beat that. And look at this, my score. I definitely carried the team on this one. Units, structures, resources, minerals mined, 15,000, because that's just how I roll. So yeah, I will be casting some more StarCraft 2 soon, continuing the campaign. And a lot of people have been asking about the Doom 2 playthrough. I will continue that shortly. I just got a little bit addicted to RTS, that's why I've been playing some Red Alert and some StarCraft, but uh, I will be back with that as well. And definitely check out my second channel if you uh, are interested in that kind of thing. It's, it's more casual, I don't upload there as much, but uh, yeah, stay tuned for more StarCraft action in the near future. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time! Hello everyone, this is ACSCSC here, and I'm back with some more StarCraft 1 original campaign action. We're going to be continuing the Terran campaign, and we have been blazing on through, so let's see where we left off. I do believe we left off at the Trump card, which sounds like a stupid reality TV show, but let's see what they have to say. The Trump card, secret staging area, Antigua Prime Colony. Commander, our position has been discovered. As of two hours ago, a large Confederate strike force arrived on Antigua Prime and established a base camp within our defensive perimeter. Arcturus Manx is calling a meeting. Greetings. I know you're all concerned about the Confederate strike force. But first, we have a grave matter to discuss. It seems our data disks didn't hold weapon designs after all. Lieutenant Kerrigan will explain. You all know that the Confederates run a program for psychically gifted humans, training them to be ghosts. Those running the program found that the Zerg are attuned to the psychic emanations of ghosts. So the Zerg are here for you, darling? <laughs> this keeps getting better and better. Shut up. There's been a lot of secret Confederate research surrounding ghosts and the Zerg. What we stole was a small but critical piece of the puzzle. Designs for a transplanar psionic waveform emitter. The emitters broadcast the neural imprint of a ghost, but at a much greater magnitude. These things reach across worlds. The Confederacy used these psi emitters to lure the Zerg into isolated containment areas. Your colony, Marsara Commander, was one such location. Oh, snap! See? I'm saying the Zerg are a secret weapon developed by the Confederacy. I'm saying all subjects of a confederate weapons test just as they destroyed core hall with nuclear weapons to establish dominance a generation ago they would use the zerg to put an end to their other rivals only this time there'd be no outrage who could suspect the aliens were their creation no they'd be lauded as heroes for coming in and destroying the zerg it's time the confederacy paid for its crimes and I know just the way. Lieutenant Kerrigan is going to plant an emitter at the Confederate base camp. Commander, you will provide her with an escort. When the Zerg arrive, they'll break the blockade for us and we'll make our escape. Now, get moving. All right, that was one of the longest briefings I think I've ever seen. I doubts about this, Arcturus. I just don't think anyone deserves to have the Zerg unleashed on them. I know you have personal feelings about this. But you can't let your past cloud your judgment. Carry out your orders, Lieutenant. 
Alright, so I definitely gotta keep the side emitter guy safe. We're gonna put him down over here in a corner. And I do remember that these buildings get attacked right away. So definitely gotta watch out for that. I'm gonna go ahead and throw Kerrigan in a bunker. Just to be safe. Because knowing me, she's gonna end up dead. Ooh, we get a science vessel on this one. Oh no, my supply depots. I wanted those so badly. Not a lot you can really do about it though. And I guess I'll go ahead and put Marines in there. So the only other one is right here and right there. So I will most likely have to set up some sort of forward defense there. Allocation. I'm going to go ahead and land this right here. Oh, look at me, man. I'm going the 1-1-1 one, one, one build. Derp, derp. Okay, so this guy is really completely worthless. I think actually if you have a mine minerals, he like loses his sight or something stupid like that. I seem to remember that happening. Yes, there's a tank on the high ground killing me off. For those of you who don't know, science vessels have three spells. EMP, which you're familiar with from the Ghost. Uh, defensive Matrix, which absorbs damage on a unit. And Irradiate, which is freaking awesome. But for now, let's go ahead and just build some Marines. And I guess I should put some guys on gas. I kind of need gas. Gas is good for you. And let's see. Probably going to lift this off too. Just try to have all my buildings pretty close together. And just for now, make Marines, because they're super cost-effective. Lift this off over here. Buildings move so slowly in StarCraft 1. That's why they always surprise me in StarCraft 2 when they're like flying all the way across the map really quickly. Excellent. Let's see. Ah, we do get tanks. Let me go ahead and add that on. Getting tanks is pretty darn important. Marines are also pretty good. Goliaths are also awesome. What? Supply depots. Gosh darn it. Let's put one right there. Okay, so my goal is going to be to expand right there ASAP. How much money is on these mineral patches? Quite a bit. So I should be okay at this expansion for a while. I am just a little bit worried about being able to secure that one though. Let's see if I can fly this guy around and see what's going on. Okay, so let's go ahead and scout around. Science vessels have quite a lot of HP. And they also have... I think they have armor? Do they have armor? Let me see. Yeah, they have one armor. So, let's see. Some marines, a siege tank up here. So there's really not a whole lot here defending it. They do start off with siege mode though. Yeah. Alright, I should build another supply depot. Oh no, I didn't want to send you back over here. I'm still scouting around. Aha! Kill them! Woo! Are pretty good. No, 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 no. Let's get him out of here. I'll have to repair this guy now. Because science vessels are awesome. I wonder if I should upgrade the... Oh, actually, where'd my science facility go? Where are you at, science facility? There it is. Go ahead and land this. This lets you get battle cruisers, ghosts. Um, although, I don't think I'm going to have that tech this early in the game. Go ahead and make more tanks. And the hotkey for siege mode is O. I'm going to move him down there. And since I'm looking to secure this expansion, I'm just going to go ahead and keep making workers. Oh, I love the sound. The siege tank sound is bonerlicious. It's so good. Make that hotkey number four. Alright, so Marines will be my... Let's lift this off. Him over here. Uh oh. The science vessel and missile turrets can be used to detect cloaked foes. Where's the cloaked foe? Oh no! Oh no! I'm, I can't! Ah! I guess I gotta build that. Have this guy repair this. Alright, we should be able to. We should be okay. Everything's okay, guys. I think I need a, a bunker up here, though. Okay. So I'm repairing that. We should be just fine. Missile turrets should be able to detect it, I hope. Yeah. Slowly move these things out. Yeah, there we go. Eat it! Nice. Okay, so you guys are gonna go ahead and get back to work. This guy, yeah, he's fine. 
He's just fine. All right, so you're gonna be right there. Oh, I love the tank sound. It's so awesome. All right, so I need my science vessel up here now. More of those. What? That's a bunch of bull. That's a bunch of bull right there. All right, so let's go ahead and move these guys down. Let's see, there is one tank up here, but he's not siege mode, so should be just fine. Marines going. No, I need more depots. Okay, so three tanks versus that one tank. Aha! Eat it! I'm gonna move you over. More depots. Definitely more tanks. Because tanks are awesome, although that is way too many tanks at once. Alright, so we're gonna wanna set up. Uh oh. Yeah, tanks are pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna want to put one guy on the high ground. So I think I'm gonna have this guy over here. You're gonna be over there. Make more tanks because they're awesome. That's enough depots for now. We have way too many workers just chilling here. I kind of want to build an academy though. So I can get the add on. It's the academy, right? Yep, academy for the scanner sweep. Oh, I don't know if I want to attack this soon, but this is this is happening. Okay, now the only thing I'm worried about is if they send wraiths over there. So I'm gonna send my marines. Aha, they are sending a wraith. No. Okay, marines should be able to handle this. Yeah, kill the wraith. Kill the wraith. Why are you guys not killing it? There we go. Okay, so there's that. I'm gonna put another guy up here. I feel like the high ground is gonna be pretty important. Build a missile turret. Siege mode. I'm just gonna keep making tanks. They are so good. All right, is this command center almost ready? Yes, it is. I'm gonna go ahead and transfer these guys over. I think that transfer actually worked out pretty well. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get scanner sweep just so I have them. Ah, oh, yeah, two free kills, baby. Definitely do not need gas right now. Proceed. All right, put these guys up here. All right, anything over here in range? Oh, that Marine's dead. Goodbye. Oh, he's still alive. I think she's so cool. All right, so you guys go over there. I'm just going to go ahead and rally. Another factory. No, back up, back up, back up, back up. All right, go ahead and try and repair these. Just keeping your tanks alive is pretty important. Alright, well, you guys can't get through there? Alright, fine. Tanks are kind of stupid, you just have to remember that. Alright, moving siege lines is very monotonous, but absolutely worth it. And I think that, well, I could still make some workers, I guess. Make that just in case. Something on your mind? Yeah, I'm going these down. Yes, Alright, who needs who needs a repair? You do. Oh no, don't you kill my missile turret. Oh, you, you jerk. You jerk. Oh, careful guys, careful. Oh, there we go. You should be able to finish that one. What do you want? Destination. No! Oh 
must repair. Must repair. Oh, there we go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Your forces are under attack. Another factory, actually. Load out. out my armory. I can get even more upgrades. Oh shoot! What's going on up there? Oh, we're still good. We are still good. Where did my other factory go? There it is. All right, so we got a pretty good spot. Why are you guys not killing that Marine? I would definitely appreciate that. Oh, I do need more gas. I should have built it. I should have built it. Thankfully, tanks are pretty good. Alright, whatever stuff this is, they are getting it. With my leapfrogging ability. Ready to roll out. Okay, so this is where I need to get to. So far, so good. Oh no, is that a battle cruiser? Really? Alright, I'm gonna need a lot more missile turrets if that's the case. Alright, these guys are gonna be my, my missile turret buddies. I also need some rates. They're pretty good versus VCs. Okay, this is definitely a lot of tanks. Well, I really have no anti air, so I guess we're gonna be relying on missile turrets for now. Yes, sir. Orders, Captain. Destination. Oh. Oh, not. No. No, battle cruiser. Gosh darn it. I'm gonna build these a little bit further back. No! This battle cruiser is a total jerk, by the way. Battle Cruiser is actually not that bad in StarCraft 1. Okay. No! You missile turrets need to have a longer range. This is just not cool. Okay. Alright, let's try this. Where's my Wraith at? Alright, Wraith. It's all up to you. Where's he at? Ow, 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 ow! Come on! Oh, oh! Come on! Come on! Come on! Yes! Woo! What now? Missile turrets owning your face? Let's see. Okay, there's not a whole lot left up here. We can just kind of like 1A our way up here. 1A, 2A, 3A. We'll see what happens. Hopefully this works out. I'm going to go ahead and bring this guy over. And uh, I don't know if I need Kerrigan or not, but... Lieutenant Kerrigan reporting. All right, you guys need to transfer over here. All right, SCB's up here. Order for 
Alright, siege tanks are pretty good. Lieutenant Kerrigan we are going to come over here, and I think that might be it. Is that a missile turret? Orders, sir. Well, I kind of want to find out. Yes! Just promise me we'll never do anything like this again. We will do whatever it takes to save humanity. Our responsibility is too great to do any less. Yeah, yeah, he is a big old jerkhead. So yeah, that was uh, that was pretty easy. I would definitely recommend going a lot of siege tanks on that one and uh, leapfrogging them with either Goliaths or missile turrets. I decided on turrets just because they're a little bit cheaper. But obviously they cannot move, and that one battle cruiser was a total jerk. So the plot is thickening a little bit here, guys, as we are starting to see the true colors of Emperor Minsk. I wonder what's going to happen next. We're going to find out after this. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Hello everyone, this is HDS Gesky here, and I'm back with some more StarCraft 1 campaign playthrough. I guess you could call it action. I always love how this Marine is smoking a cigarette while being a total badass. So we are going to continue. The mission that we are currently on is the Big Push. That's what she said. Let's go ahead and get this one started. The Zerg, lured by the Siamitter signal, descended upon the unsuspecting Confederate forces and annihilated them. Once again, the Protoss fleet, under the command of High Templar Tassadar, arrived and incinerated the planet. Tassadar, man, he loves just blowing stuff up. He is the Darth Vader of StarCraft. And this is the big push. Command ship Hyperion holding perimeter orbit above Confederate capital world of Tarsonis. Greetings, Commander. Receiving incoming transmission. The time of our final strike against the Confederacy is close at hand. Before we can strike at Tarsonis itself, however, we must break through the Confederacy's most potent defenses. General Duke will brief you. I've defended Tarsonis in over 30 major battles, so I know its defenses inside and out. There are three primary orbital platforms that serve as staging areas for the Confederate fleet. If we assault the central platform, we should cause enough of a ruckus to allow a small force to break through the planetary defenses. General, I'm impressed. I never figured you for the frontal assault type. Oh, and snap. The Confederates have Omega and Delta Squadron troops defended the platform. They're nothing compared to my Alpha Squadron boys. Well, it's like a frat right. in college. All right, so it looks like we're going to go ahead and get started. The objectives eliminate the Confederate forces, and Duke must survive. Not that anyone really cares about Duke, but uh, apparently they do I want him to survive. And I believe that I have to... Don't I fly over here? Oh, it's this mission. Okay, so go ahead and fly my crew on over. Get my SCVs in there. All you guys can go up in that dropship. And... Oh, damn, that's good enough for me. And we gotta move on out. They do start you with quite a bit of stuff. 20 out of 20 supply. And I believe that this is... Yep, this is where it is. You guys are going the wrong way. Come back here. Half a squadron never would have left this equipment behind. That's what I call sloppy. Oh, that's Go what ahead. you call he sloppy, evidently. Bye, 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 Let's bye. go ahead and unload Hang these on. guys. We are going to need my command center to land. Well, they suggest right there, even though you can technically put it closer. But then you don't get the nuke silo. And where is the fun in that? I also believe that there is a... Uh, I think that there is a another expansion pretty close. I'm going to go ahead and put that I'm down listening. for now. Go ahead, HQ. Because I need to build supply depots. Build supply depot there. Then we need to land the starport here. This is the starport add-on. This one needs to go there. That's where that one goes. And the factory lands there. Go ahead and put the barracks down. We're not really going to need these guys for a little bit, I don't think. No, I'll, keep, I'll keep them around just in case. Battle cruisers are pretty good. So we'll leave him here for now. And I should probably get this army here. out of the mineral line. Okay, there we go. So supplies on the way, and I'll just go ahead and build another depot. God, this music is so good. And I'm pretty sure there is. Yeah, I think there's more minerals down here. So why not scout out with a battle cruiser? That's uh, surely the quickest scouting unit. Only not. And yeah, there it is. 
No, I'm going to land right there. I don't know if that's as close as I can get, but I think it is. I'll go ahead and land there once I have full SCV production done, which is right now. So I'm going to go ahead and lift this one off. You guys got to go to another command center, and you are coming over here. I feel like right here is way better. Like, I don't know what you guys think, but I'm going to land it there for now. I don't need two nukes just yet. Which I know is a silly thing to say while playing StarCraft, because the more nukes, the better. But... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, don't kill my don't kill my ghosts. My ghosts are too valuable. My marines, I can live without. It's gonna move you guys. Where are my two other wraiths? Yeah, eat it! Okay, um, there's one marine up there. I'll just leave him be. I thought I had more wraiths. Maybe I was mistaken, though. And there you go. You landed already, so go ahead and build SCVs. And yeah, I really like to do my macro. There, there they are. I really like doing my macro first, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Get that one going. SCV, good to go, sir. Okay, so I'm trying to remember the best strategy for this map. And honestly, I should probably just get a comp set, huh? We shall see. We shall see. Go ahead and put these guys in the closest ones. And yeah, I think we're going to be in pretty good shape. I'm going to rally this down here now. I feel like that'll be more cost effective. I'm going to make some Marines. Oh, wait, since we got the factory, I might as well do siege mode. Oh, not that I can. Is there a gas up here or no? Nope. Oh, no, more depots. My macro is failing me, guys. All right, we'll build more depots. I want the whole thing. All right, so you're going to build a depot as well. Let's put a little room for you guys to get through. I could get ghost nukes right now, or I can save for siege mode. I think I'm going to do siege mode. Yeah, yeah, the depots are almost done. And so is my best beat gas. All right, so I got that going. I think I might need one more. Yeah, I need four guys in there. Oh, what kind of pathing was that, buddy? What is? What are you guys doing? That pathing is horrible. Okay, so that's going. SCV, SCV, siege tank. And I'll get siege mode next. All right, cool. Just really need a lot of workers here, and I need more depots. So. Go ahead and do one of those. Get some siege mode. Don't worry, guys. I'll use some nukes. I know you guys want them. Do I have your monocan on this guy? Yes! I'm totally going to use it on this building. I don't know if it's going to do anything, but... There you oh, it did put it in the red. No, Goliath! Goliaths are good. First air units. Then again, I can repair the battle cruiser. So, Oh, dear. This made them mad. But hey, battle cruiser's OP! And more SCVs, so all you guys need to get back to work. You're just designated. Uh, you're just designated supply depot guy. Yeah, yeah. I think I have enough SCVs in there for now. Whale. Destination. Okay. So I think the macro is going pretty good. Research complete. And I do have siege mode now, so that's good. And siege tanks sound so awesome, so I'm gonna keep making them. Also gonna keep making supply depots. Okay, I definitely want another factory though. So I'm gonna build him. Hopefully that works out. Hopefully I don't trap any of my units, which is very common. Okay, I think that's enough workers down here. It has finally freed up that mineral patch. And that should be enough workers for now. I just need more gas. Okie dokie, so you're going to build an academy. So I get the scan. Let's just make this number three. Okay. I remember that O is the hotkey. And moving on these siege tanks. Aw, oh, yeah. Siege tanks are indeed pretty good. Let me go ahead and bring this guy to repair. And I should get nuked now. 
Oh, I don't have enough gas. I gotta keep making tanks for now. I'll eventually get enough gas, though. I also feel like I need another command center. Oh, dear. That is quite a lot of stuff. Alright, so SCV's gonna start repairing these. I just need more tanks up here. They are streaming. No! You jerks. So, again, I really shouldn't have built a command center out there, but I'm gonna continue it anyway. Yes, Insufficient Vespine gas. Insufficient Vespine gas. Oh, I'm getting text messages. So, you know, just build it. Just build, build tanks when we get texts. No! Why does that just keep dying? I think it's because of the range of that bunker. Um, so let's see. Okay, so I gotta kill that stupid bunker. But they keep repairing the darn thing. Thankfully they don't have... Oh no, where are you going, SCV? There you go. I also need an engineering base, so why not build it right there? Okay, your guys' only job is to protect that SCV. If you can't do that, you guys are fired. Now we have more tanks on the way. Here comes the reinforcements. Oh, these poor ghosts are super low on HP. I gotta save these guys for now. There we go, now we're making progress. Rates are getting a little low, but that's okay. Oh, this is getting mined out quick. I didn't think it was going to be that quick. Might as well bring these guys over. I guess I'll just make a bunch of Marines. I didn't realize we are going to be that low. Alright, so you move up here as well. I think there's a base up here, though, that you can actually secure. Alright, so you guys go up here. Thankfully, I don't think they've researched siege mode yet. It makes my job a lot easier. Yes, sir. All right, so we're gonna lift this off. Start flying them up here. Oh, oh, back up. And I need more tanks. More tanks. I just gotta queue up a bunch of marines because I have a lot of money to spend. So why not just build a ridiculous amount? Ah, let's go ahead and repair these guys. Who needs repairing? This guy does. Unfortunately, there is no auto repair option in StarCraft 1. But there is a build a buttload of siege tanks option, so that's good. Hey, what are you doing to my command center? That's not very nice. I'm gonna go ahead and repair this. Because they fly so slow, man. Alright, more Marines, more Marines. I don't even know if I need Marines, but I'm building barracks anyway. And who needs repair? So do you. Alright, now we're just marching up here with these. Now we'll go ahead and siege them up. Insufficient Vespine gas. Alright, there we go. Okay, so my armor's starting to look pretty awesome. I'm feeling pretty good about it. And alright. Oh, we're getting close. Close to their expansion. I'm just gonna go ahead and land it. Might as well start making some workers. Actually, do I even need workers? I'll just kill off this command center and lift off so I don't keep taking damage. I'm gonna go ahead and get the scanner going on that one. And there we go. Land that bad boy. I think that is as close as you can get. I do need armories going. Alright, go go power siege tanks. Go ahead, HQ. Go ahead, HQ. I wonder if I can make battle cruisers yet. Does it let me? No, not yet, only ghosts. Which is fine. Alright, we need to start transferring some of these guys over. I'm gonna put them on their individual mineral patches because the AI is so bad that it's actually worth doing this. Okay, I need to kill this geyser because I need gas badly. I think some of these guys can sleep. Alright, so tanks, tanks. I'm just gonna make a ton of marines. Because I have a lot of money. 
Young money. All right, you guys can come up here now. We'll need some more depots, though. All right, so I believe in this mission, I have to completely kill everything. And that can be a total pain. Okay, not a whole lot up there. Yeah, mostly just turrets up there, which I think I can just kill off of these tanks quite easily. So I'm going to send those over there. But I also do need to defend, because they will attack me at some point. So I'm going to bring all these guys up. I do have quite a bit of stuff, though. Where's that armory? I forget where I built it. There it is. There we go. Get that going. Get these guys up here to protect it. Alright, I just gotta clean out these turrets. Really no reason not to. Alright, hopefully this covers everything. I think I need to be up here too. And turrets are always good. In the later stage of this man, they always go for the mineral line. At least that's what it feels like. Alright, marine production going like crazy. I don't think I even have stim pack. No, I don't. But I do have an academy. Where'd I put that? Alright, green range for sure. Let's go ahead and throw down turrets here to protect these. And I'm feeling pretty good about this. I think I may also need to kill their air units. So, are there any more buildings down here? There's a bunch of pesky rates. Alright, these siege tanks go ahead and head on home. You guys should be able to take out these pesky rates, no problem. Langowley. No, don't kill my wraith, you jerk. Jerk. Okay, so I see more supply depots. As you can see, these are laid out beautifully. Alright, I definitely need to make a nuke. Get some old school nukes going. I think they have a lot of siege tanks later, if I remember this correctly. And scout around. Yeah, although they don't have siege mode yet. That's pretty handy. Alright, you guys can start mining, because this takes a lot of SCPs to saturate. Okay, so let's try this. If I move these guys over... Alright, stop bombarding this ledge. Should be able to take this out quite nicely, actually. No! No, Wraiths! Wraiths, the hotkey's messed up! Come on, Wraiths, I need you to spot the high ground. Actually, let's just zoom out again in this. Nukes on the way! Nukes all day! Goodbye, missile turret. Whoa, goodbye, camera, evidently. Oh, what's this? Oh, where's my tanks at? Oh no, I got I told you they're gonna go for it! Quick, repair! 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 No SCB, hang in there! Oh dear. Oh, my camera. Oh, the SCBs. Come on, Duke. Come on, Duke. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, so I need more guys in gas. Nothing really going on over there. Okay, I have so much stuff that this is just... Let's just go for a drop. Let's see what happens when I go for a drop. Let's go drop up here. Because I have so many of these freaking guys anyway. Let's go for another drop too. I feel like these guys are pretty expendable. Where's that armory? Can I get multiple upgrades yet? Yes, I can. Which means I need another armory. Alright, so there's that drop. Alright, you guys are on your own. Where's my second drop at? There it is. Sure, you fly somewhere over there. We'll see what happens. 
Okay, I do have a lot of tanks now. This is this is a fact. Aha! I'm on to you! Eat it! Wow, those drop have love HP. Come on, Marines! Nobody lives forever! Or are you guys gonna unload over there? Ooh, fire bats, huh? Challenge accepted. Actually, I need to come down here to this. There's a turret down here. Alright, you guys. I'm just gonna attack move you. Good luck. And really what I need to use is the ghosts, but where are they? Did they end up dying? That's the real question. So we gotta group all these guys together. Working on the upgrades. Give me something to shoot. Your forces are under attack. I do need some ghosts, I think. Alright, so we found another base up here that I can expand to if need be. Go, go, go. And all these Marines are gonna die. Worth it. Go ahead, HQ. You want a piece of me, boy? Alright, let's go ahead and send some guys up here. Go, go, go. And just keep making Marines. Because I have a lot of freaking money. Yes, sir! Make some more tanks. You want a piece of me, boy? That's almost mined out. This is basically mined out. Well, if they're gonna attack here, let's go ahead and set some siege tanks. Yes, sir. Aw, oh, yeah, siege tanks outranging bunkers for the win. Oh, that poor Marine. I tried to save him. Come on, Marines, there's a turret right here. They still have siege mode, I don't think. So I'm okay with that. Oh my god, this is a money mine! Holy snap! Not that I really need more money, but I want to build... I wish... Oh my goodness. Look at this expansion that is so much money. So far they still don't have siege mode, which is making this surprisingly easy. Which I might actually be able to just win right now. I do have quite a lot of stuff. Which means I might as well send it. Oh, I need my ghosts. Alright, hopefully my ghosts can get there to nuke something. Oh, a little bit of traffic jam going on. Don't worry, Marines, you got this. It's fine. Alright, so now I gotta scout around and make sure that there's no craziness going on. Alright, nothing on that high ground. Funneling in those Marines! Alright, where are those ghosts at? Oh yes. Hope you guys are ready for this nuke. Man, Marines are not good versus Goliath, that is for sure. Working on the plus three already. Alright, ghosts. I'm indeed going to call the shot. And that shot is in the form of a nuke! No, 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 no! Save, save the ghost! Save the ghost! Alright, well, I guess if I just siege these guys, huh? that'll pretty much cover them. Boom! Oh, feels so good, man. Alright, move in. Move into the radiation. You must get radiation poisoning. It is completely worth it. Do it for the swarm. Or for the Dominion or whatever side I'm on, I always forget. Let's just queue up, you know, a couple tanks. A couple Marines. Marine, 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 Marine. More upgrades. Alright, we are We are on the way to victory. Apparently they survived, what was it, 30 or 20 battles? Major battles? Well, this was surprisingly easy. Better build my command center though. I need more money. No minerals, no problems, guys. Why not just siege up? That's probably making it gonna go a little bit quicker. What SCB? You're really trying to save this medevac? Or not medevac, dropship. Oh my goodness. All right, so this is going swimmingly. There is indeed nothing down here that I can spot. 
Oh, random starport over there because why not? Oh, battle cruiser! I was not expecting this. I did not research lockdown or cloak. All right, my battle cruiser will take him out for sure. I was not expecting a battle cruiser. That is for sure. Let's just send everything we got. I don't even think the Marines can kill that, but I'm okay with that. Because at least they're trying. Alright, we're gonna get all the way. Oh, this awesome expansion is up and running. I almost just want to transfer all these guys over because it's so cool. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna stop all mining at this place just to mine at our awesome new base. My guy's way better, just saying. Oh, that felt good. Oh, another battle cruiser, huh? I will hopefully win this battle. Oh, with Marines mixing, that should be no problem. Alright, easy breezy. Yeah, go missile turret. Come on, Marines, stop! There we go. Maybe the tank should get out of the way. Oh, the pathing is so bad. But that's why we love it. Alright, missile turret, taking them on. Okay, I think that's gonna be it. That should be the end of the mission. Which uh, I felt pretty good about this one. Might as well make some more tanks. Okay, I think this is the last building. Which for some reason I just have one tank killing. And I will scan over here just to see. Not enough energy. Oh, there we go. This is Duke. The emitters are secured and online. Yes. Who authorized the use of psi emitters? I did, Lieutenant. What? The Confederates on Antigua were bad enough, but now you're going to use the Zerg against an entire planet? This is insane. She's right, man. Think this through. I have thought it through. Believe me. You all have your orders. Carry them out. Ooh, that awkward moment when your boss tells you to kill an entire planet. See what's going to happen next. In the next video, the plot is indeed thickening. Um, StarCraft 1, a little bit more darker than StarCraft 2, where instead of saving planets, you're going around killing planets. We'll see if Tassadar continues to scorch the Earth, but we are getting pretty close to the end of the Terran campaign. Which means we are going to go on to, is it the Zerg or Protoss one that's next? I cannot remember. I think it's Zerg, but I may be mistaken. Regardless, though, we are going to continue through this campaign in the next video. At least watch the beginning of the other videos if you haven't, because the plot is pretty darn awesome. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Hope you guys enjoyed. And, of course, I'll see you guys next time. Hello everyone, this is HDSKSK here, and I am back with some more StarCraft 1 campaign action. And really quickly before I get this video started, I want to let everyone know at the time of uploading this, I'm actually going to be out of town just for today. So I figured I'd make a really quick uh, low file size video, which StarCraft 1 is very low on the file size. And uh, yeah, so I will be back with more pro games soon, and also some more ladder anxiety. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my second channel at youtube.com slash husky. There will be a lot more ladder anxiety. I'm looking at my calendar, and I'm open Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday to play those. So I hope you guys are ready for that. But for now, we're going to go ahead and continue this campaign. So we are on New Gettysburg, but we also have to watch this new cinematic that we unlocked. Let's go ahead and check that one out. Sons of Core Hall, Wraith Squadron, Bravo, Mission to Soul, Confederate Space Platform, High Orbit, Confederate Capital, World Tarsonis. Oh, we're in space. Big surprise, because it's called StarCraft. Oh no, not the multiplayer satellite that you click on to play multiplayer. Good 
better platform verified and locked. This one's all yours, Harley. Well, okay then. Like a beacon, the combined power of the Psi emitters reached out to the far corners of the Terran sector, luring billions of Zerg to the capital world of Tarsonis. The Zerg, overrunning the Confederacy's best defenses, proceeded to lay waste to Tarsonis' major cities and industrial centers. Billions of Zerg! Wow. New Gettysburg, command ship Hyperion, holding close orbit over the Confederate capital world of Tarsonis. I've picked up several dozen Protoss warships descending upon Tarsonis. They seem to be heading on a direct course to the primary Zerg hive. If they engage the Zerg, the Confederates may escape. Commander, send Lieutenant Carrigan with a strike force to engage the Protoss. Captain Rayner and General Duke will stay behind with the command ship. First you sell out every person on this world to the Zerg. Then you ask us to go up against the Protoss. And you're gonna send Kerrigan down there with no backup? I have absolute confidence in Kerrigan's ability to hold off the Protoss. This is bullshit. Kerrigan, are you reading this? I heard. I'm going down there. Arcturus knows what he's doing. I can't back out on him now. Funny. I never thought of you as anyone's martyr. Oh, boyfriend and girlfriend fight. Boyfriend and girlfriend fight. All right, so here we go. Look, I know about your past. I mean, I've heard the rumors. I know you were part of those experiments with the Zerg that Manx came and saved you. But you don't owe him this. Hell, I saved your butt plenty of times. Jimmy, drop the knight in shining armor routine. That suits you sometimes. Just not, not now. I don't need to be rescued. I know what I'm doing. The Protoss are coming to destroy the entire planet, not just the Zerg. I know that because, well, I just know it. I am a ghost, remember? Once we've dealt with the Protoss, we can do something about the Zerg. Arcturus will come around. I know he will. I hope you're right, darling. Good hunting. Oh, nerd chills, the music with the story. Why is this command center so far away? Come on, guys. Let's get with the program here. That can definitely be a lot closer. And we'll just figure out the gas a little bit later. Okay, so let's see what they have given me here. I mean, if you spam return cargo, they, they definitely do not return it as quickly as one might like. Okay, so they give us... Um, Kerrigan, of course, a couple Marines, dropship in there randomly. And let's go ahead and look at the mission objectives. Let's double check. Destroy the Protoss Force. All Zerg buildings must survive. Kerrigan must survive. Ah, so this is this one where the Zerg are up here. And then you can't kill any of the Zerg. You actually have to protect the Zerg, which I am disgusted at, by the way. Because the Zerg are attacking me the entire time. But you know what? I guess that's just how it goes. So I think you want to go out this way. And then... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sneak my dropship up here and we'll just see. See what we can see. Oh, support crawler! Ah, get back home! Alright, that was about zero fun, so no more of that. Go ahead, HQ. Strap yourself Go ahead, HQ. I wonder why they give me this dropship. Like, what is... Oh, careful. Careful! Oh no, Zergling! How'd you get in here? Oh, get out of there, SCV! Uh, yes! You're stuck, buddy! Yes! Okay, so that SCV survived. If I had lost that SCV, I would have been so sad. I do have a barracks. I have a factory, which I can go ahead and put the add-on on. I'm going to go ahead and get one guy mining gas, at least. I'm still undecided on how I want to do this. Alright, let's scout around with this dropship. Even though they move so slowly. Well, they don't move slowly after they get going. Alright, let's see. I mean, once they get sped up, because there is an acceleration time. I can just see the comments already. It moves very slowly until they get going. Quote, Husky at 3 minutes 22 seconds, however long we are into this video. Alright, there's my one SCV mining gas. Surely he's got this. I'm sure he doesn't feel all alone at all. Okay, so I think actually what I need to do here is try and quickly find another base because 
this is not gonna go over very well. I don't find another. Oh, oh, oh! Speak of the devil, there's a geyser there. Typical Blizzard gives you a gas geyser to expand to. All right, so we're still looking for minerals. SCV, good to go, sir. All right, where's the base? I know that there's got to be a base somewhere. Oh dear, oh dear, patrol micro. Oh no, oh this is a lot of stuff. Let maybe let's retreat. Let's let Kerrigan take care of this. All right, Kerrigan, you've got this. Is it hold, hold position, micro. Is that what's gonna take? Okay, well, there's no super nearby base. There is that gas geyser. I'll put this guy, maybe maybe a couple guys going in gas. I'll put four. Four should be an acceptable number. All right, now I can get siege mode. I'm gonna go ahead and start making some marines. They're pretty good. Unless, unless the Terran player, or unless the Protoss player has reavers, then, then not so much. Actually, I think I only need one more SCV in there to get it fully, fully saturated. Oh, don't you dare. Don't you dare kill that SCV. Let's wax these critters. Let's wax. cool, Commander. Remember the plan. The Zerg had to remain unharmed. All right. Oh, did you seriously put that on me? Okay, this is quite a lot of SCVs, actually. They're starting to pile up a little bit. I feel like I need an SCV specifically on that mineral patch, another one on there. Okay, actually that's enough SCVs, it looks like. Let's start making some tanks. I'm also going to set up a bunker. Right there. I'm not going to make any more SCVs. I'm going to make an academy for that scanner sweep. Go ahead, HQ. Okay. I think we are in good shape. I'm waiting on you. You want a piece of me, boy? Right, let's move out these guys. Ready to roll out. Ready to roll out. For now, I'm just gonna use these until I find some stack defenses that I need. Oh no, Dragoon! No, I love you, Dragoons! Don't hurt me! You're like my favorite unit, even though you're so stupid. I still love you. Oh, those four four marines. Okay. Really, I'm just I'm just in find an expansion mode. Ow! You. Where is this expansion at? I keep seeing these minerals, and I'm like, oh, there's one. Go ahead, and then it's nothing. Definitely need marine range. That is really good. Stim pack, I don't really care. Oh, there it is. Yes, it is down there. Okay. We're, exp we're expanding their ASAP. What? What's killing me? Okay, we got him. I get so nervous when I have Kerrigan out because... All right, maybe, maybe we'll send you back on home. All right, all right, dropship. What do you gotta find for me? Well, apparently there's a whole lot of nothing down there. I'm ready. Not enough minerals. I'm just gonna make more SUVs to him later. All right, let's cautiously. You do not want to be a dropship in my army. I make you do crazy things. Crazy, crazy things. No. Okay. We're just gonna siege these up for now, but we are gonna be moving out pretty soon. Okay. There's that. Now I can start scanning. Oh, you stupid hydras! Nothing a few siege tanks can't handle. Oh, don't you even. Really? You're gonna slow down these guys, my poor SCVs. All 
Alright, three siege tanks should be enough for that. My poor SCV is just trying to make a decent living. Actually, I want to move this a little bit, because that's actually in range of that Ultralisk Cavern. Alright, how's the command server coming? Oh, you're already done. Can I do an add-on? Of course I can't, because... Yes, sir. Reporting for duty. That would be too nice of Blizzard to design it that way. Yes, sir. All right, let's transfer all these guys down. Job finished. Yes, sir. Okay. I'm waiting on you. I got so you. we got you guys. You have your that. Make an armory, which apparently doesn't cost hardly any gas. Yes, sir. Absolutely. We're gonna take these three tanks. All right, how you guys doing down here? You need to separate a little bit. Although, unfortunately, there's only four mineable patches until the other ones are mined out. All right, trying in our tank. There we go. Oh, I saw someone over here. Where did you go? I saw you. Alright, cool. Looks like it's safe to move on up there. Alright, we're gonna set up this awesome siege tank line. Ah, oh, that sound is so awesome. Siege tank sounds so much cooler in StarCraft 1. Oh, the Death of Dragoons always sounds awesome. Although I hated that sound as a Protoss player because that was the sound all my Dragoons made. Because they died a lot. Alright, we're gonna leave one tank here. Oh, I saw something about that. I think that's the neutral critter, actually. Careful, Kerrigan. I know you do a lot of damage, but just be, just be cautious. All right, so far so good. Tanks doing a little bit of damage to themselves, but that's okay. Things so far. Oh, oh, how you doing, Kerrigan? Hang in there. No, you dropped a dragoon on me. I gotta bring some SCBs to fix these guys up. How much damage does Kerrigan do? 30 damage? Nice. Ow, 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 ow. Come on, Kerrigan. Hang in there. Hang in there, my lady. My fair lady. Ah, uh, they keep trying to do drops on me. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Okay, now we can get the double tank production going. Insufficient for gas. All right. What else we got up here? That's just a lot of pylons. And a base down there. Should be okay. We're gonna go ahead and move on these tanks up here. Insufficient Vespine gas. Yeah, yeah. Right away, sir. 
I think I need to build a command center down here. Just get that stupid gas going. Destination. Oh, a Muta! Mutalisks, what? I was not prepared for this. I was definitely not prepared for this. Come on, Marines. Where? What forces? No! No, kill the zealots! Kill the zealots! Don't lose the tank! Oh, where are these zealots coming from? Alright, you come build a turret. Their upgrades are so much better than mine. That's fine. Alright, I'm actually feeling pretty good. I'm feeling like this is pretty good. We got Homie down here with his own command center. Alright, where are these guys going actually? I need them to go up there. There we go. Your forces are under attack. Oh my god, that zealot is a beast! Three kills? What? Okay, where's the... There it is. Alright, where are you guys at? Aha! I have found you! Your forces are under attack. Or maybe we should have everyone leave here. Sure. Okie dokie, we got everyone headed there. And the frontal assault is going to begin. I'm still trying to see if there's any buildings I haven't spotted yet. Alright, there we go. Okay, so they're there. Alright, it is on, baby. I'm in your base sieging my tanks. Alright, don't take splash damage, guys. Come on. This is Terran 101. This is going quite swimmingly. Nothing like a good protest destruction. Jim Rayner sure not happy about killing off Protoss. That is for sure. No, you jerk cannon. Thinking the same thing. Oh yeah, well lockdown, baby. How do you like it? Ugh. You ain't got nothing now. Okay, so I think this is gonna be the end of the mission, actually. I'm just gonna go ahead and scan around just to make sure. Sometimes they hide buildings. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh. That's 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 a lot of zerg. That's a lot of zerg bugs. 
Tosk, but there's a wave of Zerg advancing on this position. We need immediate evac. Belay that order. We're moving out. What? You're not just gonna leave them! All ships, prepare to move away from Tarsonis on my mark. Uh, boys? How about that evac? Damn you, Arcturus. Don't do this! It's done. Helmsman, signal the fleet to take us out of orbit. Now! Commander? Jim? What the hell is going on up there? Don't worry, Kerrigan, I'll save you! I'll take you to safety! You just have to believe! Kerrigan, no! All right. Well, that is the moment when Kerrigan gets left behind. You may be familiar with the cinematic from StarCraft II. Well, we just lived it firsthand. All right. Well, I am uh, currently leaving town. I will be gone all day today, but I will be back with some more StarCraft II. Not only 1v1s with pros, but 1v1s with Joes, also known as myself because I'm really bad at StarCraft. And, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Hello, everyone. This is HPS Kieski here. I'm back with some more StarCraft One original campaign action. We are getting close to the end of the Terran campaign, which means we are one-third through the game. So let's go ahead and play level number 10. It is called the Hammer Falls. The Hammer Falls command ship Hyperion holding perimeter above uh, orbit over Confederate blah 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 whatever. The fleet has lost contact with the ground forces at New Gettysburg. General Minsk has ordered the immediate disengagement of the Core Hall fleet from the Tarsonian system. Protoss and Zerg forces continue to battle across the core. Oh, I got some PBZ going on. Receiving incoming transmission. I can't believe he actually left her down there. I'm gone. You better come with me. There's no telling who Arcturus will screw over next. Receiving incoming transmission. Gentlemen, you've done very well. But remember that we've still got a job to do. The seeds of a new empire have been sown. And if we hope uh, to reach. To hell with you! You're making a terrible mistake. Don't even think to cross me. I have sacrificed too much to let this fall apart. You mean like you sacrificed Kerrigan? You'll regret that. You don't seem to realize my situation here. I will not be stopped. Not by you or the Confederates or the Protoss or anyone. I will rule this sector or see it burnt to ashes around me. If you try to get the fleet away, is prepped and ready, Commander. Awaiting orders. Oh, you got interrupted by a computer. It appears that General Duke has successfully activated Tarsonis's primary defensive weapon, the Ion Cannon. The cannon must be shut down if any escape attempt is to be made. All right, we're gonna go blow some stuff up as we do, as we do. Looks like we're on our own. It's funny. Seems like yesterday Arcturus was the idealistic rebel crusader. Now he's the law and we're the criminals. Kills me to know that we helped him achieve his goals of conquest. Damn it. I shouldn't have let her go alone. This is Jimmy. Ooh, I think Jimmy's a little bit in love. I'd make a little heart portrait around Kerrigan, but she is nowhere to be found. SCV, good to go, sir. SCV, good to go, sir. I think I should put these guys on the high ground a little bit. Kind of group everyone together. Now, I believe that this mission is a TBT, so that's something to keep in mind. Reporting for duty. Yes, sir. Orders received. I'm gonna build one of those just because this is such a wide mineral patch. And there is a Vespine geyser right there, which is pretty darn handy. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that right away because I've learned on these missions that Vespine gas is a pain. They always they always put a lot of minerals, but not necessarily a lot of Vespine gas. So I'm gonna try and get my guys going on the main mineral patches. I don't know why this guy's going all the way over here because he's an idiot. All right, so here's hotkey group number one. And you want to be really careful with Jim Rayner on this mission. Because 
If it's Terran players out there, which I'm pretty sure it is, then they have a lot of tanks, and tanks are bad news for vultures. Even even hero Jim Rayner vultures are gonna have a difficult time with those tanks. So I like to back her up quite heavily, so that's what I'm gonna be doing right now. Get my guys, uh, get the macro going, and I do have a cheat. This is a a normal vulture, so I can I can afford to lose him. Oh, there's a Goliath. There's a Goliath. You cannot take on a Goliath. All right, we will kill them. No! Oh, they use lockdown. I have to be careful because they have cloak already. That could be a disaster. Because cloak on ghosts is pretty good because they use lockdown, man. Lockdown is so good. I'm going to build this barracks up here. The barracks isn't as important. I wonder if there's anything over here. Wanna turn up the heat? Go, right Say that to a girl sometime. Meet her at the bar, be like, "Yeah, this is great, but you wanna Naturally. turn up the heat?" Hopefully they'll say yes and get the reference. <laughs> Who am I kidding? All right, so you guys keep on working. Oh, oh, fire bat! Careful, careful! I'm just trying to scout around with my little fire bat. I don't know what the big deal is. Oh no, he's got 5 HP. Although, honestly, Firebats are worthless in this matchup, so I'm just gonna send him to his death. Firebats are like so worthless. I'm gonna send this guy out too. Okay, so now I'm gonna start getting you guys in gas. You as well, and you. We're gonna make factories. Because factories, on the other hand, are very useful. Okay, this may be enough SCVs. I do need one more guy on gas, it looks like. That is not as close as I would like. Because you always want to have one SCV waiting. No, I think I even need one more, technically, for it to be efficient. But oh well. Now I'll put one more in there. I don't think it's quite efficient. One more in there should fix that. SCV. Still good to go. Okay, let's see. So I'm thinking, should I go for ghosts and get nukes? Should I go for battle cruisers? I'm not sure what my game plan is here. I don't know if you can, maybe you can get battle cruisers now. You might be able to. We'll be able to find out after this factory is done. Cause I'm gonna build a star port right after it. All right, so you build that. You do the control tower, control machine shop. Whatever it's called, the hot QC. Regardless, yes, I need a couple more guys over here. Use mineral patches, and hopefully we mine this one out soon, so we can get to the mineral patch in the back. Orders, sir. Good to go, sir. All right, definitely want marine range. That upgrade is good always. Right away, sir. Keep my depots together, and I feel like I'm gonna need at least siege mode. And I also want to plant these spider mines. This should be good. I'm gonna plant one right there. That's for sure gonna hit some noobs. And I'll see what the add-on is. Yes, sir. Roger that. I feel like this should be enough. Enough workers for now. Let's see, I can get battle cruisers. Hello. We're gonna place a spider mine right there. Right also on. kill this marine up here, because he's a jerk. Sounds fun. There you go. I still haven't decided on if I want to get a bunch of siege tanks or air yet, so I'm going to go ahead and go for that. And then I need the science facility. That's Haki I. Put that right there. Alright, where's my Jim Rainer at? Jimmy, where are you? Oh, there he is. We're going to keep him back a little bit. And we're going to get these going so we can start scanning. Unfortunately, it does mess up the pathing, I think, a little bit. Maybe it does make it better. I don't know. See, we have a lot of minerals. Like I was saying, it's that stupid gas. That's tough to come by. Destination. So we're going to set up a sea tank here for now. One right there. Alright, so I, now I choose between ghosts and battle cruisers. 
And my heart is telling me battle cruisers. So we do have that on the I'm just gonna make a bunch of marines because I don't have anything else to spend it on. Okay, so we do have the scanner sweep now. So I can slowly start scanning out. Okay, there's some guys up there. Commander, this is Jimmy. Give me some of this I'm just gonna leave these guys back for the fence. They should do just fine. Jacked up and ready to go. Jacked up and good to go. All right, get a battle cruiser on the way, baby. We'll need more depots here pretty soon. I'm gonna do the add-on in case I do switch to tanks. And also, I know sometimes on these maps they'll start attacking with air units eventually, so go ahead and do that. All right, yeah, we're killing some Marines. All right, as long as we don't run into tanks, we can we can continue pushing forward. We're gonna scan over there. Just see a bunch of race. I guess I have to make more barracks, so I'm gonna have this much money. Oh, oh, just Marines. My siege tank should be fine. Yeah, what do we got going on over here? You guys still doing okay? We're gonna keep pushing forward. Yeah, they don't have any upgrades yet, so I, I'm okay with that. You want a piece of me, boy? Go, go, go! Commander. Not enough energy. Yes, Your forces are under attack. Oh, there are tanks! There are tanks! Back out! Go, 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 go! Alright, so I cannot kill that quite yet, but... That is a base I can take, so... Alright, I need more depots, that's that's for sure. Alright, get my depot. Yes, sir. I need to make a depot. I need to repair these guys. Alright, it is marine time. I guess I can land this. Set this up like right here. Alright, so my worker should be taken care of. Go ahead and start cleaning these guys out. It's just the one guy up here, it looks like. Anything over here? Nope. Should have another battle cruiser pretty soon, though. Alright, I got my hotkeys a little bit messed up. Receiving transmission. Healing frequencies for a piece of me, boy. Receiving transmission. There we go. Healing frequencies open. Jacked up and good. Healing frequencies standing. All kinds of reporting. Receiving transmission. Alright, lots of marines. I mean a lot of marines. You guys gotta keep making depots, man. You gotta keep up. Good day, Commander. Standing back. I should also make a science vessel, huh? Yeah, I can use scans for now. Receiving transmission. Take it slow. Oh, battle cruiser is so good. Receiving transmission. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I accidentally unhockeyed this. There we go, take him out. Ouch, those tanks get so many kills. No! Save the battle cruisers. Alright, Marines, you fought well. But it is time to retreat. Don't lock me down. No! Alright, screw Marines, they're so bad. This way you don't make them versus Terran. Okay, I think I'm going to escape. Maybe. Ouch, 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 ouch. This is why we need tanks. 
All right, we are changing it up a little bit. We are going tank battle cruiser. That's the new rule. Good day. Come on, battle cruisers, get out of there. Set the course. Take it slow. Jacked up and good to go. Outstanding. Yeah, spider mine. No, don't kill me. You're supposed to be on my side. All right, I cleaned those ones up. I'm gonna make a science vessel. Yeah, die, scientist. No, don't irradiate me. Gosh darn it. Yes, sir. Good day, yes, sir. Commander. All right, I need a couple of you guys. Right away, sir. One job is to repair these. Oh, you better not kill it. Receiving transmission. All right, you come over here. You go over there. All right, they are getting repaired. This base is gonna be a pain to kill. Although once once we have tanks, I think it's gonna be a lot better. Tanks and battle cruisers are pretty good. Good day, Commander. All right, so we can do this. Marines are gonna be on hotkey number two. Reporting for duty. Yes, sir. Good day, Commander. Where's that explorer at? Commander. Good day, Commander. Insufficient for speed gas. Alright, I'm feeling better now. Make it happen. Roll out. Insufficient for Insufficient for speed gas. I'm like, shut up. Good day, Commander. No, I'm getting mined out over here. Okay, they have a tank right there. And that's it. So, if I can set these up right. Right away, sir. Nope, not you. Oh. Alright, there we go. There we go. Yeah, science vessel, there we go. This is this is the competition you want. And all of a sudden, this gets a lot easier. No! Alright, we are moving these guys forward. Stupid high ground advantage. My TBT is so painful. So very painful. Yes, sir. Come on, battle cruisers. Get with the program. Receiving transmission. Yes, sir. The latitude, sir. Proceeding. Ah, where's your stupid wraiths now? Alright, bring a couple more of these guys. Send them over, slowly marching into their base. And I already got my command center almost done. Haters gotta hate. Oh, you guys think you're cool with your battle cruisers? Well, I have your modic cannon researching, so. Receiving transmission. All right, lift this off. I'm gonna be landing it over here in no time. I think I need an armory. Okay, drop ships. My tanks can't take care of up here. Healing frequencies Destination moving. Time to supply block them. Alright, let's see. Right here is best. Receiving transmission. Yes, sir. Alright, time for the good old transfer. Right away, sir. Order for duty. Yes, sir. Order for duty. Receiving 
Yes, your mana cannon so good. Your forces are under attack. Destination. Good day, Commander. Identify target. Orders, sir. Yes, sir. All right, now that I have this geyser that's actually a normal distance away from me. All right, killing off the depots. Now that I have also this armory, gonna go ahead and go for, let's do armor. I feel like armor's more important for a battle cruiser. All right. Yeah, missile turret. You've got this. Oh! Good day, Commander. Good job, SCV. All crews reporting. Orders, sir. Healing frequencies open. Receiving transmission. Anything crazy up here? Not really. But see up anyways. Yeah, there. Die, drop ships. My god, why aren't they dying? They're taking so much damage. Take it slow. Yes, sir. All right, let's see. How's the worker count looking? Actually, it's pretty good over here. That's about as many as I need. Destination. Receiving transmission. Destination. Okay, so it looks like another base is over here. Should I need it? But it looks like battle cruisers are going to be the best bet for right now. I don't think I need any more tanks, actually. I think Report just battle cruises. Orders, sir. Orders, Captain. Give me something to shoot. Yes, sir. Orders, Captain. I'm gonna scout over there. See if there's any gas. Battle cruiser operational. Battle. Not enough energy. Oh, don't see any. Might as well scout around though. Add on complete, so make another battle cruiser. Yes, sir. I read you. And this one's gonna have an add-on as well, so I can make three at a time plus upgrades. Yes, sir. Alright, any Vespian guys are action. Ah, there is one. I can't build there. I can't build there. Yes, Alright, so we're gonna get some more gas so we can just make more and more battle cruisers. Because that is the true way to play StarCraft. Yes, also, like I need another yes, down right there. Alright, so we need to take out these tanks. Keep in the science vessel. And battle cruiser out of you. And we're gonna be having four battle cruisers at a time. That is pretty sick. Alright, need more upgrades, armor on the way. Actually this may be I may build too many starports. We'll see. Battle cruiser operational. I guess I can kind of bring yourself to this. I just can't get the upgrades as much. Good old three Stargate Battle Cruiser. It's pretty good. Good day, Commander. Report for duty. Transmit orders. 
Okay, so... Yes, sir. I wonder what else is on this map. Oh, dear. Not enough That's moving out towards my expo. Not no! No, you jerks! Day, I've worked hard for this. Why would you do this? No, why would you do that? Yes, Good day, sir. Commander. Yes, sir. Receiving transmission. Oh my goodness, if I lose this. No, that's a misclick! Oh, they just EMP'd my battle cruisers. That is not cool. Ah, there's so much going on! Uh-oh. Oh, they just locked all of them down. Hang in there, battle cruisers. You stupid guys have so much energy. All right, let's try this again, shall we? How can you have so many ghosts? Oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh my god. Oh my god. That was a lot of lockdown. Oh god, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? No! If this nukes my battle cruisers, I'm gonna be so sad. Oh, it's right here, okay. This I can handle. I cannot believe this. These guys are so annoying. As soon as you take this expo, man, they, they get pissed at you. Receiving transmission. All I want is more Vespine gas and more battle cruisers. Which are probably just gonna get locked down anyway. Okay, so we got this going. I have missile turrets on the way. Receiving transmission. Okay. Whew. I think we're finally gonna be okay. Man, I should have just nuked them. Jeez. Okay, my battle cruiser production now is off the chain. So as long as I keep this going for one or two more cycles, then I'm ready. Insufficient Come on. There we go. Okay, I think my battle cruisers can handle that, hopefully. Oh god, they have two, three upgrades now? That's not cool. Insufficient gas. Receiving transmission. Orders, Captain. All crews report. Good to go, sir. Make it happen. Orders, Captain. I read you. Orders received. All right, I have a plan. Affirmative. You guys come up here. Orders, Build some turrets. Report for duty. These are going to be our retreat two Good turrets. Good day, Commander. Engage. Orders, sir. Report for duty. Yes, Alright, plus there's another expansion up here. But where's the geyser? Of course, as far away as possible. 
guarded by a random battlecruiser just because. Insufficient Vespine gas. Alright. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Oh, there's a... Yeah, I've got 12 battlecruisers. Or not 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Oh, yeah, it is 12. Alright, you guys, let's do this. Enough messing around. It's battlecruiser time. Receiving transmission. I'm gonna try and build a command center over here. Just see what happens. Charge! Where's my science vessel? Transmit orders. All crews reporting. All right, science vessel is pretty quick, so it'll be able to catch up. All right, let the lockdowns begin. Battlecruisers, stay on target. Oh, well, I tried to monitor canning up, but then I got EMP. So, eat it. Yes. Oh, where's your eye on cannon now, boy? Eat it. All right, those ghosts are super annoying. That's all I have to say about that. Nukes may have better may have been a better option. So I believe that's the end of the StarCraft campaign for humans, Terran. Oh, getting some really bad reception here. Hang on. Fellow Terrans, I come to you in the wake of recent events to issue a call to reason. Let no human deny the perils of our time. While we battle one another, divided by the petty strife of our common history, the tide of a greater conflict is turning against us, threatening to destroy all that we have accomplished. It is time for us as nations and as individuals to set aside our long-standing feuds and unite. The tides of an unwinnable war are upon us, and we must seek refuge upon higher ground lest we be swept away by the flood. The Confederacy is no more. Whatever semblance of unity and protection it once provided is a phantom, a memory. With our enemies left unchecked, who will you turn to for protection? The devastation wrought by the alien invaders is self-evident. We have seen our homes and communities destroyed by the calculated blows of the Protoss. We have seen firsthand our friends and loved ones consumed by the nightmare reserve. Unprecedented and unimaginable though they may be, these are the signs of our time. The time has come, my fellow Terrans, to rally to a new banner. Lies strength. Already many of the dissident factions have joined us. Out of the many, we shall forge an indivisible whole, capitulating only to a single throne. And from that throne, I shall watch over you. From this day forward, let no human make war upon any other human. Let no Terran agency conspire against this new beginning. And let no man consort with alien powers. And to all the enemies of humanity, seek not to bar our way. For we shall win through, no matter the cost. Man, Minx has some pretty good macro. <laughs> See how much stuff he built up in that mission? All right. So we have finished the Terran campaign, which means that next we are going to have the Zerg campaign, which I am a little bit excited about because uh, we're going to see some sexy Zerg bug Kerrigan action in episode number two. Of course, we do still have Brood War to get through. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoy it. It's been fun, Terrans, but now it is time to play the Zerg Bugs. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.
Hello everyone, this is HTSKSK here. I'm back with some more StarCraft 1 campaign playthrough action. And we just finished up the Terran campaign, so we are going to start the Zerg campaign. And I just want to say the opening line of uh, the Zerg campaign is one of my favorite lines in any game. At least I believe it's the Zerg campaign from StarCraft 1. We're about to find out, so let's go ahead and do the Zerg campaign. The swarms have crushed the meager human resistance and laid waste to nine of the 13 Terran worlds. Shortly after the fall of the Terran capital world of Tarsonis, the main Protoss fleet abandoned the Terran sector. Now, efforts continue on Tarsonis to weed out the remaining Protoss forces. Among the ruins, Confederate capital world of Tarsonis. Awaken, my child, and embrace the glory that is your birthright. Know that I am the Overmind, the eternal will of the Swarm, and that you have been created to serve me. Oh, it's so good. Behold. I shall set you amongst the greatest of my cerebrates, that you might benefit from their wisdom and experience. Yet your purpose is unique. While they carry forth my will to the innumerable broods, you have but one charge entrusted to your care. For I have found a creature that may yet become the greatest of my agents. Even now, it resides within a protective chrysalis, awaiting its rebirth into the swarm. You must watch over the chrysalis and ensure that no harm comes to the creature within it. Go now and keep safe, my prize. Oh, he talks like a total bamf in that opening uh, the paragraph is there. The heart of any Zerg colony. It spontaneously generates larva which in turn are used to spawn your various warriors and minions. Now, create a drone and start gathering resources. Oh, I make an overlord. Okay, so the mission decks on this one were build a spawning pool. provide control for your minions. As your forces grow in number, you must hatch more overlords to control them. You have enough minerals. Select a lava and mutate it into an overlord. To create new warrior strains, you must generate the various hive structures. The drones themselves mutate into these structures. You'd be careful. Never use your last drone to make a building. That is a very good point. Some leak strategies coming out of the other Cerebrate guy. Alright, well I don't remember this level because I haven't played it in forever, so we're going to scout around. Oh, oh, Marines! Marines, get me out of here, Zergling, come on! Alright, hopefully I don't overextend myself, but I kind of want to kill some Marines. Oh, we got some Goliaths, too. Oh dear, they have a lot of stuff down here. More stuff than I expected. Order your drone to there we go, gonna go ahead and kill off that. I don't wanna make a spawning pool yet, I'm still macro. that. Alright, well I killed off this, this is everything being stupid. Creep colonies to extend the creep. But only a hatchery can be built upon open ground. Man, they're just throwing out fatty knowledge here. Alright, check that out. Uh-oh, uh-oh, no, 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 I don't think I can kill that right now. Oh dear, don't chase me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, maybe I do need a spawning pool. I, I don't want to lose this mission. Oh dear, hopefully they keep chasing me. Oh no, he's killing my overlord! Quick, pull the drones! Alright, oh no, I aggroed a fireman to marine! Ah! Alright, drones, you get back to work. Okay, we survived. Woo. I'm gonna build a creep colony just in case. All right, we, we got we got our macro going again. We're gonna start splitting up these drones a little bit. Make sure they are all going to their own mineral patches. I just never know on these maps if they're going to attack me or not. And I tend to play super macro heavy, so it's like I do that and then they attack me and kill me. So I'm going to try to not suffer that same fate. 
I think if I make two of these, this will keep me safe no matter what. And then I can just macro. Just macro. I can even play one-handed right now. I think I need gas for the Hydralis Den. Hydralis Dens are tier one in StarCraft 1. Okay, so I do have the spawning pool. I too am a cerebrate of the Overmind. I have located a small band of Terrans who could threaten the Chrysalis and the Hive Cluster. You must not allow them to leave here alive. Alive. All right, you want me to kill fools? That is something I can do. That is something I will do. Yeah, nice base layout over there. I'll put these guys in there. I think what I'm gonna do is, uh, I think I'm gonna make a hatchery right here. It'll fit. Hopefully, I didn't mess that up. Right, let's try. Oh, I did mess it up. You poop. Oh, I can just put over here. Good enough. And I'll still be close with these guys. So put three in there. Alright, so new mission objectives is kill the Terran jerk holes. I can do that. Hydras are going to be pretty good in this situation because they probably only have marines. Actually, no, I need more drones going all the way around. Spawn more overlords. Spawn more overlords. I can also build a Hydra Den. Can I go and do that. Down goes the Hydra Den. And there's the little baby chrysalis looking at me so cute. I just tried to zoom in. I'm not playing StarCraft 2. You cannot zoom in on this game. All right, this hatchery is almost done. Overlord should be almost done. Ooh, metabolic boost. Yes, please. Spread out the overlords. There's the Hydra Den. You get Hydra speed as well as Hydra range. Good. All right, so we definitely have a lot of drones going. This hatchery is almost done. So I'm going to start making hydras. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, don't you be killing my drones. Yes, they're in range now, the spine crawler. All right, drones. I won't let them touch you again. Alright, so from here on out, it's going to be all units. And overlords. Although I guess an overlord is a unit. Overlords are units too. I'm going to scout over here just to see. Metabolic boost isn't done quite yet. And in StarCraft 2, oh, there we go, just finished. In StarCraft 2, it doesn't uh, give you little wings. Fun fact. Okay, so there's nothing over here. Oh, there's there's some stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and retreat for now. No, I can probably take that, huh? Circling's are pretty good. They, they don't have upgrades either. There we go. Now I'm gonna power some hydras. They are pretty good. My overlord should be almost done. I'm gonna another one just in case. Well, I did lose a handful of links to that. Oh, more marines. Oh, they have wraiths. So you do need hydras. All right, retreat, zerglings. You cannot fight those wraiths alone. Okay, hydra speed is almost done, so I'll be good. I think I'm gonna make all hydras from here on out. All right, so there's that. I think hydras take up one supply in this too. All right, overlord, go over there. Hydras. All right, once I get a few more hydras, then I am ready for action. All right, get hydras, just continue that for now. I think we're ready to embark forward. Also get hydra range. Hydra range is freaking good. It is so good. Oh, what do we got? Oh, we can take this. This is, oh, killing Terran units, so fun in StarCraft 1. The scream of agonizing pain just, oh, just makes it so worth it. All right, let's check it out. I'm in your base. Killing your starport. Come on, Hydras, you can do it. 
kill those super rates. Oh, you think you blocked off the ramp, huh? Uh, this is, this is going swimmingly right now. Oh, that fire bat may kill off my link, but that's okay. No one cares about circling, it's all about hydras now. Yeah, there's that hydra range upgrade. First mission is a success. Really, this mission is totally just worth the intro of the Overmind talking to you like a total boss. That is definitely my favorite part. Well, hey, to stay in good macro mechanics, I better expand. I think I'm gonna go ahead and play another mission after this one. This one, this one went by pretty quick. Oh, look at the expansion timing. Almost perfect. So if I click it correctly, there we go. All right, so that should be the end of the first Zerg mission. They're still trying to make green get out of here. Oh yeah, V for victory. Gotta go ahead and take the W on that one. All right, nine and a half minutes, not bad. Let's go ahead and see what they have to say for the game Aggression or Egression, Confederate Capital World of Tarsonis. I am well pleased, young celebrant. And so long as my prize remains intact, I shall remain pleased. Thus its life and yours shall be made as one. As it prospers, so shall you, for you are part of the swarm. If ever your flesh should fail, that flesh shall be made anew. That is my covenant with all Cerebrates. Now you have grown strong enough to bear the rigors of warp travel with the swarm. Thus we shall make our exit from this blasted world and secure the Christmas within the Hive Cluster upon the planet Char. Yeah, planet Char, baby. The Protoss fleet still linger within this planet's orbit. They will attempt to block our exodus at every turn. My brood shall aid you, Cerebrid, should you require assistance. Now by aid me, surely they mean just sit there and do nothing. That's about what I would expect. Oh, he's not even hydras. Give me these hunter killers, baby. They're so good. Oh, hunter killers are so good. 160 HP. They're twice as good as a hydra. All right, so we gotta keep this little thing alive. I wonder if I could even put a hatchery right here. Probably not. It'd probably be a little bit overkill if I could. They gave me mutalisks! Oh, mutas are so good. They stack up so crazy in StarCraft 1. They stack like redonkulous speed well. Alright. Oh, you get back to work. So I'm just gonna make a bunch of drones. They do give me a gas up here, that is pretty far away. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that right now. Because I've learned on these missions, you just need your gas ASAP. Minerals, you'll always have enough of. Come on, drones! Oh, a Zealot! Apparently we're killing Protoss today. So we have to get over to whatever this thing is. I can only assume. I'm gonna go ahead and make this. No, I won't do that yet. No board. Oh, wait, you didn't make this. That's fine. That's fine, you insolent drone. I should kill that drone. Not listening to orders. It's definitely his fault, not mine. Okay, so we have really good income right now. We 
go mining quite a bit. I wonder if I can build a hatchery up here. I'm gonna do it. Right, should I do it or should I just put more drones on there? I guess let's put more drones on there. For now. Although in the long term, it's probably actually better. Okay, so we're going crazy on the drone count. I already have a spawning pool, so I don't need to make that. All right, do I have one more? Oh, no, that actually looks pretty perfect. Okay, this is a lot of drones. So I feel like I can build a hydro in now. If I can remember the hotkey. There it is. Come on, come on, you can do it. I'm just gonna build a couple of these. Where'd that drone go? I don't actually want him to build that. There he is, you guys come down here. Okay, I feel like this is enough drones. I can't imagine this being all this. Sunken colony, sunken colony. We're gonna make another one there. Make an overlord. Oh, I forgot about that. If you uh, select larva and then hit the button once, it's gonna build all your larva into that. So I just made three overlords. In StarCraft 1, of course, you have to hit it each each unit you wanna make. So with StarCraft 2, you have to be really careful. Make larva into hydras. There we go, we're doing good. I wonder how I should even make more of that. Well, I definitely have a lot of overlords, so that's good. And overlords do count as detectors, so I kinda wanna put them everywhere. Okay, so the only thing I'm worried about is Reavers. I don't know if they're going to have Reavers, but if they do, that's gonna really suck. Oh no, Mutas, get out of there. Oh dear, they're right there. Okay, so the Protoss is definitely right there. There. All right, go ahead and attack. Keep the hunter killers alive. Don't you dare lose the hunter killers. Otherwise, you're all fired. Oh no, scouts! Ah! Scouts are really good versus there. That's it. And even then, they're really not cost effective. But when you're a computer and you get everything for free, okay, I'm pretty sure there's reavers on this map. I'm like 100% sure. Oh, Muta, you're so dead. You are so dead, Muta. There is layer tech, but I don't know. I I could go mass mutas, I guess. But oh, Hydra, you're so dead. Oh, Hydra's just so good. I think I need Hydra Reap, though. So. There we go. Okay, so I do control one. You guys do control two. Let's see. I guess I'll come down here. All right, any Reavers over here? Please don't be a Reaver. I hate Reavers. As Zerg, I absolutely love this little Do I even need to kill all this? I don't even know if I need to kill them. Oh man, they keep making stuff. They keep making units. Thankfully, Hydras are really good. I have lost a couple of units at this point though. Okay, yeah, we're starting to mine out a lot of these patches. You guys need to start going over here more. Another cannon to take out. I get that for upgrades. On some of the maps, pure hydras are uh, pure beta is really good. Alright, Hydra Range just finished as well. So we're gonna save you guys off. Come on, upgrades. I love Hunter Killers, if only you had these every single level. 
I would be okay with this. Okie dokie. There's still some zealots up here where I could get some great enjoyment off of killing. I think I'm supposed to, uh, what, take the crystals with a drone? Is that how that works? Oh yeah, look at this drone, he's so cute. Carrying around the questionably looking chrysalis. I got some sweet mic. No! I had some sweet micro. Don't worry, Hunter Killer, you've got this. Alright, where's my awesome drone? Alright, drone, you have one mission, and that's to go there. I also saw some potentially bad guys down here. Go, go, Hydras, you've got this! Take him out! Uh oh, what's this? What's this happening? Where did you guys come from? Where's my drone? Oh, uh, my drone's being chased! I probably should have sent an escort with this guy, but. Oh well! Alright, he's almost there. He's almost there! Kill the zealot! Why do I still not have my plus one? Alright, so mission number two is a great success. Taking the V on that one. Um, so yeah, I'm going to stop it here. That was missions number one and two of the Zer campaign, 936, almost exactly the same as the last mission. And the plot is thickening a little bit. We are keeping our little chrysalis alive. It's going to continue to grow as we go through the different missions. So I hope you guys enjoy it. StarCraft 2 is such an awesome game. And of course, I'll see you guys. I mean, StarCraft 1 is an awesome game. StarCraft 2 is also an awesome game. And I'll see you guys next time. Hello, everyone. This is HDS Gesky here. I'm back with some more StarCraft 1 campaign playthrough. This is, of course, the original StarCraft. We've already beat the first two missions. So let's go ahead and go on to the new Dominion. We are playing through the Zerg. With the Protoss forces beaten, scattered, the Overmind have withdrawn the swarms to the remote Ash World of Char. Char is one bad side of town. You do not want to be straight out of Char. The new Dominion primary hive cluster, Planet, Planet Char. The power of that which is yet unborn. For the swirling images that flow forth from the chrysalis are only a shadow of the sleeper's true power. God, he's so badass. The emanations of the chrysalis have reached out into the depths of space and lured our enemies but now we are aware of their plans. All squadrons close formation and scan for hostiles. Emperor Arcturus believes that there's Zerg out here, so it's our job to flush them out. I don't want any slip ups this time. We'll show these critters that they can't run from the truth. Engage the Terran forces with care. Your priority is to protect the Chrysalis at all costs. I feel like the Overmind is so badass, and his two little sidekicks, they're just like these slimy little, like, I don't know. I don't know, man, but I am not impressed, Overmind. Alright, what do we got going on here? We got some Hydras. There's the Chrysalis. And I actually didn't see what my mission objectives were because I was too busy gawking the Overmind. Protect the Chrysalis, eliminate the Terran presence. Alright. Basically, this is a uh, tank and spank. Going to be going for the killing blow on the Terrans here. And where is my Vespine gas? There it is on the right side. Not too far away this time. 
I love how they also put a random number of gas, 4765. That's what I love about the campaign. Um, a lot of people hate that the minerals are all spread out and really super weird, but it makes it, it, makes it feel more, I wouldn't say realistic, but uh, <laughs> the chances of going to a planet that has perfectly placed money just doesn't seem very realistic to me. Not saying that StarCraft, no matter how you look at it, is a realistic game. I know you guys are going to say that, but uh, yeah. I just keep making some drones here. Scout around with the Mutalisks. See if there's anything going on down here, which there's not. Good to know. Uh, Mews are so awesome. So are you guys stoked for the StarCraft 1 leagues getting StarCraft 2 involved? Uh, did you guys hear about that? The only remaining StarCraft 1 league is now going to be half StarCraft 1, half StarCraft 2. So we very well could see some of the best players in the world out there uh, for StarCraft 1 transitioning to StarCraft 2. Keep in mind, a lot of the best players in StarCraft 2 right now are B-teamers from StarCraft 1. So what does that say about these upcoming players like Flash, Jadon, BC, Stork, many, many others. Oh, what's this? Oh, Super Green. Get out of here. Um, so I'm curious what you guys think about that. Are you excited? Do you feel bad? What What do you What do you think about the uh, position or the temper? Ah, the possibility of those players playing StarCraft 2. I am super excited. Let me know in the comments below. It'll give you guys something to discuss while you watch the videos because there's really no spoilers in this because it's either I beat the mission or I beat the mission. So there's really not a whole lot of spoilers there. I guess you could spoiler like the plot a little bit. No, no, return that before you build a hatchery. Oh, my forces are under attack, but I really want to build this hatchery. So, you guys, yep, you're able to deal with it. Oh, I need to build gas. I just need to build the gas right away. Remember, building gas right away is super important. I might kill these NPCs. What are you guys going to do about it? What are you guys going to do about it? Alright. Get this guy going. You need to start mining as well. Alright, this hatchery on the way it should help mining a little bit, although there's not that much money there. I'm gonna make an overlord. Get layer tech. Pretty excited about that. Ah, let's put this guy down here. Put you down there. Put you down there. And you down there. I think we'll need four. Uh, four might not be enough. Might need a fifth. And oh, you didn't start going in there, did you? All right. Well, that's good enough for now. And since I have the hydrogen, I should have a spawning pool, which I do. Overlord should be done. There he is. Alrighty, let's see. Yep, I do need one more drone in that gas, so you're going to do it. Get my macro on. And then it's one of those times where you aren't quite sure how the bases are laid out, and different units are going to be used in different situations. Mass Muta is good in a lot of uh, situations. You do have to watch out for science vessels, though. The reason that is because he radiates. Kill! No! No! Get out of there, Mutalisks. They did stem, and there's no medics in this game yet, so. Yeah, I think we're. Yeah, we still need a couple more drones. I did make a couple hydras, though. Let's go for. Well, I wonder what can I make. I never know what units are unlocked, so I have to. Okay, so Hydras, Mutas, and Scourge. So right now we don't really need... Uh, we don't really need a layer tech. I may go for some upgrades though. Which is gonna be that Evo Chamber right there. One building I think looks cooler in StarCraft 2 is the Evo Chamber. This this Evo Chamber reminds me of like ovaries or something. I don't know. It's not, it's not nearly as flattering. Definitely not the Zerg's most flattering building. All right, so just gonna keep making hydralists. I also need an overlord. Come on, overlord. Where's that larva at? Get some range upgrades. Overlord, look at my macro. So good, only not. All right. Hey, hey, hey. You leave my overlord alone. Okay, you win this time, but not this time. Oh, apparently I had a hydra going around that way. Alright, make more Hydras. Hydras are so cheap in Starcraft 1. And so darn good. Oh, there's an expansion up there. Hello. What's this? Hey! Hey! Alright, fine. I'll build a spine car down here. Or not a spine car, sunken colony. I know, guys. I know. 
Okay, so I'm gonna build two of those. Just make sure that that is indeed safe. We gotta scout over here, see what's going on. Also need to come up here and build a hatchery. I do have a lot of larvae, but I also want to make... I want to make my expansion first. Because my main base is not going to have money for an extremely long time. They left me high and dry! Alright, so I'm gonna put this right there, close enough. Okay, so I do have Hydras on the way. Hydra range. I think I'll save up for that. Ow, 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 ow. Alright, Mutas. Counting on you. Oh, there's anti-air. Alright, 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 guys. Okay, this is not going, not going well. Maybe I will get layer tech. Um, I could have gotten better. Definitely could have gotten better. Okay, I do have just enough drones there. I think I need more drones up here since I didn't have as many as I thought I did. I never upgraded these, I should probably do that. In case they sneak any, sneak any guys in there. All right, here we go. Now we're getting saturated. You guys feel saturated? Because I feel saturated. Which, taken out of context, even taken in context, sounds kind of not good. All right, I'm just going to make more drones. Well, I don't know. I feel like I may have enough now. But this expansion is nearly done. So I'm going to transfer over some drones up here. And I don't really need gas right now. It's actually a level where I... Why are you guys taking that route? That's seriously the best route you guys can think of. Okay, so this is going well. I probably transferred way too many drones. That's okay. Oh, what are you guys doing? Get back to work. Alright. So we should be okay there. Pretty good on gas. I just really need minerals. Oh, there goes a fire truck in the background. I don't know if you can hear it, but... Good luck, fire truck. Putting out them fires. Okay, overlords. Oh Alright, so now the macro's going. Now the macro's kicking into overdrive. So I should be able to start affording, number one, some overlords. And number two, figuring out how I'm going to kill off this. Researching overlord speed and drops, I think, is a good start. Also, Hydra range and circling speed. Hoping, of course, that they don't decide to attack me anytime soon, because I'm investing in upgrades. I'm getting armor, overlord speed, Hydra range, and zergling speed. And overlords here, just to not mess up my supply in the future. So, for now I'm gonna make some zerglings. I always forget that when you select larva, it makes all that unit. Oh, you, you want a piece of me? Come on, Vulture. Come on, bring it. Bring it! Ugh! Just watch out for the missile turrets. Alright, took that out with relative ease. Oh, not that siege tank, I hope. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm making lots of money now, baby. Lots of money. Eh, Burrow's not that important, right? I do remember that I need Overlord. Uh, drops on this map. Is Zergling speed yet? Almost. Alright, Zergling, do your best. Okay, let's try this again. I'm gonna try going this way. I feel like I should still mine this gas just in case. Alright, I got the overlords on the way. Okay. Let's see how far Mr. Zergling can make it. Not very far, of course. All right, now that I have Overlord Speed, go ahead and do Overlord Drops. Upgrades are looking spot on. All right, we are starting to kick it now. All right, I think what I'm gonna do is try and just kill this tank up here. And we shall see how it goes. No, I just, no! No, that did not go well. You can attack from below ground. Just, just spoiler alert. Okay, so you guys go in there. 
now I'm going to send the rally point down here. Okay. I'm angry. And this had better work. I do need to bring all my overlords together, though. Alright, Overlord Conference, my base. This is a must attend meeting. I also need to make more overlords, I think, for this drop. Oh, this is gonna feel good. This is gonna feel real good. Alright, so we're just waiting on overlord drops. It shouldn't take long. We're gonna have Hydra Range, Hydra Speed, Zergling Speed, plus one, plus one. This is gonna be awesome. If I lose all my stuff, I'm gonna be really sad really fast. Alright, we have a blue drops yet? Almost. Almost, guys. The hour is almost upon us. Yes! Oh, someone in the comments I saw on my last video said, Husky, you need to click on the overlords more to make overlord sounds. Now let's just, just listen. <laughs> Oh, I was uh, just talking to the overlords. They're actually really nice guys. Um, so I'll try and take better care of them. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Alright, well, while I was talking that, I saved up a lot of, a lot of money. I'm going to go ahead and spin that. Alright, so the ho unload hotkey is U. It is not D. It's U, not D. Get it? It's U, not D. Never mind. Never mind, guys. It's was funnier in my head. All right, quick unload, unload! Don't no, no, this overload's taking so much damage. Quick unload, unload! All right, we may have lost. Oh my God, that's so much stuff. We are so out of here. Quick, kill that tank. Oh man. Oh wow. Wow. All right, we're gonna we're switching to mutalists. That did not go well at all. And this made this base like mined out already. Oh man. All right. Well, spoiler alert. That went horribly. We are now switching. Well, I'm gonna move these guys back here for defense. And we are now switching to mutalisks. These upgrades do nothing. And I'm gonna make double spire for double upgrades. These mutas are gonna be off the hook once this stupid drone can get out of there. All right, some more overlords. I'm gonna take the spire. Yeah, I'm just gonna make more overlords. It's gonna take forever for this spire, this spire to finish. Um, and I am mining a lot of gas here, which I believe that could use one more drone. So we'll put him in there. All right, we are switching to mass muta. I think this is the only answer. And these overlords should be nearly done. Now that I lost a lot of them in that stupid drop. Whose idea was that? Can you guys just give me whatever's gonna come out of this cocoon yet? Oh wait, these overlords still have guys in them. Those poor, those poor overlords having to sit around with hydras in them all day. All right, let's go ahead and unload everything. There we go, okay. All right, Spire's almost done. This is gonna be so many new lists. M, S, M. Yes, I'm saying S and M, guys. S, M, there we go. All right, we are making nine new lists and we're gonna get the upgrades. All right, Hydra Hockey number two. Double upgrades. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Hopefully my Hydra lists are up for the task. Hey, don't you go up there. You gotta come down here. Quick, Micro, sacrifice the links. All right, we got that easy. We got that easy for breezy. All right, well, hopefully I don't spend all the money on this map, because that would be, that'd be no good. Okay, 11 me lists. We'll see how this goes. Because I do not want to waste all my money. Maybe I should make, yeah, I'm going to make more. I might do two hockey groups. You guys are going to be hockey three. The upgrades take forever on these things, by the way. All right, there's hockey group one. Here's hockey group two. All right, 
Alright, well that's all my money. Better make this work. Yeah, this mission's hard. They give him like high ground and everything. Alright, here we go. This is probably what I should have done from the beginning. And if you group these with an overlord, they stack really well. Pro tip. Come on, Mutas, you can do it. You can do it. Hang in there. Oh my god, there's so many Marines! We need to kill these stupid turrets off. Ah, I don't know about this. Alright, ow, 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 ow. Alright, whatever, we're going for it. We're going for it. Ah! Why do they have so many units? I feel like my two hockey groups have been reduced to less than one. But now I still have 12 here. Alright, we gotta try and like pick off these buildings or something. Oh, there we go. Ow, 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 this muta. I'm trying to get them to stim themselves to death, which having mixed results on that. All right, well, at least I've killed off these, so I think I can start making some more cost-effective circles, hopefully. Because we have got to find somewhere to expand. We are running out of money. Okay, let's see. They have the top left, but what's on the top right? That's the real question. No, you stupid siege tank. All I'm trying to do is find another base. So far with no luck. Oh, great. A tank, of course. All right, so we're going to change up our strategy a little bit. And what we're going to do... Alright, we're going Ling Muta. Screw it. Alright, I'm seriously running out of fumes here. I don't even think... Yeah, I have to leave the rest of this for expansion. So if I don't kill them with this, then that is going to be it. So we are going with everything here. First, I'm going to scout with an Overlord up here. I want to see what my backup plan is. And an Overlord up there. Like, I'm wondering if I should unload right here, if I should fight up the ramp. Oh, I just don't know. We'll see if there's another entrance into that base. I need to put a couple drones on this mineral patch. Oh, by a couple, I mean like 30. That's how many idle ones I have. Oh, that's a lot of Marines. What we got going up here. Oh, of course, a bunker. Does it have any guys in it? Okay, thankfully, no. There is a base over here, potentially for the taking. Oh great, best me guys are indeed. Alright, I think my game plan is to attack over here. Okay, the attack has begun. I'm gonna go ahead and send a drone preemptively just because. I'm probably going to need this spot. Ah, here we go. Here's some buildings I can kill off. Alright, I'm feeling a little bit better. Alright, kill off the tank right away. Oh, uh, I don't know. That's a lot of tanks, guys. Alright, Mutas, your one job is to kill the tanks. And the Wraiths! Kill the Wraiths! Actually, why am I worried about Wraiths? They're horrible! Alright, might as well expand up here during all this chaos. Okay, I'm gonna keep making units during this. That's probably a good idea. You guys need a transfer up here. You guys also need a transfer up there. And I guess we'll be long distance mining for a little bit. Okay, let's refill our ranks. Man, they definitely make these missions harder. 
All right, three. All right, I currently am having no income right now. Just off that one mineral patch and the long distance mining I'm about to do, which is probably a horrible idea. It's probably actually just better for all these drones to wait. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. All you guys, wait over here. Okay, I'll attack once I am actually mining at this base. Because at this moment, I have no income. Uh oh. Charge! Kill the tanks! Kill all the tanks! Are you guys trying to rebuild now, huh? Alright, all you guys get to work. Only split up, don't be stupid. I think I made more guys, right? No, I guess not. I guess I don't have any money for it. Alright, you start mining as well. I'm so gonna build a creep tumor here. But so far. So far, so good. Come on, Mutas, kill the tanks. Quickly kill the tanks. They have a nice base layout over here. They got the barracks and supply depot in the mineral line. How many tanks do you guys have? Alright, I think I finally have this. I think this is finally beaten. Gonna make a bunch of links to help finish it. So yeah, I would recommend going this way on the map. As if you try and drop down here, man, they got stuff everywhere. All right, there we go. There we go. Hold, Cerebrates. Do not pursue them. Cerebrates, you must stay and relocate the chrysalis to a more secure location. Dagoth shall deal with the remaining Terran forces. Oh, Dagoth will do the remaining. Yeah, because what does he have left? A supply depot and a refinery? Yeah, that's going to be really tough. Sure glad Dagoth is on the job. Yeah, without Dagoth, then we would have been in a lot of trouble. Good job, Dagoth. Anyways, that's, uh, that mission was a, a bit of a pickle because they don't give you that much money. So, you, you got to be careful with your attacks. I would recommend attacking the right side. It always impressed me how much of a snake this looks like right here. Like, with the low resolution that they had back then, I thought that that always looked so awesome. And uh, also, these school, skulls are pretty cool. But I uh, always thought this looked really cool right there. So, what was that mission name? I already forget. But we are going to be moving on to the next mission as we are relocating the Chrysalis to a much more secure location. Hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys next time. Hello everyone, this is HDSKSK here. I'm back with some more StarCraft 1 campaign action. We're going to go ahead and continue the Zerg. It does look like we have indeed unlocked our own new cinematic. It's called The Dream, and then we're going on to a mission called Agent of the Swarm. Let's see what this is all about. I love cutscenes. There's Planet Char, it's hot as balls. Overlords don't seem to mind, it's their natural habitat. Ah, cute little hydralisk. Okay, what's going on, man? Oh, uh, you know, not much. Just uh, hanging out with Char. Okay. Alright, so I guess the cinematic is more for, hey, we live on this volcanic planet. Or something. I don't actually know what's, what's going on here. I feel like we've seen these overlords before. All overlords look alike. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, don't be too scared, guys. Don't be too scared. Agent of the Swarm, a primary hive cluster on the planet Char. Serebrate, be warned. While Dagoth is occupied with the forces of the Dominion, the emanations of the Chrysalis have called even more... He's still occupied with the geyser and, like, the barracks I left behind? God. Why, thank you. Yet first must you stay in your wrath and watch over the Christmas a while longer. For the very hour of the sleeper's rebirth is at hand, and soon my greatest creation shall be loosed. God, he's so badass.
Oh, I don't like being told what to do, but I will listen to him all day long. Oh, uh, we got some queens, baby. Only one hatchery, it looks like. Oh. Alright. All crews stay frosty and keep your eyes peeled for our target. Remember, not only are we up against the Zerg here, but our old pal General Duke may be creeping around too. Let's hope this trip wasn't a big mistake. Hey, hey, what up, Jimmy? Alright, let's, uh, sure, let's throw a parasite on that neutral critter just because. It'll give me some pretty dope map vision. Hey, an expansion. And by dope map vision, I mean this is a dead end, so it's not going to do anything. But that's fine. Not even mad, bro. I do need to make another Overlord, though. God, queens are so awesome in StarCraft 1. They fly around, they slow stuff, they give you vision of units. They spawn broodlings to kill tanks. Oh, maybe I should have made that last game. Oh, 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 parasite, parasite. There we go. That's what you want to get with the parasites. Our damn drop ships, because they will explore the map for you. Here comes a drop, though. All right, let's see. Four hydras can take that on, right? Especially with the assistance of a spine crawler. Nay, multiple spine crawlers. All right, so these dropships are going to be flying around all day long, showing me what's up on the map. I am going to make a hatchery. Oh, I should make it up there, but I really don't think it actually matters. No, don't kill! Don't die! I need you! Okay. Gonna throw some guys in gas. All right, Metavax, you're showing me an island expo. Oh yeah, yeah. Please, please come over here. And there's a command center right there. A bunch of marines. So these dropships proving to be quite handy. Oh yeah, yeah. Please, please fly down. All right. Oh my goodness, they have stuff everywhere. Okay, so I'm actually just waiting for the. Um, if you were wondering, I'm actually just waiting for, let's see, do I have a parasite you already? Yes, I did. Waiting for the egg to pop. What else can I, can I throw this little thing on? Sure, how about this little guy? Why not? All right, what's happening? You didn't kill that dropship, did you? All right, good. Wait, where do you think you're going, buddy? He took one look at my base and was like, nope. This guy's off in La La Land. All right, I don't want to kill your dropships. Oh, I got dropped on. Oh, man. Maybe time to retreat. Retreat. All right, so my income should be much better now. Hopefully these spine crawlers are going to do the trick. Okay. So I gotta slurt slowly putting these guys into gas, and I do need a spawning pool soon. Also, no blood, we did. Alright, economy is looking tip top shape. I do need one more drone in there, but for now. Alright, finally get some, you know, ability to make units. I do need one more drone in there. Oh, we're at three minutes. Three minutes until it's happy fun time, baby. Alright, so all you guys are good. One more guy spawn there. I totally should have built this hatchery up north. I realize this now. This drop may prove to be kind of annoying. 
I don't really have anything that can... Hopefully that drops is going to stay there. Um, it is not. It is not. It's going to go straight for these drones. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Save the drones. Quick, follow me down here. No. No, come on, Hydras. Come on. Come down here, guys. All right, hopefully my Hydras can do the, do the job. No, you freaking Marines. I spent a long time building all these drones. I guess I should have spent some time building units. All right, thankfully this Goliath is really friendly. He's just, he's being friendly. I'm okay with that. Oh, well, now he got mad because I attacked his girlfriend. But that's fine. It is to be expected. All right, I need to build a hatchery. Right here. Oh, well, now that I have six Zerglings, we'll need a Lair Tech. Probably build a Hydra Den. Oh, yeah, 60 seconds, but these be Blizzard seconds, much shorter than actual seconds. This should be upgraded though. I will give them that. I'll build another one over here. Cerebrate, the chrysalis is opening. Do not allow any Terrans near it. Alright, some pretty solid dating advice. Okay. Oh yeah, baby. By your will, father, I live to serve. Let all who oppose the overmind feel the wrath of the swarm. Well done, Cerebrate. What I have wrought this day shall be the undoing of my enemies. Let not a Terran survive. Ugh. Awkward. What is it now? All right, Kerrigan's a little low on energy. Ah, uh, she doesn't have Psy Storm on this one. Kind of sad about that one. You guys need to leave my drones alone, okay? Lest Kerrigan be up in your face. All right, well, I have some sort of defense now. Spinecrawler is definitely handy on this map. Um, I should probably make a Spire. Make some drones for up here. Yes. Carrion already up to four kills, like a boss. She can't consume units for more energy, but Ensnare is not really that great. Definitely not as good as Size Storm. Out of my way. Out of my way. She's a little bit emo, but uh, that's okay. I'm okay with this. All right, so should I go for Mutas? I feel like I need to go for at least drops, so I gotta work on that. Oh, Lord, drops going. I'm listening. Alright, it's gonna make another overlord. Have one on the way already. I'm listening. I'm listening. This expansion is gonna help out a lot. And I think from here yes. on out, I'm just gonna be making attacking units. Broodling, broodling research would also be awesome. How about with these stupid guys? Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna drop fire bats on me, really? You're gonna do a five fire bat drop? What is it now? Bring it! 
Pokemon Kerrigan. This is your forte. Six kills and seven kills. I'll take it. I do the little spire, right? Where, where, where's my spire? Did I not build a spire? I guess not. I think I stopped it to do the upgrades here. So I'm going to have a lot of resources for either Mutalisks. I definitely am going to have to expand here. It looks like the Terran player is just everywhere. Yes. Probably need more Hydras now. Slowly moving Overlord over here to put a drone in. He's going to take a while to get over there. Now, Overlord, you feel free to keep going this way. All right, now the slow push to the expansion. It's gonna be world's slowest expansion. All right, this should be enough hydras for defense right now. I'm just gonna keep making some extra overlords because eventually I'm gonna need them. Come on, Spire! Mutalisk, Mutalisk. Mutalisk. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I was going to need those overlords. Which I do have on the way. I'm pretty excited about it. Yes! Alright, build a hatchery. I wonder how close. Should I build two hatcheries or put it like in the middle? How about right there? That's kind of lame, but that's what you gotta do, man. You gotta do what you gotta do. All right, it is the time. Oh, perfect macro. You know, I was hovering a million resources for like forever. But this is gonna give me center map control. Making more overlords, and the upgrade is on the way. Ah, overlord speed as well, baby. I am okay with this. All right, so you guys need to chill out over here. These mutas are going to protect this expansion. I think I made exactly, no, I made 13. She can come up here, just to feel special. All right, you guys getting loaded up in here. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and take this expo, then work on more mutas to start harassing bases. Playing it nice. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. You guys need to get out of here. I don't care if you're parasited. Ah, uh, you can do it. Yeah, where are you going now? Dropship? Fine. Whatever. Just leave. Okay. So now gas is becoming a bit of an issue. What is it now? Our forces are under attack. Yeah. Get your stupid medevac out of here. Our dropship is not a medevac. Why? No, kill a stupid thing that's killed three of my drones. Those things seem to survive every time, but not today. Okay, so we're gonna go kill this missile turret just to make some fools mad. Oh, 
Okay, so this base should be relatively safe. Up my mutas. All right, so I think that's enough, guys. In gas. Once this wave of mutas pops, we are rolling out. Might save a little bit of money for the armor upgrade, as I do have the plus one attack. Would love to have the plus one armor. There's some overlord spreadage going on. I probably don't even need to do this. Probably better for me to keep them close together, but whatever. Right, there's that, so we'll work on the armor upgrade. Alright, Goliath, this is a bit of a problem. Oh, they do have a lot of Goliaths. Oh dear, time to go. It's time to leave. I'm gonna go ahead and use a speed upgrade. And I think I will bring my overlords back. Because Zergling's pretty darn good versus Goliaths. Alright, overlords, it's time to roll out. Or float out. I don't know what you call it when you're a blimp, basically. Oh, and I do have these Hydras. And, of course, good old Kerrigan. Ugh! I, I can bring Kerrigan along for the ride, right? Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save just in case. Save game. Kerrigan, don't die, Plox. Okay, so she's coming along for the ride. And Lings are coming along for the ride. You're gonna have so many Lings. That is going to be ridiculous. All right. Fill up that overlord. Come on, Mutas, please. Can you stop messing around down here? Okay, so I feel like we are so ready. Close enough, right? Oh my god, this is so much stuff. Kerrigan! You should probably use a cloak, just in case. Can you guys please actually unload everything? That would be... That would be fantastic. Alright, time for some more lists. I should really invest in these command centers. But can I get the queens down here in time? Alright, where are you at, Kerrigan? You're not dying, are you? Alright, now she's she's killing some noobs. Alright, let's see. Yeah, I'm, I'm cool with this. Oh, yeah, infested command center, baby. Infested command center. Yep, kill the dropship. Come on, yeah. We'll let you live this time.
All right, I have quite a few needless now. And spoiler alert, I can make more. So we're gonna go ahead and pick up some drones. What, really? Really guys, you're gonna send one Wraith to me. All right, you guys get in the Overlord. Get to the Overlord! All right, we definitely gotta make some of these guys. Infested Terrans. Basically, they run into stuff and blow up. They were the Banelings before Banelings were cool. Only they're way better than Banelings. But very difficult to get. No! What are you guys doing? Really? Really? Ah. Uh. They do 500 damage, but that is to everything. Everything on the ground will get owned by that. You do not want to find yourself getting hit by that. Ah, this is depleted. How about this one? Not quite depleted yet. We are getting mined out here, though. Although, surprising lack of drones, because I think they all died. Okay. Let's see how well Mutas do here. Muta flock, go! Never give up! Never surrender! I do need another armor upgrade though. All right, and uh, even another base. I feel like I can handle this. But what they can't handle is my infested Terrans. Look how fast they go. The, the downside is that they blow each other up. Plus their pathing is so bad that like, good luck ever hitting anything of any importance with these things. But we're gonna try. We are going to try. I'm just waiting for Daggett to be like, um, I will deal with the remaining forces after I've killed everything. I just know it. that's what they're gonna do. That's how the Zerg roll, man. That is how they roll. Thankfully, I left guys behind. Wait, where'd my, where'd my awesome Overlord go? With tons of Infested Terrans inside. Uh, that's actually a really good question. Have you guys seen an Overlord with uh, some suicide bombers in it? Because uh, I've completely misplaced it. Okay, it's not those guys. Is it you? There you are. All right, let's try and find a little sweet spot here. Unload these bad guys. Right there. Oh, hi, tank. Oh, now you're dead. Oh, you stupid fire bat. Gosh darn it. Can you imagine if Banelings one-shot tanks? That's how good these guys are. Okay, I definitely need more, more drones. Cat, you stupid wraith. All right, so my upgrades are good. My economy is looking okay. Could be better. But now that I'm adding this many drones into it, it should be better. Let's go ahead and attack over here. Man, 2-1 is the way to be. You guys might be able to seal the deal. Oh, 
There we go, this is feeling, this is feeling good. This is feeling like it should. That almost, that almost feel like that's like a, a rock song. This is feeling good. This is feeling like it should. Yeah. Feels like a song theme. I'm coming for you, Gem Raider, and your teal-colored missile turrets. All right, Gem Raider. Did we kill this command center? There it is. There it is, baby. Sarah, is that really you? To an extent. I'm far more than I once was, Jim. You shouldn't have come here. But the dreams. I dreamed you were still alive, that somehow you were calling to me. I was. While I was in the chrysalis, I instinctively reached out to you and Arcturus telepathically. Apparently, Arcturus sent Duke here to reclaim me. But that was then, Jim. I'm one of the Zerg now, and I like what I am. You can't imagine how this feels. So, what? Are you gonna kill me now, darling? That is certainly within my power. But you're not a threat to me, Jim. Be smart. Leave here now, and never seek to confront the Zerg again. Doesn't look like I have much choice. Wah wah, Jim Rayner with the boner kill, sacrifices an entire fleet of guys to try and get the lady, but he gets rejected. Cold Turkey, all right, victory, 26 minutes on this map. This map was a ton of fun. Um, definitely take that island expo. I would recommend building your second hatchery, or the very first hatchery you're going to make from a drone. Uh, put it on that gas instead of next to the minerals. Um, and then mutas work pretty good. Doing a drop in the bottom corner base was Pretty cost effective. You could probably do that on the other side as well. At that point, I just had finally mined a lot of gas. So I was able to make a lot of mutas. So that was a ton of fun. And we're going to continue. Uh, I also read a comment that was making fun of me saying that I always say the plot thickens. But the plot does indeed thicken this time. We're going to find out what happens in the next mission. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time. Hello everyone, this is HVS Gusky here. I'm back with some more StarCraft 1 campaign playthrough action. In the last video, we saw Kerrigan friend zone Jim Rayner to the extreme, saying no to his pleas to date him and saving his life, but not allowing him a very enjoyable experience as she said no. So, we are going to go on to mission number five, the Amerigo. The Amerigo round. Kerrigan, the newest and most powerful agent of the Overmind, has arisen from her embryonic cries chrysalis, but her formidable powers are still not fully functional. Kerrigan must now seek to unravel the ghost conditioning that keeps her powers in check. Once done, she will lead the Overmind's minions to complete domination over the unsuspecting Protoss. The Amerigo round. A primary hive cluster, planet char. Cerebrate, you watched over me during my incubation, and I am grateful to you. It is my wish that you continue your vigil, so that I might strengthen my powers to better aid the Swarm. I have been unable to access the totality of my latent powers, and as such, I would like to infiltrate a Terran science vessel and uncover the secrets of their abandoned ghost projects. If I can learn more about their mental conditioning, I can undo the damage their tinkering scientists have done to my mind. Though you be the favored servant of the Overmind, you would do well to remember that you are just a servant. You know of our grand mission, Kerrigan. Would you put your personal whims before the will of the Overmind? Uh, yeah. Do not cross me, Salas. I will do as I see fit, and not you or any other Cerebrate shall stand in my way. Let her go, Zaz. The greatness of her spirit has been left to her, that the swarms might benefit from her fierce example. Fear not her designs, for she is bound to me as intimately as any celebrate. Truly, no sir can stray from my will, for all that you are lies wholly within me. Kerrigan is free to do as she desires. 
Why is he so badass every single time he, this eyeball talks to me? Is a Dagath or whatever still having trouble with that barracks I left behind? These the deadliest of my minions. They shall aid you in your search. I'm listening. All right, so this is gonna be one of those non-building, non-building games. Unauthorized entry detected. All right, still no size storm, but I do believe I get it a little bit later, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, what's this thing do? Security cameras activated. Yes. Security cameras? I just want to kill civilians. Okay, so we see where it's at. Now we just gotta figure out how to get there. Wait, what'd you guys find? Oh, there's a door over here. Oh, uh, hey civilians! What's uh, going on this thread? No help is coming, I'm afraid. Yes. Alright, so I do believe I go this way. I never like these missions that much just because I prefer macroing and building stuff, but you also get a lot of story with a little bit of work, so I'm okay with that. Come on, stupid ghost. Oh, well, they have the high ground advantage now, so maybe we'll just go this way. Alright, come on. Just ignore them. Just ignore them. You too, Kerrigan. She's taking like two damage per shot. There we go. This is where the fun begins. How much damage does Kerrigan do? 50 damage plus three. I will take it. These hunter killers are pretty beast as well. Yes. Uh, that felt pretty good. A bold move. Uh, you know what really sucks for Jim Rayner? He's been trying to date Kerrigan forever. He doesn't get to do what I get to do to her. Look at this. I can spin her in circles. I can make her disappear. I can make her puke anytime I want. And uh, I can stand her next to these gross hydralisks. So I guess I'm mocking Jim Rayner now. Which is probably why he's so depressed in StarCraft 2. Oh, you silly civilians, if you only knew. What are you doing? Come on, get up here and join the fun. A bold move, slaughtering defenseless civilians. I, you know, whatever impresses the ladies, I guess. Yes. Oh, what is that? Oh, stupid little trap door. Leave me alone, I'm killing your defenseless civilians who apparently have backpacks on. Alright, so a ghost is coming down. More like going down. Yes. Kerrigan's up to 13 kills. Most of those defenseless civilians, which I'm okay with. Alright, on a lot of these missions, you do get reinforcements. On this one, I don't know if you do or not. Oh, no, let's just ignore that. Carry on. Carry on. More like carry gone. God, my jokes are so bad. Ah, oh, these poor little guys down here. I want to set you free. Hey, you stop that right now. You stop that right now. That's not cool. I want to release the little guys down here. They're so cute. Why would you guys be mean to them? I say as I'm like parasiting and killing them in the last mission. No, I'm doing it. This is like uh, Super Metroid. I'm saving the little critters at the end. You guys remember that? What? Locked? Is this one locked too? A bow. Man, my hunter killers just do not take damage. They have so many upgrades. They have two armor plus three. Come on, give me a break. All right, it must be this thing down here. Come on, hunter killers. You got the speed upgrade. This, this one right here is a little distracted by the lady. Yes. Can't say that I blame him. All right, unlock this stupid thing. All right, you guys are free. Man, one of the guy like booked it up the stairs. You see that? He went right up the stairs. 
All right, surely yes. these Zerglings will be the difference between life and death. Really just the difference between death and death because they are probably going to end up dead. All right, let's wax these critters. Let's wax these critters. Why would you wax a critter? All right, Zerglings, well, it's been really fun, but you're now dead. So, welcome to the swarm. Yes. Here's your complimentary cookie. Anything else down here? Any more prisoners behind locked doors? Kind of like Congress, am I right? Of course the door is locked. Yes. You, you wood right. blizzard. You wood decade old blizzard. Actually, it's over 10 years old now. Yes. And where to now? Yes. Oh, more, more fire bats. Do my sweet micro. Oh, uh, I feel like I'm taking more damage. I've totally micro this guy like a million miles away. Okay, let's see. Any any secrets over here? I'm a fan of secrets. Blizzard. Blizzard is also a fan of secrets. Like, what other classes are going to be in Diablo 3? Are they actually going to have more classes than the, what is it, 5 they've announced? Ah. Uh, I didn't realize he just swore. He's got a mouth on him. We'll go ahead and cloak on this one. Alright, there's... Uh, I guess I'm supposed to go this way. Maybe? What does this do? You have unlocked all doors. That's a nice one. Security cameras yes. activated. Okay. Okay. Alright, teleporter located in sector 5, reading you loud and clear. I'm listening. Go ahead and decloak here again, it's okay. Yes. Okay, so they did unlock this door. What is it now? And we are going to the teleporter. Might as well do the burrow dance. Listening. Probably should unburrow him now. What is it now? Yes. Alrighty, I think this one's almost over. Oh, they're still putting up a little bit of a fight. Kerrigan doesn't know quite what to do with herself because she can't walk around a high dose and step a flight of stairs, but it's okay. Okay, so that's the teleporter, but there is a civilian over here. A couple of civilians, so I feel need to be dealt with. Because these guys could be the next uh, Emperor Minx. You don't know. You don't know. You gotta take them all out now to prevent that from happening. Because you don't know what what, what badness they can do. I wonder what's up here. Nope. Nope. Don't go that way. Uh, there's probably nothing up there. Screw it. Yeah, there is indeed nothing up there. There's a wall right there. Herp derp. All right. I have teleported to Sector Six. Apparently, Sector Six is the civilian sector. Are I going to kill a bunch more civilians? This mission looks like it's going to be pretty short. I can't imagine losing at this point. Although my luck, I'll probably botch the whole thing. A bold move. I feel like Kerrigan's really easy to impress. Like, everything I do just turns out being a bold move. And then half the time, she just sounds annoyed with me. Yes. Alright, we're almost there. Yes. Almost there, that's a lot of ghosts. Stay alive, Hunter Killer. I'm counting on you. I think these two things are detectors. Indeed they are. Oh hey, nice supercomputer you got over here. They look like a bunch of Macs. Or not not Max, but like those really, really old computers. So let's go ahead and log into the supercomputer. Downloading files. Cerebrate, I have located the records I sought. We have everything we need here. All right, well, I'm sure the Cerebrate's going to be quite pleased that we now have a hard copy of StarCraft 1. All right, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here. I uh, need to take a shower. So there, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here. We're going to move on to the next mission. This one was a little bit easier. Which means I'm sure in the next one they're going to try and screw me over, man. Because that's how video games are designed. They give you a little bit of an easy way and then all of a sudden everything is crazy. Kind of like the game Marvel Madness. You think the first level is good, then the time carries over to the second mission. You can never beat that stupid thing. God, Marvel Madness isn't it only like five levels, but it is so hard. God, that game. Even, even as a fully grown adult, I still cannot force myself to play that game again. But anyways... Plot thickens. Haha, <laughs> I stuck it in there. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Hello, and this is HDS Gesky here, back with some more StarCraft 1 campaign playthrough action. 
I uh, decided to make the game full screen. Let me know if it's too distracting or not. But if you do play the game, this is exactly what it looks like if you, uh, you know, play it on a modern day monitor. So I'm kind of curious to see how it translates into a video. But uh, we did unlock a cinematic here. Battle on the Amerigo. The Amerigo round. Here we go. Dominion Science Missile Amerigo Special Demolition Squad Mission. Dem Demolition of Compromised Vessel. So this is the vessel that I attacked with Kerrigan. And I did have those hunter hunter killers with me. A couple of Zerglings were on there as well. Looks like a pretty fancy transport ship they have here. I don't know, man. Is Kerrigan still on the ship? That is the real question. Reminds me of aliens. Very, very similar to aliens. Oh, one door is easy to open. Alright, we got a ghost. We got a couple marines. your Zerg right here. <laughs> The Dark Templar, primary hive cluster on the planet Char. Do you feel that, Servant? The Protoss are here on Char. They have been for some time hiding. Protoss Commander, it was folly of you to come here, for I am Kerrigan, and I am Queen of the Zerg. I know of you well, O oh Queen of the Zerg. 
where we have met before. I am Tassadar of the Templar. I remember your selfless exploits, defending humanity from the Zerg. Unfortunate it is to see that one who was once so honorable and full of life would succumb to the twisted wiles of the Overmind. Do not presume to judge me, Templar. You'll find my powers to be more than a match for yours. In fact, I sense that your vaunted power has diminished since last we met. Mayhap, O oh Queen. Or is it only that I need not flaunt my power in such an infantile test of will? Foolish Templar, prepare your defenses. I will come for you soon. Alright, well, the first step in war, I would say, is Can don't I tell your opponent you're about to I attack. I something strange about this Templar. Perhaps you should reconsider your attack. For the last time, Zars, you question my motives and authority at your own peril. You dare threaten a celebrate? You'll be the doom of us all. I'm listening. Man, having a little cat fight down there. I mean, it's like, go easy on her. She just broke up on with uh, Mr. Jim Rayner. Yes. All right, so this map, I guess I'm just killing off a bunch of Protoss. I do have Guardians now, which is pretty awesome. They are basically the uh, Reed Lord equivalent. Keep in mind that... Uh, you need to build the guys are there. Uh, keep in mind that they do build from Mutalisks, which is pretty fancy. And there will be no Guardians because this is not brute work. Guardians are splash damage. Well, they're not splash damage. They do damage to one target, but they put a splash effect that uh, I think what it makes them shoot slower, things like that. Yes. Something fancy. And I think that this is the only way into my base, but I'm going to overlord. No, there's another way down there as well. Thankfully, that is covered by a good old spine crawler. Not spine crawler. Sunken colony, excuse me. I know I was making that mistake several times. All right, so I think I need to build a hatchery. I don't know where the most... I think I'm going to build it up here. I doubt that's the most efficient place, but whatever. I'm going to do it anyway. All right, so I'm going to be macroing up quite a bit. I can't really scout right now. I don't really have any links. They do give me the hydrogen, the spawning pool, and yes. Kerrigan. She does have size storm now, baby. Uh, uh, uh. Can you imagine if Zerg had size storm? I guess they kind of do in StarCraft 2. Fungal growth. Fungal growth is similar to size storm. Oh, why didn't you? What are you? Hey, hey. I guess he didn't have enough money when he got there. I always forget in StarCraft 1 that it doesn't take the money until they actually start building the building. Which I guess actually makes sense if you think about it. Which I'm not going to think about it, so... Alright, I'm curious to see exactly what's out there. But for now, I do have to make just some overlords. Gimme some overlords! Alright, overlord on the way. Drone is completed, so my income's gonna be looking pretty darn good. I could upgrade to a lair while I wait, because I already have the hydrogen and the spawning pool, so I don't need anything else from tier one. So I'll go ahead and start that up. This hatchery's halfway done. Wants me to make even more overlords. I don't know what I think about that. Yes. I guess I can scout around the Muta Hut. No, Guardians, you need to get back there. Alright, hard drones on the way always. Yes. Okay, so is there a base down here? Nope, nope, nope. Okay, it's all coming back to me. I sort of remember this map, but not really. So I don't really know what I'm getting myself into. Alright, we're just gonna go ahead and fly over here. Alright, that hatchery's already starting to kick in a little bit. Oh, is this another base? Can I expand it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it is. Is that an island? We'll find out pretty soon. It looks like an island. 
Unfortunately, there's no lurkers because it's not brute force, so that's kind of sad. And I think I should just go for a spire really quickly. Yeah, build a spire. Because I've unlocked Hive Tech! Okay, so this is indeed an island, so I'm gonna set my board right there. I do need to make another overlord. I also want to research Overlord transporting. I want to grab that expo pretty quick. Let's throw another drone in there. All right, with the Spire on the way, I'm hoping Guardians will be good. I will have to watch out for Scouts, because they will kill Guardians, even though Scouts are worthless in multiplayer. They can definitely kill a Guardian, or kill, yeah, kill a Guardian. Okay, I do have quite a bit of drones now. I'm gonna make one more wave, and that's gonna be it for those. And then I want to grab this expo because of the gas. Well, I think that's an active gas. How much is on there? Let's check how much there is. All right, they haven't attacked me in a little bit, but I've only been macroing, so if they do attack me, could be in some trouble. I do have to make a queen's nest. And let's see. Okay, 4,000 gas. I can do that. That guy's over there. Go ahead and send this drone over here. And I'm gonna start on the attack upgrade right away. You gotta remember that guardians do a lot of upfront damage. They don't do, um, they're, they're not like root lords where they have, where they spawn a thing when they attack. They just do a lot of siege range damage. If they attack from really far away. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start that right away. I think I may even start another spire. Which may sound crazy, guys, but I think it's kind of important. All right, so this upgrade's almost done. Then I can go to Hive Tech. I can also expand, which is always nice. I guess I should make mutas, huh? We have to turn them into guardians anyway. All right, there's that Hive Tech on the way, baby. And you're gonna unload this drone right there. I'm not gonna need one more guy in gas. You! You there! Go mine gas! Alright, drone. Don't let me down. Build a hatchery. Right. There's that as close as I can get. I think that's pretty good. Boom. Expansions, baby. Okay. You need to rally down here. Oops. You rally down there. You rally down there as well. Okay, I feel like there may be one extra drone in here now, because they are definitely waiting two at a time. But whatevs. Let me make sure my gas income is good. And I definitely am going to have to send more drones over here. No, uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I need all of you. Come on, Mutas, don't let me down. Don't you dare kill my overlord. I gotta make another one anyway. All right, we should be okay. We should be good. Kerrigan's. Kerrigan's tearing it up. All right, this is done. So, Greater Spire on the way. Greater Spire. Hey, hey. All right, so I need to send these guys to this Overlord. This hatchet should be almost done. And I need to make more drones. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're here. All right, you guys get in there. Come on, Overlord, you're so slow. And in. Yeah. All right, unload them up there. You guys get back to work. You guys stop being dumb. I don't think that's gonna happen, though. Oh, you guys went this way. You psyched me out. All right, you guys come up here. You make some drones. You become an extractor. Yeah, we are back running so crazy right now. And the upgrade's nearly done. I'm gonna upgrade it again. Cause that'd be crazy, yo. All right, I think I'm gonna build a, another spine crawler there. You should probably put one there. I'm just gonna build a lot of spine crawlers. Cause I just know the second I move out, it's gonna be like when I moved out of my parents' house, everything is going to go wrong. All right, what finish? Ah, uh, greater spire. Oh, do I want the upgrade though? Kinda do, but Guardians are pretty good! 
Alright, this is done. You guys need to get in here immediately. And I believe this hatchery is close enough that I only need three drones. Or is there two in there right now? One, two. I think I just put two in there. So more. I may mess that up, but it's okay. You guys get back to work. I need overlords. Overlords. And this is where this is where the guardian count is going to start getting awesome. Even if we do require more best meat gas, but and more overlords. I think I have those on the way, though. I do. Lots of OLs on the way. Should be LOLs as I kill off. What are you doing? You, go there. I don't know how many drones I have in there now, but hopefully it's enough. Oh, they're, like, grouping up right there. Alright, lots of overlords. I'm going to keep you guys together in case I want to load up, load them up a little bit later. Alright, guardians. Oh, so many guardians. You guys start mining over there. That includes you, buddy. Okay, as soon as this last unit becomes a guardian, we are gonna start having some fun. I'm wondering if I should still make mutas for anti-air though, or if I should go with hide for this. No, I'll do mutas. And why not some scourge? Scourge are pretty awesome. They are the baneling of the sky. Alright, you guys be my defense. Alright, there we go. This is so many guardians. I'm feeling good. Alright, hopefully these actually work out. I don't see the problem is I don't actually know what to get versus these guys. Alright, where's my screw jet? Oh, you guys see hot key number two. Yeah, guardians, baby! Kill the Reaver, kill the Dragoon. What's our upgrades at? They're at uh, 1 1 1. That's pretty good. That's definitely better than what I have. That's some Zergling speed. Alright, Zergings, you go out and scout. Same with you, Scourge. Come on. You know the deal. Sacrificing units for the greater good. I also need to send an Overlord over here. It's going to be my new base. More mutas, mutas. Any more drones over here? No. Where is everything? Oh, there's a lot of dragoons. Okay. Okay. The scourge is still somehow alive. So is this one. They have such a small sight range. But it's good for spotting some bases like this one right here. A lot of dragoons. These guys are loving their dragoons. Nothing some mutilus can't handle. Alright, Overlord's almost there. Gotta transfer over a bunch of drones. Where? Where? Oh, just my Scourge. Oh, you guys are gonna unload some guys up here, really? That's how you're gonna do me? Why you gotta do me like that? Alright, more mutas. I feel like once I get three gas, I'm gonna be in pretty good shape. Alright, Overlord, unload! Alright, kill these guys. You're pretty good versus Zealots. Dragoons do a lot of damage to you, but whatever. Yeah, killing the Reavers. How's my upgrades looking? Pretty darn good, actually. Alright, you guys, one of you becomes an extractor. We need some more overlords. I don't really know if I need circlings, but I mean I'm not really spending my money on anything else, so do have decent upgrades going. I feel like my army is doing really well, and the only thing I'm worried about is Psy Storm because it is really good in Sorcraft I feel like I need I should go this way actually. Alright, so Overlord. You guys come down here. You're gonna you're gonna be getting gas. Hang on, I gotta get gas. All right, three. I could do the crackling upgrade as well. All right, so I need more mutalisks. 
And I'm almost ready to attack. I think I'm going to go ahead and go. Yeah, yeah. What, what are my guardians doing way over there? Really? All right, we got to wait for these two. They're, they're going to take a while. Come on, guys. You can do it. I hope you don't get intercepted by something. That would be really sad. Right, where are you guys at? There you are. Oh my god, I have so many units in my hockey groups. I have five hockey groups. Alright, the Guardians are almost here. Alright, Zerglings, you've got this. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, this feels good. I do have to keep making sure I keep making guys, though. How's the attack commencing? So far, so good. Just watch out for Size Storm. Be careful of Size Storm. Oh, these Reavers, yeah, they kill all my Lings. That's fine. Oh my goodness, they have so many Reavers. I'm so glad I don't have a single ground unit, because this would be miserable if I did. Oh, what are you doing, Guardian? Are you picking a fight with two Dragoons? Oh, uh, you're dead. You're dead. Yeah, really the main thing I have to watch out for is Size Storm. I also want to see if there's a gas up here. Because if there is, this is going to get really fun for me. No, there's not, but there's a lot of minerals. But you can't build right here, so... Can I make more guardians is the real question. I was going to send some links out. I mean, I figure why not. Mutus, 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 Mutus. Alright, go, go, Zerglings, attack the bottom left. Go find yourself some Dragoons to kill. Alright, I'm just gonna keep making Mutas. I feel like it's working good so far. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What are you guys doing? I feel like you need Mutalist support. Or Guardian support. Yeah, really just kill the scouts. I think we'll be okay. Alright, so this mission so far is pretty simple. Build Mutalists and Guardians, which are pretty darn good if you ask me. Get some Zerglings mixed in. I guess I didn't build enough hatcheries, because I can just be streaming links. Oh, another base. Ah, eh, whatever, we can kill it. Although my Zergling numbers are much lower. Did I get the Crackling upgrade? Yes, I did. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Need let's go. What do I make over here? More mutas? Send them in. More Zerglings? Send them in. Alright, I have so much gas in here right now. I'm pretty stoked about this. Where are my Zerglings at? Did they die? Oh, they definitely did get owned. Yes. No, what are you doing, you stupid scout? That ain't cool, man. That is not cool. All right, kill the cannon. You list, kill the pylons, come on. Focus the weakened pylons. All right, so at this point, I feel like I'm in pretty good shape. My units are killing everything, so that's usually a pretty good indicator of how the game's going. I gotta keep streaming units down there, get this, some zergling action up here. Obviously, I need more hatcheries as my inject larvas are going horribly.
All right, Guardians, you move slow as dirt, I'd like to add. Why do my Zerglings keep dying? That's the real question. I'm gonna trust you, Zerglings, to not mess this up. Oh, there they are. There they are, back up. Let the spine crawlers do it. And of course, the side storm. Oh, not, well, well, it's Kerrigan, man. She does not care. She definitely does not care. All right, what are you guys even attacking up here? Oh, pylon crate. Oh yeah, Guardians having fun. Fun in the sun. I'm just imagining a picture of a Guardian having fun in the sun. All right, there's that, kill that off. I think that's gotta be it. Unless they're hiding some, which is also a possibility. These circuits will surely find out for me. And is that it? Is that all you got, Protoss? Come on, Protoss, you gotta do better than that. Uh-oh. Where are you, Tassadar? Do your underlings always do your fighting for you? Ooh. This shall be our battleground, O Queen. Face me here, and I will defeat you myself. Oh, new mission of Dexter Bring Kerrigan to Tassadar's challenge alone. I think I just upgraded the Overlord's speed. Look at the timing on that one. It's like seconds away from me done. Oh, you know, I like totally planned that out. Where is Kerrigan? Uh, have you guys seen Kerrigan? Anywhere? Uh, guys? No, but for serious, like, where's Kerrigan? Uh, okay, she was here and she stormed the units. And then... Kerrigan! Uh... <laughs> have any of you seen a Kerrigan around here? I'm like legitimately confused as to where my Kerrigan went. Oh, I'm what are you doing down here? Come on. Alright, fine, I'll let you cast your storms. Hopefully I don't actually need those to fight. Alright, Overlord, your one sole duty is to have Kerrigan, the Queen of Blades, in you. Which does not sound comfortable. When your name is the Queen of Blades, you do not want to have that person in you, their entire body. All right, Kerrigan, you've got this. Yes. Go, go, Kerrigan. An epic battle. I'm gonna cloak. Oh. Yes. Illusion. Are you afraid to face me, Templar? So long as you continue to be so predictable, O Queen, I need not face you at all. You are your own worst enemy. Oh no, he didn't! Oh no, he didn't! Alright, so we have purged Char of the Protoss scum, which is hard for me to say. Because you guys know I love my Protoss. So I was feeling a little bit tired. I figured I'd play one more game. And yeah, let me know what you know. Or well, let, me, uh, <laughs> let me know what you think about the resolution. Is it annoying? Is it better? And do you not care? Either way, let me know. I think that's it, right? If we go to the victory screen. That should be it. This game, 22 minutes. You can definitely beat that sooner. I just rushed to a lot of Guardians. They actually don't have that much anti-Guardians, so just make some units and some Guardians, and you're pretty much set. So that's that. Hope you guys enjoy. We're going to continue the mission. I do want to beat this game before Diablo 3 comes up, because goodness knows I will be playing a lot of Diablo 3. So hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys next time. Hello, everyone. This is HDS Gieski here. I'm back with some more StarCraft 1 campaign playthrough videos. And uh, let's go ahead and get this one started. We are continuing where we left off the Zerg campaign. I can't wait to go over here to the Protoss. This mission is called the Culling, not the Colons. And uh, primary hive cluster planet Char one hour later from that last game. Here we go. Insufferable Protoss coward. Tassadar cannot evade my wrath forever. I shall find him and cut it. Carrion. Zaz is dead. Owned. Oh. It is a pity that Cerebrates cannot truly be killed. I expect that the Overmind will reincarnate him soon. No, he will not. The Protoss have devised some new attack. An attack powerful enough to nullify our reincarnation and give pause to the Overmind itself. So, 
Tassadar's plan was merely a diversion. I should not have underestimated him so. Without its master, Zas's food has run amok, and even now threatens the Hive Cluster. Serenrate, you must eradicate the rampaging brood and stem any further damage it might cause. I shall deal with the Protoss myself. All right, well, Zaz is out of here. Thank goodness, these little blob guys are quite annoying. So this is the one where you have to pull all the Zerg guys together. So let's see what's up here. Do I got to kill you guys off? Yeah, we got some ZBZ action going on. And yeah, just going to kill all that off. I'm going to bring in my overlords. Get my drones on up here. Oh, there's some Hydras. Hey, not my drones, buddy. All right, let's see. I, well, I really got to kill off this hatchery, huh? Because it is in the sweet spot. All right, so I haven't been able to play the campaign for a couple of days, which is, uh, that's okay with me. Come on, build it. Ah, you stupid larva. You stupid larva. Come on, drone. Come on, drone. Oh, my goodness. All right, you guys, kill this larva, please. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now I can put this up here. I guess right there is good. I'm glad that broodlings don't spawn because I would have lost all my poor drones. I'm trying to remember the StarCraft 2 campaign. Are there any missions where you don't start with the base already? I guess there kind of is, but I feel like in StarCraft 1 they had a lot more. Alright, there we go. Took those out. And now we wait, I guess. I could build another hatchery, I suppose. I guess I will build it. Let's see, should I build it on this side? Nah, I can't fit it over there. So I guess right about there I'll be okay. Down goes the second hatchery. This hatchery is nearly completed. I'm gonna send out some overlords for scouting purposes. No, I don't want to send them that far. That's a bit ridiculous. They'll probably just end up dying if I do that. All right, you guys go get to work. All right, Meadalisk, get us up to you. Go scout, but you better not die. All right, so let's see. Oh, there's stuff down there. Good thing I didn't send an overlord. Okay, so base is immediately in that direction. Go scout on what's over here. Basically, I think the mission objectives are just kill everything. Something I'm quite good at, I think. All right, come on, drones. There we go, got them back to work, and these guys are good to go. So that means I can scout out with my Mutalisk. Oh, I saw you burrow, you little turd. I didn't think I saw it, but I did. So you know you see people there. And yeah, so it looks like, once again, just gotta be macroing up here a little bit while scouting around with the mutualist to see exactly what's going on. So far, I haven't found all of that much. Uh oh, oh, oh! Come on, Muta, stay out of there. I need you for later. I have to swap you out. Muta swap. All right, you sit here and generate HP. Slowly but painfully. Yeah, let's see what's over this way now. Any bases over here? Aha, an Ultralisk! Oh, there's a Hydra there to guard him. I was gonna kill him with a Vita. Would've been the slowest Ultralisk death ever. All right, come on, gas almost on the way. I just remember always being gas blocked. All right, you and you go up there. You go up there as well. All right, and continue scouting. Oh, hello, Hydra. Hydra's pretty good versus me list. Okay, I think I need one more drone on gas and I'm gonna spare him. So that's gonna be you. So I will have a nice stockpile of gas, but it should balance out a little bit. Oh dear, okay. There's yet another base. Ooh, a guardian. Very interesting. Alright, so there's quite a few bases. 
it would appear. Not a lot going on in the center of the map, but everything else does have quite a bit. All right, so my economy is looking okay. This should be good enough for now. This guy's generated quite a bit of HP, so good on him. And I have a feeling they're going to attack from the right side and the left side. I need a spawn pool now. We do indeed require more minerals. Story of my life, man. So it looks like there is a base up here with actual minerals. So that's probably where I'm going to be attacking first. And unfortunately, my drones are so stupid that they keep going around this gas geyser. Which is just making their travel time even more. So hopefully this one gets mined out pretty soon. And I guess there's more drones. More drones. That should help fully saturate this. Also, mining out this one really quickly will help out a lot. And they can get to the other mineral patches quite easily. Once the spine pool's done. I don't know. Versus Zerg, I don't really know what to get a lot of. Like, do I... Do I make a lot of Zerglings? They're pretty good. Especially since Zerg doesn't have Lurkers in StarCraft 1. This is almost done. Get the layer right away. Get Zergling speed. I'm just going to make a bunch of Overlords while I wait. And really my main concern is the fact that they can get Ultras. And they can get Guardians already. That's... That's going to suck for me if I don't have good tech. So I'm going to go ahead and build some static defense here first. I think I'm going to try and take this expo with just mass circling. We'll see how this goes. I don't have the highest of hopes. But we'll see. Okay, so I got those. Those will buy me a little bit of time. Should they attack when I am not prepared? I just don't really know what the best unit to get. Let's see what they have unlocked for me. So I, oh, I can get Guardians! That would be good versus Zerg, actually. If I go straight for high tech. Huh. I'll not try that, actually. Defilers have something called Dark Swarm, which means any unit underneath cannot be hit by ranged units, including your own and the enemies. All right, so I'm going to build that for a quick high tech. I'm going to make some links. I'm also going to build some Evo Chambers. Although, I also feel like Mass Mute would be pretty good, too. I don't know. I don't know what my strategy is here, but for now, it's getting certain things for the team. We'll see exactly how that goes. Mutas, I don't think are going to be part of this battle because of the score cars. So I'll save these guys for defense, should they attack me. Which there is a high chance of. And, yeah, so certainly speed is done. So that's nice. I'm going to work on upgrades. Upgrades are always good. Armor. And I tech. Or I could go for guardians. Get some one base guardian action going on. I don't know. Well, I'm gonna have the hive tech. Means I can get zergling adrenal glands, making my lings attack crazy fast. So we'll see. Yeah, I think I think Zerglings will be able to do this. Hopefully. So my original plan was Defilers. I don't know if I'm going to stick with that or not. But we'll see. Defilers are pretty awesome, let's be honest. Come on, high tech. You can do it. Back to speed upgrade. It makes it look so much better in StarCraft 1. I mean, it's good in StarCraft 2, but I feel like it's even better in StarCraft 1. Yeah, yeah, more overlords. Alright, so I think I'm going to go once this upgrade starts. Researching. I could wait, but that's kind of boring. Alright, there's that. Get that on the way just so I have it. And let's see what happens. We'd have quite the army. I'm like totally jade on. Alright, let's see what happens. Here we go. Screaming in one at a time because the pathing is so bad. Come on, kill it. Kill it. Alright, we totally got this base. Of course they attack me right away. I knew it. I don't trust them. I'm going to kill another one of these. 
Yeah, go Zerglings, baby. I feel like I definitely should kill these overlords. Let me get away. No, kill the overlords. Kill the overlords. What are you attacking with? Another Zergling? Get out of here. Get out of here. I'm sending a drone already. Okay, that was surprisingly effective. I guess we can send all these guys here for now. I'm gonna make one of these and a defiler. And I can't do ultras, so just defilers for now. Alright, so we killed all of that off. My drone should be up here soon. There he is. I guess I have to wait for all these guys to run by. Oh, what's this? No! What are you doing? Leave my overlord alone. That's just not cool. I don't know why I'm getting armor upgrades, just because I still haven't decided on what unit I'm actually going to be massing. So I figure if it's any unit on the ground, at least I'll have the armor upgrade. Alright, did he end up killing my overlord? No, he didn't. Darn straight, he didn't. For that, you shall pay. You shall pay, Hydralisk. Oh, never mind. Oh, don't kill my own Muta. That's a bad idea. Colony. Yeah, kill that. Oh my goodness, what are their upgrades? They just blasted through that thing. All right, let's make let's make another one of these just in case. All right, so it is time for some defilers. I don't care what anyone says. We have to also research consume. It allows you to eat eat, eat your own units to get energy. Sounds pretty awesome if you ask me. Also, this I'll work on a greater spire. Uh oh. I don't know what their upgrades are, but I feel like they're better than mine. I also feel like a lot of these guys need to transfer over. Get my sweet split going on. It'll look cool when they get here, I promise. Oh my god, I made way too many defilers. You do not need this many defilers. Look at these drones. The perfect split. Yes. Oh, hey. Hey, you guys are going the wrong way. Come this way. Come back. Okay, so these guys are going to be hotkey group number six, evidently. And they do have Dark Swarm, but I also want to get Plague. So I got to redo all these hotkeys. Alright, so hotkey group one, come over here. Filling in the ranks of units dead. What evolution is Ah, uh, yes, consume. Also, I want plague, because plague is awesome. Alright, who wants to get eaten? Who wants to get eaten? No, don't need another to fire, that'd just be silly. Oh, yeah. Give me that energy. Give me that energy, baby. Alright, it's for the greater good. They don't, they don't sound very convinced, but... I just have so many units. So we're gonna try it. We'll try this. I'm gonna stop making gas units. I'm gonna save up for Broodlord should I need to do that. Come on, you guys, get in there. I'm gonna make some more drones. Alright, it's gonna be hard to even send all these guys out. Alright, so here comes the big attempt. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, here we go. Apparently, this is the way to go. Forging my defilers are really, really slow. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You cannot hotkey break the unit. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so let's let that overlord not go. If he unloads something here, that's gonna be annoying. You would. Gosh darn it. Alright, we're coming back. Really weak circles up here. Alright, their upgrades are 1 1, so they're not too far ahead. Okay, but I am going to make a sunken colony. 
think I always accidentally call it a spine crawler, but that's okay. Is the rally point over there? Over there. What? Okay. I thought my defilers died. That was gonna make me very angry. Okay, let's try this. You build that. Let's make one more as soon as the creep spreads a little bit more. I'm gonna put him right there. Yes. That should help out. No, don't don't you hurt my defiler. So uncool. Okay, I have great upgrades. I'm working on some more drones. There they are. Gotta spread them out manually because they're really stupid in this game. Okay, I think we're ready for another attack. Are you serious? Seriously? Oh, is that an island? That is not an island, is it? Gosh. You know, I get really excited about these attacks, and then everything goes wrong. Kill this stupid Hydralis, please. Hey. I feel like now I need research. Oh, Lord. Kill our Hydra, please. Okay, so let me see. Is there seriously no way up this thing? No, nope, four here is there. Let's see what's over here. Okay, you can't go up that way. Get out this way. Uh oh. Oh, what is this? What is this going on? What are you guys doing? Why are they killing my overlord? Alright, kill that Muda. I feel like I may need to. Okay, there's a base up here I can kill. But still can't get up this in any way. <sighs> okay, so we're attacking this way then. And we're gonna start making mutas because evidently that's what they want me to make. Alright, here comes the Dark Swarm, baby. Yeah! More Dark Swarm. Now my Zoyan's gonna be hit, yo! Oh, you guys went this way. No Defilers went with you this way. Alright, where's my Defilers at? Alright, you guys are on your own because that is definitely a Guardian. Uh, uh, that is a Guardian as well. Surely my two Hydras can kill it. Alright, it's officially time to retreat. We are falling, falling behind here. So we are going to go for some Guardians. Where are my Mutas at? There they are. Alright, you guys get to work. So it looks like this is the only two bases I can take easily. Would you guys kill that, please? Why is not one of us? Sure, throw up a Dark Swarm. Oh, they just all cast it. Well, that's what a lot of Dark Swarms look like all at once. In case you were wondering. Which you probably were not. Okay, some Muta's on the way. We are going to attack here pretty soon. I'm get, why am I getting these overload upgrades? I do not need these. I'll just cancel that one though. What? Where? I want to build a stupid spore crawler. Not spore crawler. Not a spare. Wrong game. Okay, let's try this. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Okay, so here's the plan. We're sending in all these guys. All you guys go attack. Don't worry. It's gonna be fine. Mutas will be right behind you. Which is, which is actually true. Now, observing versus this is not a good idea, though. Alright, where's my defilers at? Not enough energy! Quick, throw up a swarm! We must protect the Zerglings! Yeah! There we go. There we go, alright, well... Swarm. 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 You guys go to town. Apparently my mutas are killing overlords, which is obviously the best choice. No, kill this guy before he gets under the cloud! Don't let him under the cloud! Oh, he's under the cloud. Can I still hit him right there? Let's wait for a second. Wait, these guys are actually gonna have to be guardian pretty soon. Anything else in here I need to go off? It's not 
not sport cars. It's a sport colony. There is a difference. Oh, my mute account is pretty darn low, actually. Come on, little zerglings. Go kill this. Hydralisks as well. Get under here. Kill that guardian. I need to kill all this anti-air. They have so much of it. Please kill this queen. Alright, we do have a lot of minerals, so I guess I could make more zerglings. Probably would not hurt. Also, more hatcheries would not hurt. And why not build one here? Surely they will let me do such a thing. Oh gosh. Why is there always gonna be a super bar? Although Ultras do not have splash damage in StarCraft 2, or StarCraft 1 fun fact. Where? Come on, Defilers, get out of there. Unfortunately you can't eat their units, which would be pretty awesome, actually. Hey, you can't be rebuilding that. Yeah, you better cancel it. Alright, I'm just gonna sentry and orbs up here. Your mission is Operation Try Not to Die, but if you do, I don't really care that much, so this one's on you. Alright, I got my hatchery on the way. This is an island, too. Gosh darn it. Why so many islands? Oh, Scourge! Scourge! Scourge, retreat! Retreat! Oh, I tried my micro. Not good enough. These Hydras are still alive, man. They've been kicking it forever. Alright, this is Operation Overlord Massacre. Also, you guys should transfer up here. And I have a lot of extra minerals, so I'm just gonna make a bunch of Zerglings. And hope for the best. Good go, Zerglings, you got this. Wait, where are my hockeys all messed up? Where's my mute is that? There they are. Alright, you guys come up here and just start killing stuff. All of you guys go attack this way. You guys cast Dark Storm because it looks cool. Drones? Really? You're gonna transfer that way? That does not seem safe. Alright, send the Zerglings off this way. I'm gonna keep making Zerglings until I run out of money. Which definitely is the way to play the game. I got close to the Guardian. I know he's gonna sit here killing all my stuff. Eight kills? Get out of here. Alright, so I think we're doing okay. They definitely built a hatchery right here. Which I'm not very pleased about. I do have Zerglings attacking over there. But I need to kill this off. Where are my other Mutalisks? All right, more mutas. Kind of gas guys are over here. Go ahead and build the hatchery. Feel like I'm not gonna need this. Just in case, throw up a dark swarm over the egg. Got this under control. I'm so put more guys on gas. Even a fourth guy. Alright, so I've killed everything, I believe. As far as building Or not building units. Now I just want to kill mostly buildings. Did find one hidden up here. Let's see if there's anything that way. Oh, Zerkling for Soldra. Took him out. Super easy. Actually, no, stop that. I need more units. Any other buildings over here I should know about? Um. 
All right, so we're gonna come down here. Where are these mutas at? I need these. I need these. Give me these. All right, almost done. And I think this mission's gonna be it. I think there's a ZBZ in the campaign. It's pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. All right, here we go. Hopefully they don't have plague. That would ruin my day. How about we don't fly it in a horrible angle? There we go. All right, now we fly over here. Kill the spore colony. All right, now we come over here. Okay, I think that this should be it. Unless I am horribly mistaken. We've killed many a building. Oh, oh, there's one right there. Apparently Mutalists are just so dumb, they don't pay attention to anything that's going on around them. And I think that that is it, unless they will really want me to kill every single building. Oh, that's over here. Yeah, that might be it then. Yes! Alright, so that was kind of a straight up macro game. They never really attacked me. So as long as you make a lot of stuff... Apparently Jarm Brood is also known as Dash 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 Dash. So we're going to continue right on through this campaign. I I love the story of StarCraft 1, and this will segue us right into the uh, the StarCraft Brood War campaign, which that's when stuff, that's when the missions get really interesting. StarCraft 1 was pretty simple because it came out many, many moons ago, but still a very fun game to play at that. So I hope you guys enjoy it. We're going to continue on, and I'll see you guys next time. Hello everyone, this is HDS Gesky here, and I am back with some more StarCraft 1 campaign playthrough action. And where do we leave off? Eye for an eye. Anytime a game is called that, you know it's going to be good. Last I checked, Kerrigan is pretty upset about the Protoss owning one of the Cerebrates. Behold, my long silence is now broken, and I am made whole once more. The cunning Protoss has dared strike down that which was immortal. For the Protoss who murdered Zaz are unlike anything we have faced before. These Dark Templar radiate energies that are much like my own. And it is by these energies that they have caused me harm. Wah, wow. Yet shall their overweening pride be their downfall. For when the assassin Seratul murdered Zaz, his mind touched with mine, and all his secrets were made known to me. I have taken from his mind the secret location of Ayr, the Protoss homeworld. Oh, snap. At long last, my children, our searching is done. Soon we shall assault Ayr directly. For now, we must ensure that the Dark Templar can cause no more harm. Cerebrit, you shall set a trap for our foes. Kerrigan will lead them to you. Alright, man. So Kerrigan and the uh, the Overmind are pretty pissed at the Protoss. Can't say I blame them, but... You can move ground units between colonies quickly using the Nidus Canal. Oh, it gave me an Ultralisk. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know. Oh, it's this map. You guys remember this map when I was playing single player? I sure do. Or not, our uh, StarCraft 2, I mean. So hopefully, hopefully it's a lot easier than the other one. This is the one where you have to guard these locations and make sure no one escapes. Because if any DTs make it, man, that's, that's it. All right, so I got you guys. And yeah, these basically are Nidus Worms, only Nidus Canals work a little bit differently. You have to build one Nidus Canal entrance and one exit each time. The main thing you have to watch out for, uh-oh, is that, what am I dying to? Okay, so Super Goon. Super Goon, we're okay. So on this map, you wanna try and get your economy going as quickly as you can. It can kinda be a total pain, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to try and get as many minerals as possible. And there we go. Spawn those guys. This will get us on track right away. You build extractor. I'm hoping this map... Uh, oh, it's a DT. Kill it. Kill it. 
No! Oh my goodness, that was close. All right, you guys get an ultra list because that was not fun. All right, ultra list, your job is to come up here. All right, I'm gonna put an ultra disc over here too, just in case. They do automatically unload, which is kind of nice. It does make it a little bit easier. Hey, did you know build the extractor? What are you doing, you turd head? There you go. All right, so my mineral income's good. I just gotta watch yes. out for everything else. Are right, you guys going there? Come on, in you go. Good drones. All right, now we're gonna start building some units here. They do give us some gas, thankfully. And someone posted a really funny comment that made me LOL in the uh, last video. They were like, oh, they killed Zaz? Time to cele celebrate. Oh, I ruined it, but the joke made me giggle because I'm five and I find that stuff funny. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Come on, Ultra. Hang in there, what are you doing, Hydra? Get out of there, Ultra. Kite, kite. All right, cool. Got an Ultra over here as well. Okay, you guys go in there. All right, I think. That is good. One more drone might help out a little bit. Not 100% sure. I'm going to build one overlord out here. All right, cool. You guys go to work as well. All right, we are ready to stop making drones. Build a lair. Build a hatchery. Oh, not a hatchery. Hydra's den. And I'm kind of curious on if there is mineral patches over here. I seem to remember there being minerals over there, so we'll see. I also need to scout out with the rest of these. I'm also going to put, uh, let's put Hydras down here. I need to find the expansions. I can't remember where they are on this map. Okay, so I think there's a base down here. Yep, there is. Spotted it. Oh, they're going to have Reavers, huh? Oh, this is so annoying. But what can you do? I'm gonna make some circlings for now. Just have some units on the field. You guys are ready. Let's scout over here, make sure there's a base over here. There should be a little bit of Protoss units up here, if I remember right. Yes, no. Scout, seriously? Okay. So we are gonna have to build Hydras. Okay, so you guys come down here and guard this one. This one should be relatively safe. This one has an Ultra, so they should be safe. Same with that one. I'm going to start building some Hydra lists. I do need to take out the Queens so I can get Hive Tech. More minerals. I need more Hydras. No, 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 not that one. This one. Silly, so everything's going there. Okay, so I'm working on Hydra speed. My saturation's eh, pretty good. Oh, what's this? Okay, just, uh, just an energy goon. We're doing okay. You guys go in there. You guys come up here. Maybe I'll steal. No, I'll take Kerrigan. I feel like Kerrigan can handle this job. Oh dear, it figures. Why well, spawn more overlords when I can just kill my own units? Yeah. Oh, what's this? Where? Where? Uh oh. Kill him, gather Hydra, I need you. No, Hydra, you're stuck! Ah! Hydras. Okay, Hydra speed just finished. I think I can take this one on. We'll see. Give me, give me Kerrigan. Give me Kerrigan. No, Zerglings, don't run in there. That was really bad for you. Whatever. Screw the Zerglings anyway. Ow! Alright, well, so far Kerrigan has done more damage than good. But there is an entire base up here, which I am really excited about. So I'm gonna make some more drones. This guy's gonna make a base. I really need this gas. Give me your old Vespin. Where? What's happening? All right, just to sell it. It's gonna be a sunken colony, just in case. You guys go mine until the base is done. Time for that, and I don't have enough for hive tech just yet, but soon. Soon there will be enough for Hive Tech. That soon is right now. 
Okay, so I'm completely saturated over here. Yes. Okay, you guys good? Yep, you're good. You guys get to work up here for now. I should actually send a drone over there to build the extractor. All right, drone, drop off the minerals right here. And then come on over here. Come on down. You've been the lucky winner of becoming an extractor. All right, you guys go in there. All of you guys step on over. One half, you better finish in time. Don't let me down. Hey, hey, you're going the wrong way. What's this? Oh, uh, DT, you tried it, sucker. Not today. I almost feel like I should make some more links over here just in case. Because now it is time. I'm going to make overlords first. And then make leaders. Alright, some Yudas and Overlords are on the way. Do I want to get armor or attack? Let's go for attack for now. I'm hoping Needless are going to help me. Although Ultras are usually pretty good. Oh, uh, yes, Mutas. Give me more Mutas. I need more gas. Okay, this should be, should be pretty good for this base once these guys spawn. I feel like Mutas are pretty good. You just gotta make sure to watch out. Freaking Psy Storm, because that will ruin your day. All right, there's two Mutas, there's three. There's six, I don't know how to count at all. Oh, I love the sound of Mutas. That sounds more like a whale, but whatever. Whatever, don't judge me. Alright, once I have an acceptable number of mutas, then we'll, we'll start flying around. Hey, you get back over here. What's an acceptable number of mutas, you may ask? I have no idea. But I do have that gas. Is there a base up here? I seem to remember something like that. I wonder if I can actually get... Let's see if that Zergling can make it or not. Oh! Oh, is there a base? There's totally a base up here, isn't there? Yes, there is! Oh, I'm so excited about this. I'm so excited! Make a drone! Okay, this should be 12 meters after these ones spawn. So for now, I'm just going to make more links to guard these bases. Just to be super, super safe. Oh, they have a cannon up here, what? Gosh darn it. Oh, get out of here, Scout, don't you even try. All right, took that one out. How's my upgrades? Not quite yet. Oh, that drone. Didn't get the memo. Did not get the memo. All right, some more links down there. We got the links over there. Okay, cool, so for now, I'm just gonna make a bunch of overlords. While I play around with my newfound mutas. Okay, there's those. Come down there, make sure this doesn't happen with the DTs, and we shall see how this goes. We just gotta watch out for Psy Storm. Oh, why is that one Muta taking all the damage? Oh dear. May need some Zerglings for that one. All right, so you are gonna be rallied to there. Okay, I'll kill those for you. You're gonna be rallied to there. You are rallied to there, but I don't have circling speed. I should probably get that. Hey, what are you guys doing up here? Be careful. As tempting as it may be, I want to take the hydras too. Oh, what did I just make? Oh, I just made Scourge. Gosh darn it. That is not what I wanted. 
If we can be honest for just a moment, that is not what I wanted. What? 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 That's a lot of zealots. Okay. So I had the Mutalisk upgrade. Everything else is up in the air. So I've decided I'm going to attack the left side base. We'll see how this pans out. I'm not... I don't have the highest hopes for this, but... Let's work on armor upgrades. Attack upgrades. What? Okay. Whew. An ultra would be nice, but just a bit worried. I gotta position my needles right there. You guys go in there. What? Okay. So I'm so jumpy on this mission because it's one of those. If you misclick once, you like lose the game. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, please work. Please work. Also, Scourge, because why not? Go, Scourge. Alright, ah, oh, they have a reaver, don't they? Or something, maybe not. Alright, this, this guy's still alive. Oh, yeah, I have Hive Tech now. What am I doing? I need this and another Spire. Okay, I think we killed this off pretty well. They don't have gas, though. Those jerks. I don't really need more minerals, but... I guess I'll take the base just in case. Oh, really? Really, guys? You don't see gas around here? This is kind of stupid. I'll put you guys over here. Alright, so I guess I'm just going to wait for some Ultralisks at this point. Ultras are pretty awesome. And let's see. What? Why what? No! No, kill the Reaver. Don't let him kill my hatchery. I just got that. Oh my goodness. The Reaver convention over here. Alright, I don't know if that actually messed up the Reaver production, but... I should hope so. Alright, where's my Ultralisk Gavin? I need kindness plating. Oh, they don't have it. Whatever. Whatever. Oh, here we go. Lots of Ultralisks now. Oh, I need it. I was hoping this one had a gas. I want to upgrade this just in case. Alright, let's see what we got going on over here. Any of hidden bases or anything? No! Quick, circling, save it. Your job is to hang on until I can get there. Why do they hate my new expansion so much? Oh yeah, Ultralisk baby. Obviously we should go for Ultra Zergling. Oh dear. Oh dear. My unit composition is all of a sudden much, much better. Any, any ultras up here? Yes, there are. I, could, I should definitely continue upgrading these. Alright, so you're mining gas, so are you. I need this expansion down here really bad. So, this is what's going to happen. You guys go in there. You guys fly over here. Go in there. You go in there. Alright, this is definitely happening. This is definitely happening. This is what you get for killing my drone! This is what you get. You made me do it. I never made this into a spore colony. Look what you made me do. Okay. This is 
looking great. This is looking absolutely great. Okay, so you're going to build a hatchery here. You're going to continue to make ultras. You guys are going to go in there. Oh, this base is a beast. Oh, they do have an ultra, though. Zerglings, start getting ready now. There we go. Charge! All right, I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm hoping it's a lot of dead Protoss units and a lot of Ultralis not dying. All right, you guys, you guys doing okay down here? Now that most of the Zerglings have died. Yes! Oh snap, Kerrigan, smack talking. Oh, concubine. Although we strike you from the shadows, do not think we lack the courage to stand in the light. You would do well to abandon this attack. You seem overconfident of your abilities, Dark One. I am no helpless Seraphit to be assailed under cover of darkness. I am the Queen of Blades, and my stare alone will reduce you to ashes. You and your ilk cease to amuse me. Prepare yourself for Oblivion's embrace. Dang, Kerrigan, I didn't know you had it in you. Right, I'm gonna bring the Ultralis back just in case. Uh, you got this. I didn't realize this was so undefended. So let's not let's not lose by a technicality. That'd make me a really really sad panda. Hey, what are you doing? All right, definitely gotta kill this shuttle. Okay, there's that. And this expansion's now done. I can also build an expansion down here. Get that gas going. You guys can mine over here. Oh, uh, I don't know about this. I don't want to attack just yet. Well, I don't know. It's looking pretty good. As long as I get... I'm just going to set all my rally points down. It's being ridiculous. Right down there. Down there. Alright, this is this is gonna be one hell of a party. This is this is gonna be a great party. Even more upgrades? Oh, feels good, man. What? What? Oh, what are you what are you guys doing? Alright, well that's, that's that's our cue. That's our cue to go. I don't know what's gonna happen, but here we go. Come on, Ultras, you've got this. Maybe you back up a little bit. Oh I hear a DT. Oh shoot. Oh shoot! I never, I never researched Overlord speed. You guys transfer down here. Oh no! They stormed all my mutas. Oh, I should have been watching this attack much more closely. Ah! This, this could have gone much better. This could have gone much, much, much better. But we're gonna, we're gonna keep attacking. Oh, shush. I think I know what I'm doing, obviously, after we watch that attack happen. Okay, I'm actually running out of money, so I need to be more careful. Thankfully, the Zerglings are going to town, and Ultras are still alive, so we're actually we're actually not in that bad of shape. Okay. I, I did lose all my mutas to Size Storm, so that was probably really fun for the Protoss player to watch. All right, so there goes that, and drones on the way. I just gotta get my macro back up. Where did I transfer all those drones? It must have been down here. Oh yeah, there they are. They are just stupid and haven't split up yet. Oh, my drone's gonna get stuck back there. Protoss, you shall know my wrath. 
Now you will know the fury of the Queen of Blades. Yes! All right. Well, I lost a bunch of mutilisks, so there's that. And other than that, though, I, I feel pretty good. We made a bunch of ultralisks. We made a bunch of mutas. Give them the good old 1-2 KO, and that that is that. So we are getting close to the end of the Zerg campaign. Last I checked, Kerrigan is a little upset about uh, Dark Templar. She's a little upset about that we found the Planet of Ire, and it's still standing. So coming right up is going to be the death of the Protoss homeworld. So I'm kind of excited about that. I don't know about you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Hello, and this is HDS. Us didn't allow a single Dark Templar to escape, so we are going to watch the cinematic called The Warp, and then mission number nine is called The Invasion of Ire. I do believe it's, what, ten missions per race? Something like that. So let's see what this is all about. However, at Terran Dominion Border World of Char... Oh, I got some guardians. Just chilling through space, no big deal. Oh, snap. We're going in the wormhole, here we go. These graphics are really, really good for being like 13 years old or whatever it is now. All right, so we are on the way. A quick cinematic there. Tassadar and the Dark Templar's air tool survived Kerrigan's vicious attacks, but their Templar armies have been decimated. Kerrigan, left behind to hunt down and eradicate the remaining Protoss warriors, begins to scour the burning wastelands of Char for her elusive prey. Meanwhile, the entirety of the extended Zerg swarm teleported through space-time and began its long-awaited invasion of the hated Protoss homeworld of Ire. Man, Zerg, Zerg really hate the Protoss, probably because they blew up, like, three Zerg planets. The invasion of Ire, Zerg swarm high orbit over Protoss' homeworld of Ire. Here we go! The hour of our victory is at hand. For upon this world of Ire shall we incorporate the strongest known species into our fold. Then shall we be the greatest of creation's children. We shall be... perfect. Yet before I can be made manifest upon this world, the way must be prepared. You must seize the Kaderan Crystals, for within them lies power undreamed of by the Protoss. Go now, my Cerebrate. Secure the Crystals and bring swift wrath to all who oppose the Swarm. Oh my god, I just realized you pronounce it Kaderan? Kaderan? Like he just pronounced it? And back when there was Kaderian Amulet, I was totally saying it wrong the whole time, and so were all of the other casters. This is why playing StarCraft 1 is just necessary to be a pro-level caster, guys. Otherwise, we pronounce things incorrect. Although I still say, say Shakuras incorrectly. Um, but it is what it is. All right, speaking of what it is, what is it? We have a uh, normal gas right here, just one hatchery. So I'm going to go ahead and build another hatchery right there. And, ooh, I remember this map in the StarCraft 2 campaign version as well when I was playing. Uh, you guys remember when I was playing through that? Yeah, you probably do. Probably do. Um, yeah, it was StarCraft 2 version of StarCraft 1 campaign. And this this map was a total jerk hole to try and actually... Uh, I don't know what a jerk hole actually is, but it was one of those indeed. So hopefully, hopefully a little bit easier here. It doesn't take me hours like it did on the other one. So basically, I have to bring a drone here. I got to steal... Uh, you defend it for a little bit, I believe. And then you... Let's do, let's do upgrades right away. Let's get... Yeah, yeah, let's do this. Let's get one of those on the way. Might as well start that immediately. And, yeah, so you, you send the drone here, you protect this for a little bit, and then eventually your drone gets the the, the crystal, K. Darren or whatever it was, and then we're, we're on our way. Now, we do spawn with a lot of money here, so it has me a little bit worried. I don't think I can fit a hatchery here. We have that hatchery, of course. But there should be expansion somewhere over in this area, if I remember right. I just need to make sure to actually get enough economy going for now. I'm assuming I'm supposed to just like 
build up these for now. Make a lot of drones. Gonna get that gas going right away. That has definitely been a problem in the past. Unfortunately, I don't get Kerrigan because she's around playing. I don't know. Tea party was there too. So I don't get any heroes this time, which I think my Psy Storms actually did more damage to me in that last game than I did to them, which is, which is okay. I mean, that's pretty typical Husky of, of any game I play. More damage to myself. No, you guys, return the cargo. Quick. And then I'll grab you. Did you guys carry eight at a time. You don't just carry five. What are you doing? Get over there. Get back to work. Yeah, without carrying in here, these drones think they can do whatever they want. Not cool, man. All right, so I'm gonna build. Well, I should do layer tech. So we'll go ahead and start that one right away. One more drone in there. I don't think that that's super close. And I think that that should be pretty good for income. Definitely good on gas. I do believe. Yep, that's the amount that you need there. And we do have a spawning pool, surprisingly enough. Trying to remember the hotkeeper hydro stand. There we go. You gotta get zergling speed because at some point you gotta make zerglings. That's just how that's how zerg plays out. Another overlord. I don't know if this is the right way to play these maps, but I just love making a billion drones. It feels good to be able to sit back and macro because God knows on ladder no one loves me. <laughs> that is true. Although I actually uh, I was playing a little bit more ladder my ladder anxiety and I went against two Terrans who actually fast expanded versus me and I was like what are you guys doing uh oh I'm like don't you guys know that you can beat me just by pushing out with like three marauders but apparently they wanted to play straight up which means that I was able to win um let's see I want to go I want to go ultras screw it ultras all the way and uh, yeah so I was able to win those games I was pretty pretty stoked on that um, I know I'm talking about StarCraft 2 while playing StarCraft 1 is kind of weird, but one guy, he went for a barracks, and then he got a uh, one marine out and then expanded while he was building like his second marine, and he, he didn't get gas for a long time, and uh, I don't know, it's kind of weird because I, I sent out my first zealot, because I built zealot right after Gateway, um, while the Cybercore was on the way, and... My Zealot delayed his bunker, so my Stalker got there. My Stalker delayed the bunker even more. And then, in the late game, I beat him with a bunch of units. I don't know. That, that was a great story, I know. But I was pretty happy about it. All right, I need more Overlords. I also need Hive Tech. We are just going straight to Hive Tech. I should probably scout out just to kind of see what's out here. So Zergling, Suicide Mission, unless you manage to kill everything on the map, which I don't think is going to happen. And nope. Didn't even make it out the entrance. All right, so we have we have some pretty horrible neighbors. And I wonder, should I like literally wait for ultras? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a wave of zerglings, and we'll see. We'll see what happens. My guys do have one armor, so I don't know if that's gonna help them at all because they're zerglings. But we'll see. I do have the one one sunken colony here. Hive tech is on the way. Plus two armor. I should actually probably build. Well, I think they have carriers now, don't they? I bet you they have carriers. And that makes me really upset. Because the map makes you. Yeah, I'm gonna make a spire just in case. I got all my tech structures. All up in here. Alright, so. Some more zerglings, and I'm gonna be ready. They are. Upgrades take forever in this game, by the way. I don't know the exact time, I can't remember off the top of my head, but. Yeah, they take forever. Um, so Hydralis are pretty good versus Carriers. There we go, time for the Ultralis Cavern. Alright, here we go. Alright, so we'll see how this goes. I feel like I'm working on the tech so I can fall back should, should things go badly. So far, Zerglings are good versus all these units that I'm finding. So there's another cannon down here. Uh, Dragoons are dying, so that's nice. Alright, that was a total failure. There's Control Group 1 and Control Group 2, which are... They're still kicking. Ultra's Cavern, not done yet. 
I should just make a bunch of overlords though. So I, I am definitely going to need them. Oh, there's the Reaver. All right, well, that's gonna be it. Oh, you know, just a Reaver with 12 kills. Okay, I was afraid that was going to happen. So now I have no units at all. We have overlords on the way. And I will definitely not be supply blocked anytime soon. All these overlords pop, and I just lost all my units, so perfect. Oh, and of course they decide to attack. Good on you. I think you should be. Come on, drone. Help, help with this engagement. Come on, drone. You've got this. You got the plus one armor. Is he gonna get the kill? Oh no, my drone didn't get it. I'm gonna build one of these though, since that one took so much damage. All right. I actually am kind of sad that I decided to go for fast ultras because this may turn out to be extremely unfun here in just a moment. But we'll see. We shall see. I still have quite a bit of money here. And I did kill one of their buildings, so that's that's good. Except the jerk spawned with that building. They didn't even have to make it. I don't think this is a good idea. I'm kind of regretting this decision completely at this point. But we're going to keep making Zerglings and Ultras. Because that's what we do on one base here at Husky Town. All right, so I do have two armor upgrades. That's good. That'll not save my units at all from those annoying reavers. Okay, so there's Control Group One. Not looking too bad. Spinecrawler could, or not Spinecrawler, Sunken Colony. My goodness, one of these days I'll get it right. Sunken Colony could be doing a little bit better. So really at this point, I'm just hoping that they don't have air units. Ugh, yikes, I don't know. I'm going to wait till this ultra is done. I'm going to make Zerglings until then. Hope this works out. I definitely got to send in the ultras first. Because otherwise the Zerglings are just going to get completely owned. All right, so we're going to stay right there. I mean, this probably would have been a better choice. I'm also going to make one of these. What? What? No, no, no. No, we are not doing that right now. You can you can dodge the reaver shots. Everyone can. Okay, we killed that off. And I'm just going to... Uh, I'm just gonna do this. We'll see what happens. Zerglings, you're way too fast. All right, one Zergling going there. Yes, mess up the Reaver shot. You, over there, kill the Reaver. Oh, that Reaver shot was insanely good. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, my ultras are so low on HP. Oh, get out of there. Get out of there, Ultra. No. Oh my goodness, my ultras are doing absolutely nothing to the Zorkos army right now. Oh my, oh my goodness, that actually did nothing. Like, like a, an absurd amount of nothing happened right there. Okay, so I, I managed to save two horribly mangled ultras. And they just took even more damage there. And okay, well you guys are going to sit back here for a while. You definitely have to heal up, so now... We have to change to a couple brood lords, I guess. Brood Lord Zerkling is going to be the name of the game, folks. All right, and by brood lords I mean guardians, of course. I wonder, though, did I free up an expansion at all? This guy takes a hundred gas. So there you go. They're not getting any more anytime soon. This thing's still bleeding out. All right, let's see if there's anything over here. Anything? Yes, there is, okay. And there's a gas geyser there. Oh, I'm so sneaking a drone over there. Surely the computer will have no idea about it. All right, let's see how this goes. I do have my guardians now, they're pretty good. My zerg things are at one, two. Come on, drone. You are the ninja drone. Channel your ninja droneness. Oh, I'll put it right there. That spot is perfect. Okay, our secret, guys. Don't tell anyone. All right, more worthless zerglings, which I don't even know if I should be making, but what can you do? 
I don't even know if I want to use these ultras right now. Because they're just going to die. But, if I can sneak some drones over there. Your job is to sneak over here also. Don't let me down. You have one job and one job only, and that's to not die. Alright, you guys over here. Guardians. Oh, Guardians versus Zealots. This is, this is a battle that's more in my favor. This is something I can handle. Thankfully, the computers don't know how to react to what they see, so... It's as if that never happened. Alright, Drone, you've totally got this. You build down there. And I'm gonna transfer over some of these guys to this mineral patch so they don't take a stupid route. Hopefully, they don't. Alright, let's see. Alright, hatchery's done. Source some of my initial drones. Oh my goodness, this is done. You guys go in there and then go over there. Let's get you. Why is your pathing so silly, you drones? I don't even know what you're doing. Alright, so you're gonna go there. Hopefully, this doesn't aggro any of my Protoss friends. Okay, so the main base is getting mined out a little bit, but that's okay. Because we have established a forward base. And we have the additional gas income, so I am pretty darn excited. I work on a little bit of upgrades for these, even though I can't really afford it right now. I almost want to make another one of these. And I'm going to, except it's going to be down here so it can take splash damage. Alright, so what is the probability of them having air units? Probably pretty good, so I'm going to build these buildings here for some anti-air. And we'll see how this goes. So two more guardians on the way. Yeah, yeah, we got your gas right here. Alright, you're going to be a spore. You're also going to be a spore. Not that horrible game that was overhyped. Alright, spore. And I'm gonna make... Oh, I don't know. Should I make... Shoot, this is a tough choice, actually. Alright, well, I'm gonna go for it. Because I have a base to retreat to, so hopefully... Hopefully that works out. Apparently this hatchery says I spawn larva. No, that Zerglings, that will be your last mistake. Oh look, 18 kills on that freaking thing. Goodbye all my Zerglings I just had. So I guess Guardians, I'm, I'm just gonna keep making Guardians, these Zerglings are not cutting it. And I'm pretty excited about having this base set up, so. We do have to watch out for storms. Thankfully Guardians move faster, I feel like, than Brood Lords. Oh, these are gonna be dead. Come on, Zergix, you can... Oh, well, he tried. Come on, Sword isn't even getting an upgrade. Just killed already. Okay, so... I should make some screws just in case. These are gonna be my anti-air. What do you guys have? I, I'm just worried that a carrier is going to appear out of nowhere. Because with my luck, that's what would happen. Alright, well I learned definitely don't attempt to do this with Zerglings. I guess just use all all gas units. Alright, get some Scourge up here. Hopefully my Scourge will crash into this stupid shuttle because it'll be the biggest waste ever. Scourge are the banelings of the sky. No, no, definitely don't chase that guy. Alright, so this is going okay. Expansion's up and running, so that's good. I can also build down here. I don't think there's any gas. Oh, there is gas down here. Yes! Alright, I'm definitely going to keep doing these upgrades because all the other upgrades, I, I feel like I'm just not going to use them. Not that I really need to mine more minerals, but I'm going to make more drones anyway. 
All right, so we have cleared out this base a little bit. It would appear, so I'm just gonna go ahead and steal this gas already. We do need more overlords. Where my mute is at? Can you guys please not die. I just, I just really need you. Okay. I need you guys as well. You guys are probably doing okay, so I can move them over. I'll leave these here in case they do another drop. And where is that attack happening? Oh, this guy's just playing in the forest with the zealot. Alright, I almost have 12 guardians, so that's always good. I'm gonna transfer like a million drones over to this gas because I do not need more minerals. But I do need more gas. Main base almost mined out. I'm gonna make another spire. You scourge, come over here for absolutely no reason. All right, the main thing I'm worried about is those freaking psi storms, because we know they're gonna happen at some point. Eat it, shuttle. Yeah, eat it. Hey, why are you still alive? Oh my goodness, he survived that. Not cool, man. Oh, what have I got myself into? Uh, please don't be storms. Please don't be storms. Okay, Dragoons. I can, I can handle Dragoons. By the way, you're all Guardians now. Scourge, you come down here. In case they have carriers. Which they probably will, because... That's how this game goes. Alright, you thinking down here, you guys? Oh, oh. Oh, they have shuttle speed. They have shuttle speed and also no air units over there. All right, so, so far I'm learning that guardians are definitely the way to go. Uh, please kill that. Oh my goodness, are you serious? Are you serious? This one freaking zealot. Quick, save yourselves. Save yourselves, become buildings. There we go. Okay, that, that zealot was pretty annoying. I should definitely build defense here. I also need more drones in there because some of them may have died. No, what are you guys doing? Okay, you guys, you guys should be set. More guardians. Right, my income is finally looking good as far as gas is concerned. Sunken and sunken. No, that's not a base. Or it's not a not a takeable base. Alright, so I believe that there are some cannons and stuff up here, so I'm just gonna move around and kill those off. Oh yeah, Scout, you want a piece of me? What are you what are you doing, Scourge? Alright. That was almost embarrassing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Those those are the counter to what what I have. So I need to make more more beauty lists. And also continue working on upgrades, which I have completely forgotten about. Okay, so they do have a fleet beacon. There is a confirmed fleet beacon. Oh, there's a confirmed that there, nope, it's time to go. Time to go, guys. Let's pack it up. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. I don't have that much anti-air. Oh, I hate scouts. I hate scouts. Hopefully I win this battle. They do have one upgrade across the board. I have uh, two attacks, so I guess we can deal with those. Let's make some scourge though for that carrier. Alright, well, still need more gas income. And I feel like Zerglings are not gonna cut it. Okay. 
Okay, well, I'm gonna build a spore here just in case. This mineral patch still somehow has 1,700 minerals. And I don't, I'm not making any more drones. I will make overlords, I guess. Because I'll need those coming up. Oh, I messed that up. Hang on. All right, control group one, move over here. How about you guys be control group three? And two is going to be you guys, I guess. Okay. Alright, we shall try this one again. I'm gonna make Zerglings though, just, just because. In hopes that they will do something useful. We shall attack all at once, and it shall be glorious. And they really make it work for macro on this map. My fleet is looking pretty awesome. Don't know how good these units are going to do, but we shall find out. I think I'm just going to wait for these two upgrades and then I'm going, I'm going all in. I'm going to even make some Hydras. I don't think I ever upgraded the Hydras. Of course I didn't. Because that would make too much sense. Okay, so you guys go over there. These are going to be the Expendables. Alright, those upgrades are done. Hydras are on the way. Oh, our forces are under attack. We have severed their base. Oh, you guys come down here too. You've just been chilling up there the whole time. I think those Ultras I had died, huh? Not a good day to be an Ultra. My upgrade should be three attack, yep, three attack, one armor. So I guess we are almost ready. Almost ready for the big show. Yeah, eat it. Okay, so as soon as Hydra Speed is done, because obviously that's gonna be the deciding factor in this battle. All right, here we go. Alright, here we go. There's the carrier. Come on, Scourge. Oh, yeah, that felt good. That felt good. Alright, Butas, attack. Watch out for the Archon. Kill the carrier. Kill that stupid carrier. Oh, all the Zerglings are already dead. Hopefully, eating up some of the storms. Probably not. Alright, kill this one. Oh, the Hydra. The Hydra, go for Or not the Hydra, but the. The Reaver! Kill the Reaver! Kill the High Templar! Kill the Reavers! Killing the Reaver is very important. Okay. Killed that. We're doing kind of decent-ish. I'm a little bit worried about the scouts. Oh, there's still a scout, isn't there? Oh, but I saw Mutas. Mutas, where are you at? Kill a scout that for some reason has three kills. Oh my god, I think we're winning this battle. I think we are somehow actually winning this battle. Okay, so I should have a lot of Hydras here pretty soon. Alright, did you guys take care of the Reavers? Are there any more Reavers? Oh my god, their gas is so far away. I think it's like the furthest away gas I've seen. All right, kill the Reaver. As long as you kill that, then we're okay. All right, more mutas. More mutas. Also drones. We have a new expansion today. Woo! 
Okay, finally killed that one. No more Arbiter tech, at least. I haven't even seen an Arbiter, though. I think about it. Okay, let's redo these hotkeys, because there were not many survivors. Okay. Just gotta keep up the meter production. I don't think I need to make more drones, do I? Yeah. There's quite a few going here. I'm gonna build a hatchery all the way down here because I, I definitely need that gas. Oh, they did make an arbiter, of course. Ah, gosh darn it. That also messes with your hotkey groups. Okay, so we're gonna have a Guardians only group and a Mutalisk only group. This is getting too confusing. Oh, that doesn't work. Okay, woo! They were protected by that. Now I get to kill your High Templar, which feels very good. What? Stop it right now. I wanna set a rally point all the way down here. I do actually need some workers back up here. Alright, so you guys, you, you, and you are all coming down here. Okay, so we need to listen guardians over here. You guys can be control group number three, that's fine. There you go, okay. So I'm gonna get my economy back on track because I actually spent a lot of money this game. Are my drones still heading out over here? Yes, they are. Taken first. You guys are now mining here. You are coming over here, building that. You are building a hatchery right there. I'm getting stuck on your friends. Come on, which one? Yes. All right, this is, this is going okay. Okay, I think we're actually ready. Now that I have this to fall back on too. All right, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Alright, careful of the storms, careful of the Archon! Guys, Archon will completely annihilate you. Quick Hydras, help kill off the carrier. Just storm dodge like a pro. Alright, there we go. They didn't even have energy. Alright, we're gonna kill this base. Quite handily, I might add. You guys are pretty good up here, so keep mining down there. Yeah, finally getting some money. Just upgrade that. Now I gotta save up for that one a little bit. But I am mining off of four geysers, so this is this is good. This is very welcome news. This is definitely one of the, the longer missions. Okay, I don't think I actually have to go down here and kill everything. Okay, from here on out, it is Hydras for ground defense. Oh, that's 
go scout out what's going on down here. Oh, I did not just get stormed. Oh my god! That's what's going on down here. Is Arbiters. Where is that Arbiter? You still alive, buddy? Come on, where are you at? Be honest. Aha! Two and two. Uh, that's actually pretty good hits right there. Alright, so call me crazy. I. Uh oh. Oh, I think I can kill these innocent. I don't know. Is that one carrier? Okay. This is one carrier. I think I can kill it. I do want all my hydras down here, though. Okay. The crystal is being harvested. What? I didn't, I didn't bring a drone down there. Oh, I did, huh? Because I was gonna be able to hatchery. Oh darn. Oh darn. I did not expect this to happen so soon. All right. Well, I am going to bring another drone. Hopefully, all this stuff is stuff I can kill. I will need to spread out my units a little bit. Thank goodness for attack command. All right, where? Like, really, guys? That's that's what you thought was a good idea? Yeah, where are all these hydras I'm shooting down here? There they are. Okay, you build a hatchery. I don't know why, but we're basically just waiting now for us to harvest a crystal or something. And that shouldn't take too long, I'm assuming. I do have quite a lot of stuff. Take a look at the minimap, man. I got stuff streaming down there from all angles. What? Get out of here. I don't know why I switched to, like, pure Hydra, but... It feels pretty gratifying. It's just Hydras are so cool in StarCraft 1. Oh, there's a countdown timer at the top. So now we have to wait another seven minutes. But I, I'm, I'm cool with it. Oh, really, guys? Okay. Okay, you are just stupid and deserve that death. Alright, so obviously the best thing to do is to make more drones and harvest those minerals. Alright, so I'm slowly upgrading my overlords. I don't know why exactly, but... Maybe to safely transport my drone, I don't know. But we do have to bring it back here once time is up. I was hoping that this would upgrade faster than Overlord Research, but I'm not so sure that is the case. Alright, get my drone in on. You know what? No, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a geyser. Don't you dare kill my drone. Don't you dare. Don't you that was close. God, they keep getting so many upgrades. They're like 2 2 now. Yeah, that's right. Hey, where's your. Where are you at? Uh, uh. Come on. Yes. Oh, uh, feels good. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, you want to mine some gas? Because I totally can. Long distance gas mining. Aw, oh, yeah. Because why not? Alright, more overlords. Overlords. I need overlord that. And why not get overlord vision? These are going to be the most upgraded overlords ever. I'm also really excited about this gas mining I have going on.
All right, what are you guys doing up here? You should come join the party. This is where it's at. Down here. With this long distance gas mining, which is totally efficient. Take my word for it. This is not reading rainbow, you can take my word for it. All right, well, three and a half minutes to go. This, this is definitely the longest mission so far in the game, probably in the entire game, because it, it's a forced timer halfway through. I don't know how many of those, how many missions there are like that, but I gotta start saying so for a second though. Because they are gonna be transporting the drone. I've got on the upgrades here. What? More investment, yeah. Don't you guys know I'm already mining it from a really far distance away? Okay, uh, there we go. Research that. Just got the three armor upgrade. Evolution complete on what? There we go. Overlord transports. Right? Oh, it's almost done. The Overlord's sight range is not that important of an upgrade. All right, two minutes until we have the crystal where we can basically own the homeworld of Ire. Oh, you guys finally ran out of money. I just I just got to see them run out so they can come back down here. Oh, you guys are almost mined out up here as well. Wait, what are you guys... What are you... What are you guys doing? Why are you guys so stupid? Come long distance mine these minerals. Because I said so, that's why. All right, there we go. Get them going on. This is like the longest mission ever. Yeah, yeah, evolution complete. Why not? Let's just upgrade this to a greater spire. Never know when you'll need to. Uh-oh. Dolem Storm. Dolem Storm. Oh, he got it off, that jerk. I thought for sure he wasn't going to get it off, but he did. All right, 47 seconds. We are basically maxed out. What? What's going on? Don't let him storm. Nice dodge. Good reaction times. I like how they're going to try and kill the shuttle instead of the high Templar, but whatever. 22 seconds. Ouch! I just lost all those drones. Okay, five drones with one kill. Sure. That seems fair. Yeah. Yeah, how do you like it? How do you like it, you stupid reaver? I'm just kidding. I love reavers. Uh-oh. Where's that drone at? All right, I think I can load this guy into an overlord. And hopefully this doesn't make me lose the game, but that should be it. Which means I'm just gonna attack with freaking everything. Why not, right? Even the drones can get in on this. We're probably gonna get stormed so hard. Oh yeah, they got a lot of stuff down there. We'll see if I have enough though. I don't think I do, this angle is horrible. This is definitely not a good choice. Just can't lose track. Uh-oh. Where's my overlord, actually? Okay, here he is. All right, so this is the overlord. They did drop a reaver down there, so there is a chance of him being completely owned. Cerebrit, the Kaderan crystals are in our possession. Oh, no, you're not, you're not supposed to, you're supposed to let me kill. These hydras are actually smart, man. They're sitting back here killing interceptors. All right, well, that's it. That, I don't know how long this video is because I can't see a timer, although I guess I can look at the timer on the next screen, which is kind of accurate. Not 100% accurate, but 40 minutes, oh my god. I'm sure you guys can beat my time on that one. I didn't expect the forced timer, though. So I did go a little overkill on the units, but definitely don't try the Ultra Zergling Rush. That that did not work. All about those air units, um, as is the case on a lot of these late, uh, basically throughout the the campaign, the later you get in the games, you know, carriers, battlecruisers, and broodlords are pretty darn good. So, that is going to be that. We are one mission away from absolutely crushing ire, so definitely don't miss that. I mean, why why would you want to miss that? So, I guess, I guess I'm going to take a break. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Hello, everyone. This is Husky here. More StarCraft 1 campaign time. I am actually playing these back to back to back. Before, I was playing one mission a day, but uh, since I'm going to be so busy this week, I decided, hey, I got to play more StarCraft 1. So at the time of casting this, I just finished the last game, and we are going to go to mission number 10. This is going to be the last Zerg mission before we move on to the Brotoss. And uh, if there's going to be any Brotoss left, that is, the map 
or the game mission is called Full Circle Zerg Swarm High Orbit over the Protoss homeworld of Iyer. Of course, we did leave off right you before attacking Iyer. The Protoss can do nothing but flee before the onslaught of the swarm. But now you must assault one final site before our conquest is assured. Okay. Behold, there is a temple not far from here that lies upon ground most hallowed. Though I have borne witness to the passing of countless millennia, the temple which you must assault is older by far. For it was constructed by my creators, the Zelnaga, and it marks the site where the Zelnaga first set foot upon Iron. The temple must be cleared, and the Kaedaran crystal set in its place. Only then shall the way be made ready, for it is upon that ground alone that I may be manifest. Alright, Manifest Destiny, gotcha. Let's go kill some ancient temples, I mean, why not? Alright, I do believe that this is the last Zerg mission, I may be mistaken. That is known to happen, oh my god. God, they give you a lot of money. This is telling me that this is going to be a long, long game. Probably the longest game to date. So I should definitely build another hatchery. I might even make... This is so much money. Like, this is a lot of money. Let's see what's over here. Knowing Blizzard, there's probably like 10 hidden expansions over here. Oh, there actually is. So I build a hatchery. I wonder if I can fit one there. This is a good question. Can I fit one? Yes! Oh, yes, right there. So doing it. So doing it. I'm going to get my economy blazing in this game. Can I do this as quickly as I possibly can? Got to scout around a little bit. See what else is out here. There isn't anything out here. And there is! More. That, that's a lot of resources. How much gas is there? Uh, is, there, is there no gas? Alright, well, so. Oh, there's one right there, okay. So I see one gas. I don't know if there's more out here. Oh, great, a shovel. Perfect. What do you got in there? Show me what's in your bays. I hope it's not something good. Nope. Yeah, you better retreat. I'm gonna build a gas right away, because this thing is so far away. Thankfully, you can saturate those quite easily. Okay, so there's a Protoss base up there. This is going to scout over there. Alright, what's down here? I should actually start mining. I'm just gonna put like one drone on each mineral patch. Because this mission is ridiculous already. Okay, so this is all wall in. Oh, that's something on the high ground. Perfect. Oh, great. Great. I'm glad I built this hatchery right here to mine from here because they can't have much it. Perfect. Alright, so this rally point's gonna be set over here too. Alright, we're gonna need a lot of drones in that gas, so. I also learned that, yeah, if you tell your guys to return cargo while they're mining minerals, even though you told them to mine gas, they'll actually go back to mining minerals. So, good to know. Okay, so my income should be getting here pretty good. I'm kind of curious as to what is up. Like, if I just tell this guy to attack the temple. Your job is to kill the temple. I feel like it won't be successful, but you never know. Except in this case, you really do know. Okay, so I do need a spawning pool now. Which I do not have. Alright, there he goes. Oh, no, keep going. Run past, run past. Just, just go as far as you can go, buddy. Yeah, yeah. All right, so once this one's done, I'm gonna do layer tech. I will need something to kill these cannons in a little bit, but no major rush on that. I'll just make one. Oh, 
good look while I wait. Oh my gosh, this guy actually... How, how far is this guy gonna make it? Like, no, no, the cannons killed him. What? I have ultras, what are you, what are you doing? Oh my god, that, that cell was pissed. He just went right in there. Oh no, are you kidding me? I cannot kill this, I don't think. Oh gosh darn it. Oh, this is, this is not good. This is not good. Definitely not good. Alright, thankfully I just made a bunch of drones, so I guess there's that. Thankfully scouts are also bad, so there's that. Alright, I'm not gonna kill it, but at least I'll have some units. He's gonna sit here shooting my ultra, so this will be okay, I think. They just keep killing my drones. No, you're supposed to shoot this! There you go, kill that, kill that. Whew, okay, so you need to build that. So you're gonna be the anti air pretty soon. We're gonna replace those drones, and then we are going. We're, we're gonna put our game faces on. We're gonna figure this out. Alright, you build that. You guys mine over here, and we are working on some higher tech. So, I think I'm going to go for air units this time, because that seems to work a lot better. Versus the Protoss. You guys are going to go one more in there. And you are going to be that. Lair tech is on the way. Hydra speed is pretty good, though. I wonder... If I mine this one, am I going to get shot at by cannons? Let's find out. Nope, it seems safe. Checks out. So I'm going to make even more drones. This is still somehow not that well saturated. It's like I keep taking out my drones from there. Alright, you guys go there. Go there. You are gonna build a hatchery somewhere, I guess. Ah, the hatchery positioning is so bad on this map. Up there, I suppose. You guys come down here. And this one's almost mined out. Let's see. Yeah, I think I was gonna get double spire. Also work on this nest for what? Yeah, to be joking. Okay, cool, man. You need to build this, please. Stupid larva getting in the way. Okay. So that expansion's on the way. I'm gonna pump it up with drones. So get the drones going. This is now done. This is almost done, so I can do hive tech. You guys get mining. I feel like they seriously want you to make so many drones on this mission. Alright, there you guys go. You also set your rally point. Alright, so Hive Tech. We can start the upgrade. Because we are going to have a Greater Spire soon. So now it's time for some mutas. A lot of them at that. Start going around with the cleanup crew. 
kill off this. And what is technically the mission objective? Destroy the Protoss Temple. Okay. Simple enough. I'm gonna start by killing that stupid base on the right side. It's making me nervous. I'm also gonna build a bunch of these. Action figures there. Okay. So there's the mutas. Not quite 12 yet, but that's okay. I'm gonna cut off these dorky cannons so I can mine over there as well. Alright, so you're a spore, you're sunken, sunken. Oh no. Oh dear. Thankfully, I do have a spore crawler. Have to kill this. Okay, cool. Okay, I really want to kill these cannons over here, so I'm gonna do that. Now we can mine there, so you guys feel free to come over here. Alright, now once again I have a bunch of minerals and no gas. Fantastic. Alright, so I guess zerglings it is just for defense. By what? Gosh darn it. Alright, what's going on down here? A couple probes, kill those off. Do you guys have gas? Yes, you do. That is what I like to hear. I'm gonna send these guys up here. I'm not quite sure what to expect. Oh dear. I'm gonna send these guys too. So I really need to kill this off because there's a gas up here. Alright, so far these guys are actually doing something. Oh, I gotta watch for the storm. Alright, it wasn't able to storm. Oh, what's this? Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, so we might actually be able to take this right now with the few units that we do have. Oh, no, we're not those. Oh, silly zealots. Where are my lings at? You guys, come attack this base. Overlords, you're annoying. Fast overlord speed ASAP. Okay, so hopefully the lings will be able to clean this up. Looks like they may be able to, which means I need to send a drone. Wait, what's attacking me? Are you serious? You guys are still going at this. Okay, where's that drone at? There he is. I need this gas so bad they don't give you like any. Unless I'm literally just missing a gas geyser somewhere. Now what? Seriously guys, come on. Let's, let's get real here for a second. Pretty sure that probe just killed one of my zerglings. Oh my 
my god, I'm finally gonna have another gas. I also need a scout what the deal is with this. I what? You guys are fine. Well, I kind of do need more defense. Gosh darn it. I just wanted to see what was right there. Okay. Base time. Definitely don't need more minerals. I guess I will get Greater Spire now. Also work on more upgrades. Okay, so this is literally just a gas. What, really? What was that about? So I'm going to attempt, attempt to build a hatchery right here. And for some reason, this guy refused to build his gas geyser. I don't understand it. Okay, so hopefully this works. We do have that gas on the way. Where's these drones? I need you guys over here ASAP. Who else spawned? You? You? Work? Work? No, not you. But you. And you. Come over here. Why would they send a probe all the way back here? That's, that's the real question. Alright, for the love of all things Zergi, just start mining this base. No, oh, scouts! Killing my precious gas units. Alright, do I have enough guys in there yet? I sure hope so. I'm gonna put one more just for safe measure. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna make a ton of overlords, because why not? Because I have 6,000 minerals. Whoever designed this mission is a jerk. Alright, you guys come up here, one more down there. All right, that is definitely more than enough drones, and I'm gonna leave it that way. Okay, you build that. You build that. I do this just for safety. These guys actually spawn. Don't know if they will. Are you guys stuck in there? No, you're not. Good. Okay, I actually have gas income, and it is in the most wonky places ever. Freaking Iron Man. Making me have to work for this one. All right, so this is what's gonna happen. Is I'm gonna kill the base on the left so they don't bug me anymore. And then it is gonna be on. Actually, no, don't do the upgrade yet. I need to make some freaking guardians for once. Okay, so I'm mining gas, I believe, off of three geysers. And I think I don't have enough drones in this one, actually. So you're mining there. Are you? Yeah, he's mining. You guys are doing good. I'll put even more in this one, just because. 
And finally can make some guardians. Definitely a lot of Zerglings, that's that's a fact. Alright, some of you guys can start mining over here. Have a full Guardians yet? Not yet. Ten is enough. Probably this, these Zerglings are... Go on wherever the hell they please, but whatever. I'm gonna start scouting around a little bit. How many? Yeah, the is running everywhere. All right, so these are almost done. Quick scourge gives me another carrier. I also feel like these guys should be a part of this. But seriously, what else can I use all these guys for? Oh, well, there's the carrier. Where's my Scourge at? Where'd the Scourge go? You guys are going the wrong way. Kill this carrier. Go, go, Scourge! Yes! Okay. I guess send in more links. It's been working so far. Do you guys have gas? Yes, you do. Kill that immediately. Now, I should definitely upgrade my guys as well. Alrighty, you build a hatchery right there. Where are all my mutas? Like, I feel like they keep dying. All right, I'm gonna let them keep their observers because that's more supply they can't use, hopefully. Okay, there we go. This army's starting to look pretty good. I am gonna make some more Scourge because Goodness knows they have carriers. Oh great, this one's depleted. Perfect. Oh, here's a great expansion. Do you have gas? Gas up here? Uh, oh, there is one. Good to know. There's also one up here. As weirdly laid out as it is. Do not see any gas. Really? Ah, almost killed it. All right, 
three in there should help out a lot. Slowly pushing forward. We'll see how this goes. I'm going to send all my lings up here as well. Bring the ultra as well. Might as well. Upgrades are looking good. Bring all these guys just because. Circlings all the way, all day. More and more Zerglings. Alright, my rally points are evidently completely messed up, but whatever. On with interceptors in StarCraft 1. Yes! I guess I think those Zerglings are actually doing something. I feel like those Zerglings are working. They don't have a million readers in this game. my supply quite well. Our forces are under attack. Alright, keep the pain train rolling. Cannons over here, I can deal with those. Why would you fly into range? You got range, whatever. Guardians do what guardians want to do. We are getting so close to that temple. So close. Alright, kill the Archons before they get to you. Hydras now. I guess. Slowly setting. The Protoss have launched a final offensive to keep us from the ruins. You must hold them at bay for a while longer. Oh, great. Well, isn't this just dandy? Okay, I think I have all the rally points set, so every time I make guys, hopefully it's sitting them up there. Where's that drone at? There he is. Okay, he seems a little bit safe. I guess I didn't set all the rally points. Alright, where's that drone at? There he is. We gotta bring him up to here. Hopefully this drone is very safe. He looks safe to me. Not even gonna use the attack command, because I feel like I'm gonna accidentally kill him with my mutas. 
Now shall the event set into motion so long ago be made complete. For the Protoss too were created by the Zelnaga. They were the first creation, gifted with a purity of form. And we were the second creation, blessed with a purity of essence. Indeed, our two species are but opposite facets of a greater whole. Soon shall our two races be made as one. Henceforth shall all feel the wrath of the eternal swarm. For the hour of judgment is come. God, he always gives such awesome speeches. So I think there may be a cinematic. We, uh, we, we shall see after the score screen. How long was that game? 29 minutes. I was able to beat that one a little bit quicker. And I think... Yep, here it is, baby. High Orbit Protoss Homeworld of Ire. Gonna have some sort of cinematic here. Let's see exactly what happens here. Guys, what's uh, what's cracking? Just thought I'd bring a few of my friends. Scumbag Zerg. Crashes on your planet. Infests the entire thing. That is a lot of Zerg bugs. You definitely have a Zerg problem. So the Terran campaign's done. We've just infested the Protoss homeworld of Ire, which is a, uh, a great time to transition into playing the Protoss. And they they definitely have a Zerg problem. They're going to have one hell of a time dealing with this. So, my goodness, we are two-thirds of the way through this game. It has taken 15 or, what, 16 videos now? And we are only two-thirds of the way there. I'm going to try and finish this series before Diablo 3 comes out because I'm going to be playing Diablo 3 a lot. So let's find out what happens in the next mission. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Hello, everyone. This is HD Husky Husky here, and we are back with some more StarCraft 1 playthrough. And guess what, guys? We have defeated the Terran campaign. We've crushed through the Zerg campaign, and all that is left is going to be the poor Protoss who are dealing with the Overmind on their home planet of Ire. So let's get this one started. All the Protoss out there, you've been waiting for it. You have earned it. So here we go, the start of the Protoss campaign. Protoss campaign, the fall. The Zerg Overmind has succeeded in invading the Protoss homeworld of Ire and has embedded itself into the crust of the planet. Now, as the agents of the Sinister Overmind spread chaos and destruction across the face of Ire, the Stalwar Protoss defenders prepare themselves for the coming onslaught. Stuff is about to hit the fan. First strike citadel of the new Protoss Executor two days after the Zerg invasion. So the Zerg invasion just happened. Taro Aldun, Executor. I am Judicator Aldaris. I have been sent by the Conclave to serve and counsel you. The former Executor, Tassadar, was commanded to hold the Zerg progress in the Terran sector by burning the infested human worlds. Unfortunately, he disregarded his orders and attempted to destroy the Zerg while sparing the Terrans from the flame. Clearly, Tassadar has failed us. You must not. The Conclave has dictated that our first priority is to strengthen our defenses. You must reinforce our outpost in Antioch and make certain that the province does not fall to the Zerg. Your old comrade, Praetor Phoenix, 
will meet you there and assist you in this endeavor. Phoenix, my man! All right, we're getting into hero action right away. Okay, here we go, man. Oh, this this feels good. I'm feeling good, guys. I, I'm getting nerd chills. You guys know me. I'm the biggest bro toss ever. All right, so here we go. We're going to be moving out. I guess we're taking the long route, it would appear. Oh, I bet you do. Oh, I'm going to micro this guy. Make sure he doesn't take full damage. Oh, yeah. Sweet micro action. So I, I'm pretty excited about this because you guys, you, you know me, I love Protoss. All right, come on, kill him off. We can do just fine here. All right, where's my Phoenix at? Where you at, Phoenix? Make use of me. Make use of me. All right, your pathing is horrible. So I'd let you know. Soft Canadas. All right. Oh, there's more guys down here. Careful, dragoons. You suck versus circlings. Maybe don't shoot each other as well. That'd be good. Dragoons have like the slowest shooting animation ever of any unit. It takes so long. It's also annoying on custom maps where there's huge battles because then they don't actually shoot anything. Phoenix! Ah, Executor and Taro Adun. It is good to see you once more upon the field of battle. Your command, as you will. Ah, oh, Phoenix, you're so awesome. Let's just make a bunch of probes, because really, what else am I going to make right now? Alright, so is there just one entrance, or how's this? Oh, pro tip. Pro tip, Phoenix. You are, you are making me Grandmaster. Although, of course, this is the first time... A new player would be playing the Protoss campaign, so obviously they have to te teach you. It's just kind of silly when, like, Phoenix, one of the most badass guys for the Protoss ever. What? More pylons? Are you, are you serious? Come on, Blizzard, give me more pylons than that. Yeah. Darn straight, it's got to warp in by itself. Alright, he does 40 damage? Oh my god. Zelda only does 16. What a total bamf. Let's take a look at the mission objectives. Meet Phoenix and Antioch, destroy the Zerg base, and Phoenix must survive. Fair enough. I can I can make that happen. I don't think we need cannons, though. I think the cannons... We're not forge fast expanding here. We've already got our, we've already got our main base established. All right. Just keep making units, and... Yeah. So basically this mission is just kind of to learn learn the ropes of the Protoss, which I don't know if I actually need to even, like I wonder if I need to build anything, because I already have Phoenix, I can probably just beat the game. But well, let's go ahead and build a gateway, oh we already have a gateway. Well, another gateway never hurt. I don't want to mind gas yet, because they're only going to allow you to build, um, oh I need to put a pile on here. They're only going to allow you to build gateway units anyway, so I don't need gas right away. I feel like more importantly, I need a pylon to power this building. Alright, you go up there. Oh, that poor probe got whiffed so hard. Keeps trying to mine, but no one will let him. Not enough minerals. That's something we're going to be hearing quite a lot. Alright, so I have the gateway on the way. Of course, there is no warp gates in StarCraft 1 for are the version of the Stalker? They just do more. Da they do more damage, but are very stupid with their pathing. They are not. They are not slick, like uh, Stalkers are at all. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Oh my God! Cyberforce costs 200. I forgot about that. All right, you go there. You go there. You go there. Build more probes. I bet you do. Don't we all? What would you ask of me? Oh, nothing. I just like chatting. Okay, so once I get enough probes going, I should be okay. Ground attack is a really good upgrade to get as Protoss, if you recall from StarCraft 2. It's a pretty darn good upgrade. 
More probes. There's Cybercore. Oh, and you can research a Dragoon range upgrade instead of Warp Gate. Something pretty cool. Can you imagine if there was a Stalker range upgrade? Oh, that'd be so awesome. Uh, I should probably get this, huh? Because Dragoons. Kind of the backbone. I guess Zealots and Dragoons are the backbone. There we go. And it spins around all awesome like. You have not enough minerals. Okay, this should be pretty close to what I need for probes. Still gotta make a couple more just in case. And now I can start making. Let's do a Dragoon. Set the rally point up here. I'm gonna need a pylon. I guess I'll build a pylon right here for no reason. This pylon's all burned out. Oh, another cool thing about Protoss and StarCraft 1 is everything burns blue, which I just think is so cool. I wish they did that in StarCraft 2, but it's all like electricity, but you can't really see it. it makes me kind of sad. Still, still holding out, hoping they're going to add that in Heart of the Swarm. We'll see. Although my main mission for Heart of the Swarm is to keep the carrier, because I feel like it's so iconic. And if they say it's a bad unit, then make it better. I don't know, I don't know what the, the deal is up with that one. Yeah, Dragoons, baby! Alright, you're gonna be in hotkey group number two. This is where the pathing of dragoons is so darn bad that you'll want to pull out your eyelashes. I don't know why you would want to do that, but. Alright, the plus one attack on the way. They probably won't allow you to get plus two, so I have to get the armor upgrade. We're doing pretty good on saturation. I could get a couple more guys, of course, but for now, just gotta make some dragoons. Boom and boom. Uh oh, uh oh, we got this. Come on, Phoenix. Tear it up. Yeah, 40 damage, baby. Five kills already. He hungers for battle, guys. Yes. Wait, what would I create? Oh, Dragoon Range is done. Woot, woot. Alright, so Dragoons are pretty strong. They, they have a lot of health. Um, they do really good damage, but they do less damage versus Zerglings. So, something to keep in mind. That's why, that's what Zealots are for. Go ahead and throw down another gateway. Come on, there you go. Pylon. We should be ready pretty soon. I think I'm going to make two Zealots, and we'll go see what's up. See what's up with that Zerg base. Yeah, I don't even need gas. I, I need, like, one guy on gas. Upgrade complete. You have not enough minerals. Well, they did the armor upgrade on the way, so... Alright, two two probes on gas should be okay for this mission. Alright, once these two cells are done, since they will obviously be the difference, we will go ahead and go. Yeah, these mineral patches are starting to disappear, so I don't need any more probes. And... The zelts are almost done. Oh, you didn't build one, apparently. Move another gateway. Alright, well, I'm happy with this, so I'm guessing the Zerg base is up here. Oh, Burrow, huh? I think you're fancy. And you make a Dragoon. Ooh, an expansion. Hero expansion! Get the Zerg out of here. No, you take, you take a lot of damage from that. Oh, what's this? The Zergling, huh? Anything down here I should know about? Yep, more Zerglings. What, did I lose a guy? Come on guys, keep it together. Alright, I do need another pylon pretty soon. Oh dear, that is a lot of stuff. Alright, Phoenix, you better stay alive. I know you do insane DPS, but stay alive. All right, let's let your shields regenerate a little bit. Oh man, now that I upgraded, he's gonna do even more. 42 damage. Shot. That is that is pretty intense. All right, go ahead and send up these reinforcements. All right, go ahead and send up these reinforcements. Alright, Phoenix, where are you at? Oh god, which one's Phoenix? Oh, he's up here, okay. I don't know about that. You need to be a little bit more careful, sir. Alright, we're doing okay. These Zelts are almost dead, but that's okay. Some alive. Here's the reinforcements. We should be able to attack with Phoenix. 
I just need to keep an eye on him. If he ends up dying, then we gotta redo this. And we don't wanna redo this, trust me. Yeah, killing overlords feels good every time. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm trying to do their dying sound. It's a little bit harder, though. Alright, is that it, or is there more? Is there more? We're about to find out. Oh! Oh, shit. He has such a positive attitude about it. He's like, oh, our entire homeworld's getting destroyed. Finally a challenge. They kind of remind me of Predators. Uh, I think I'm going to continue. Let's, let's not stop here. That was just one mission. Let's go ahead and do mission number two, Into the Flame, Citadel of the Executor, the following night. So we are two days into this Antara battle. Antaro Adun, Executor. Your defense of Antioch has restored my faith in the Templar cast. I admit that Tassadar's desertion had shaken my faith. Indeed, Alvarez. I would hope that the Judicator would put more faith in the Templar brethren. Tassadar, where have you Be been? Be silent, Judicator. There is no time to waste. But I have much to tell you. As you know, the Zerg vanished after the fall of the Terran world of Tarsonis. And though the Conclave bid me return home, I was compelled to remain. A powerful psionic call drew my attention to a remote barren world named Char. Apparently the call was answered by others as well. For upon Char, I encountered those who were once our brethren. The Dark Templar. Consorting with the Fallen Ones is heresy. Oh, no. shut up. Hear me, Executor. For I have learned much from the Dark Templar prelate, Zeratul. The Overmind controls its minions through agents called Cerebrates. Strike down the Cerebrates, and the swarms will surely fall. Executor, Tassadar may be right. If you can keep the Zerg occupied, my force may be able to penetrate their perimeter and slay the Abomination. I pray we can trust you, Tassadar. Already I can sense the taint of the Fallen One's influence on your mind. You must return to Ayr at once. My concern is for the safety of Ayr, not the judgments of the Conclave. I will return when the time is right. God, he's so whiny. He's like, uh, consorting with the ones who killed the Cerebrids. Uh. It's like, shut up. Shut up. He's like that really annoying younger brother. All right. Well, we do have gas right here. You've Building up some probes. And basically the exact mission objectives, distract the Zerg while Phoenix gets into position, kill the Zerg Cerebrate, Phoenix must survive. So for now we do have 15 minutes in game, but that is faster than real time of course because it's Blizzard and they don't like actual seconds in any of their video games, but that's okay. So for now we're just gonna build up our good old macro as is to be expected. I kinda wanna explore around a little bit. And there is an entrance down there. Looks like there's another entrance up here as well over there. Uh oh. Oh, don't kill me. Don't kill me. I need all of these units. Alright, anything over here? Most likely not. Okay. So that's, that's good to go. It does look like there's two entrances, so I'm going to scout this one out really quick. Alright, so the main point of defense is going to be over here, right there. Build a gateway pretty soon. You there, probe. Build a gateway. Yes. Alright, so only those two entrances. I'm gonna go ahead and defend this one. Seems like the logical choice. Uh oh. Zerg run by of one Zergling. Oh no, it's another Zergling. Don't you dare. Don't you stupid Zergling, did you seriously kill my probe? I'm pretty sure they have the attack speed upgrade which has me kind of sad about it. Right, we need to mine out this small one first. Let's build another by Pahala. Hey, what are you doing? You there! 
Get back to work. Build a shield battery to recharge your unit's shields. How about no? Shield batteries are actually horrible. I hope that's not actually a mission objective, is it? Okay. I hate shield batteries. They're so hard to use correctly. You'd almost never see them in pro games. Sometimes you would, but I mean, it was it was rare. It was rare, rare, rare. All right, so you come over here. I need to build a cybernetic score. Did you let me build anything else yet? Nope, just a shield battery. I can do forge too. I just don't know exactly, like, am I supposed to go out and attack, or do I... Wait, that's that's the confusing part here. Oh, I need, uh, I need gas, what am I doing? Okay, this should be enough now. This should be pretty good. The only patches that I don't really mind that much are these two. Alright, so you guys are working. Why did I forget gas for so long? I can't even make a dragoon yet. Uh oh. Oh no! Don't you dare kill a probe. Don't you dare. They almost did. Come on, you guys. Seriously. Stop. Stop flirting and playing in the grass. Let's, let's get back to work. Alright, another gateway. Also add on a pylon. I think I may need one more probe in there. Yeah, I do. Because my probe pathing is pretty terrible. Alright, so we're going to work on getting out Dragoon range. That upgrade's pretty good. Look how fast this timer goes. That is definitely not full seconds. I don't care what anybody says. Come on, you good range. There we go. Upgrade another zealot. Because somebody forgot to build the assimilator. Maybe that could be. Alright. First Dragoon on the way. And one of these mineral patches despawned. Because it did get mined out. So that's good. Alright, I should be almost ready. Once, I, once a couple of these units spawn, I think I'll be good. Like, once I have 12, so once this guy's done and this guy's done, I'm so moving out. I'm moving out, Mom! Okay. Alrighty, there's one to do. We'll make another one just to have some reinforcements. You guys like my sweet pylon wall I got going on? It's pretty fancy, I know. Alright, Dragoon range is almost done. These cost 125 and 50. Yep. Indeed they do. And just enough money. Alright, here we go. We are moving out. I don't know if I'm supposed to attack or not, but I'm doing it. What do we got? Oh, just one Zerg thing. I like the Zerg are distracting me with all these stupid burrow units. I should build a forge. I like forges. Oh, what is this? This is a huge base. A lot of units. Oh my goodness. So many units over here. I've lost three already. I think they deserve to running by. Oh, okay. Alright, it's time to leave now. I I don't think you're supposed to engage that. I really don't think you're supposed to leave the base. Alright, well, lesson learned. I guess we just sit back now. At least kill a lot of units, but I don't know if they're going to get all those units back for free or not. Probably will. Alright, Zealot and Zealot, because Zealots are pretty freaking awesome. Thankfully, I did save a lot of my units. One thing I want to note is that Protoss shields regenerate very slowly in StarCraft 1, but they can regenerate at any time. Unlike in StarCraft 2, where you have to be completely out of combat. Alright, plus one attack. For my, as I used to say as a kid, Zelots. Which, to be fair, it is spelled like that, so. Don't know what they expect. Although, I think this is gonna be mined out, like, right when the timer runs out. Almost like they planned it that way. Alright, there's that. The attacks are on the way. I could build a cannon right here, but. Don't know if that's really needed. Phoenix, why you take so long to get in position, huh? Because for now, we're just going to sit back and wait. I guess I can make some more Dragoons. 
dragons are pretty good. But at the same time, I do love zealots. All right, so you guys are the new or original 12. It was the original, original 12 ended up dying. Have you guys seen the movie Avengers? That movie is freaking ridiculous. God, Joss Whedon is a genius. He is such a good director, man. He's made so many good series, so many good movies. I don't really follow directors or actors or anything like that. Like, I'm not a big, like, celebrity person. Like, I don't, I don't have, there's, there's no famous person that I would, like, freak out if I met. Because I feel like they're all just people. And, uh, I don't know, though, but Joss Whedon, he's made a lot of good stuff. He definitely deserves the money he has made. And I think it was, like, the most grossing movie of all time now. Like, as far as opening weekends go. Is like 200 million or just something insane? Okay, so... Oh, here they come. Thankfully, Mutas are bad versus Protoss. Yes. Oh, yeah, where's your Overlord going, huh? Oh, that's right. Nowhere, because it's dead. Alright, I do need our pylon, though. No joke, I do need another pylon. Continuing my good old pylon wall. My plus attack is almost done. Hey, where, where are you guys? Come on, come back here. Dragoons are seriously so stupid. They're like... They're just like that special friend that everyone has. Where, you know, they just say things that... You just, you just can't help but smile and nod. Because they don't quite make sense. Alright, so there we go. I got a lot of Dragoons, though. This two base, two gateway play is pretty efficient. Alright, well, Phoenix is almost in position. We've been waiting long enough. I just realized this almost looks like a smiley face on the minimap. As they were. Like, seriously, Dragoon, what are you doing? Just stop. Just stop. Let's go over here. Is that something you guys can handle? Can you, can you do that for me? Complete. Yes. Thank you for the upgrade. Uh, well, these guys couldn't handle it, so... Like, really, where are you guys going? Okay, guys, you... You are embarrassing me. You, you come over here, and you guys over there. Where, where did you go? Sir, Come on, guys. You can handle this. We are supposed to be the master race of the entire galaxy. Come on. Come on, just stop. Stop. Okay. I think we're good. Hopefully the Zerg didn't see us doing this because that was embarrassing. Alright, so this is almost mined out. Which means hopefully there's another base somewhere. If this if this mission goes on for too long. Maybe I'm just supposed to sit back and defend. Is that what this mission is about? I don't know. I'm, we're about to find out though, because Phoenix! Executor, we are in position. Oh. I await your orders. Reaver, 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 Reaver! Oh, I love Reavers. You must build scarabs for your Reavers before you can attack with them. Indeed. What would you ask of me? All right, Reavers are so awesome. Oh, well, now I need a million pylons. Thanks, Phoenix. Coming over here, pooping up my supply. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to build enough. All right, well, you guys go this way. We'll see what happens. No, 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 waste the scarab, don't waste the scarab! Ah. Uh, scarab, if you guys just worry about moving down here. I, I don't want to waste scarabs if I don't have to. I wonder. Now I can't go that way. You guys should probably come down here, too. Alright, here we go. Charge! Right, this is gonna be a massive attack. Reavers are so good. Except you need to use them for killing units, not. Oh shoot, where's Phoenix? Oh guys, realize where's Phoenix? Where's Phoenix? No! Oh my God! No! No! This is why I never use heroes. Oh my God! Ah! No! <laughs> Phoenix, why would you do this to us? There was reinforcements on the way. <laughs>
Oh my god. Alright, well, I'm gonna stop the video and redo the mission for the next video. Stupid Phoenix, why you gotta have zealot legs? Why you gotta be so fast? Just run it up there, my life for ire, yada da. Formidable foe indeed, as you just got completely owned. So we gotta we gotta redo this. And at least we know what to do this time. So I'm not going to mess it up. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And of course, I'll see you guys next time. Hello everyone, this is HDS Kieski here. And uh, if you watched the last video, just just go ahead and, and skip ahead a little bit because uh, we, we done goofed. I, I totally messed it up. I think that's the first time I actually failed a mission because I got a little bit excited with Phoenix. He does so much damage. I'm like, surely he can take care of himself. Nope, he ran in there, immediately died. And also, the attack went sour originally because I kind of ran in with my giant army before I should have, instead of waiting for Phoenix like they recommended. So now, I have a new game plan. The game plan is, number one, not to lose. Number two, don't let Phoenix die. And number three, I'm just going to sit back for 15 minutes and macro up like crazy. It's like a dream ladder match where people don't attack me for a while, which, uh, you know, of course, never happens, but that's fine. And so we, we got this. I'm going to go up here and kill. I think there's some burrow units up here, if I remember correctly. So I don't want this guy to take any damage. So, yeah. I, I feel all the wiser now. Live and learn. Live and learn, as they say. Or don't die and learn. Uh-oh. No. Nope. You guys leave that pylon alone. They are pretty annoying. So we're just going to we're just gonna chill, make a bunch of probes. And how how are you? How are you? Uh, I'm, I'm not feeling good after that last game. So if you guys didn't catch it, you can see the, the intro to the, um, to this mission at the end of the last video. I didn't feel like sitting through it again because I was super depressed about how that game actually ended up going. Okay, so I do know I don't need a four. Well, I, I don't need cannons, I should say. I don't need cannons, so I can just build up my economy, get my upgrades going. Uh, I'm not going to forget my assimilator this time, so we're going to build him right away. So tell him to build that. And I feel so much better at this game than when I was a kid, because I actually know you can queue up commands now with shift. You can only queue up one command, but uh, that's that's a mechanic that you kind of get used to using in StarCraft 2, because the, the little arrows, they let you queue up as many commands as you want, and you can follow the little green lines, and uh, you'll remember exactly which commands you queued up. So they don't have that in StarCraft 1, but you can... And queue up one command, which is pretty cool. Alright, there's that on the way. I'm not building a shield battery. I don't care what any of you say. Well, Phoenix could really use a shield battery. I do need four guys in here. And we are we are already off to a much better start. Look at our macro. Very low minerals, very low gas. We're not even supply blocked. We have the cybernetics core on the way and the gas on the way. This is feeling good. This one is feeling much, much better. Uh oh. Hopefully this continues to last. Yeah, there's just two hydrants here. I feel like I can take those out. Indeed I can. And I'm gonna build a pylon up here in hopes that if they attack me, they attack that pylon instead. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Make another zealot. Cause I gotta get Dragoon range. Start that right away. And Zealot. The old Zealots, and by Zealots I mean Zealot. I did say Zealot for a very long time. I refuse to believe that that's how you said it until I looked up on Dictionary.com, and I'm like, gosh darn it. Is Dictionary.com like the actual, is that actually ran by Webster or whoever makes Dictionary? That I'm genuinely curious about. I don't know off the top of my head. But uh, I want to know if that's like a, a reliable source to be like, Oh yeah, we'll look it up on dictionary.com and then actually it's ran by like a, a fan it's like a fan site of dictionary.com, so it's not like an official website. I don't know. That would be my luck. Alrighty, everything else is good to go. I think we are ready. And uh, I I have a question for you guys. It's kinda random, but I saw a thread on Reddit that was, how do you know you're an adult now? And some of you I know are still in high school, so maybe it's not as relevant. But uh, how would it how do you know now that you're an old fart? Like like an older older age person. For me it was probably um I'm trying to think. I mean paying my parking ticket the other day where I didn't pay it on time. 
and they doubled the price of the parking ticket. I had to pay $120 for parking an extra hour in a, a completely non-main road uh, in LA. Which, I mean, it was my fault. I shouldn't have been there, and I also should have paid the ticket on time. So, uh, that was a wake-up call. That was like, Husky, you are an adult now. You need to start acting like one. So that was probably my my big wake-up call. And, uh, I don't know. Being able to go to a store and buy all the candy I want, but now my body's not what it used to be, so I don't even want to eat all the candy. That's also a pretty big wake-up call for me. My forge now. I want my forge! Why is there a Beatlisk attacking my pylons? Yeah, Dragoon's not the best versus Vitas, but they will do the job. Got my sweet wall in like I had in the last game for those of you who watched it. If you're like the super fan, if you watched all of last video and are continuing to watch this video, that that's like, that's like Husketeer number one right there. And I must say thank you. Thank you very much. All right, we're halfway to uh, Phoenix gonna be here. All right, there's Hockey version number one. I'm gonna have so many units. This is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna have so many more units than the last game. I might have a few less workers though. Kind of hard to tell. It is staying fairly saturated though, so that's good. All right, so there's that. I'm trying to think of what else. Hey, having to pay car insurance, that's that's a total pain in the ass. And health insurance as well. I could not believe how expensive health insurance is. Oh my god. Also taxes. I had to give 40% of the money I had on hand to taxes. That's, that is a wake up call. Make sure you guys do not spend all your money on frivolous things because taxes will bite you in the butt. And... Sweet, so this is, this is looking good. Got the upgrade on the way, Dragoons, and we just gotta wait for uh, good old Mr. Phoenix. Should probably make another pylon, huh? My wallet is pretty sexy, though. I know you guys are kind of jealous. I need more zealots. I wanna make a zealot. Zealots are just so good. They are so beefy, and their attack doesn't sound like a wet noodle like it does in StarCraft 2. Because seriously, like, the attack of the Zealot in StarCraft 2 literally sounds like a wet noodle. Like, if you listen to it, you're like, oh yeah, he's hitting him with soggy spaghetti noodles. In StarCraft 1, like, listen to this sound in StarCraft 1. You guys ready? Like, that is so much more badass. He's, like, yelling, stabbing like crazy. It is great. StarCraft 2 is like stupid when it comes to their sound effects. I feel like the sound of StarCraft is really the only weak part. It's such a great game, but the music and sounds just are not up to par. Some of the sounds are okay, I guess, but I really prefer StarCraft 1 in that regard. And I, I tried not being like the elitist old guy who's like, remember when you know, StarCraft 1 was so great? I actually think StarCraft 2 is a phenomenal game. And I've tried getting into the music and the sound effects, but after two years of trying, I just, facts are facts, at least in my brain. I love StarCraft 1 sounds and music, which isn't isn't really to say anything bad about StarCraft 2, it's just how great StarCraft 1 is when it comes to that stuff. All right, two minutes till he's here, baby. Um, I'm gonna have two full control groups at least by the time he gets here. I do need to save a little bit of money for... Oh, I don't have my armor upgrade. That's going to be a little bit delayed. That's whatever. It's like whatever. As long as I have some money for scarabs, then we should be okay. And I'm wondering if we need to secure another base at some point, or if this is just kind of a, a one base play. All right. Attack group number one, you come down there. Attack group number two, come down here. And then just hold position. You'll be attack group number three. All right, you guys are pretty spot on. That's fully saturated up here. We are running out of resources. This one's about to disappear. Oh my god, Phoenix is on the way. Hey, hey. Saving money for scarabs now. 45 seconds to just lean back, take a drink of whatever you have nearest you. 
that is a consumable liquid. Don't drink like gasoline or something. Oh my god, my roommate Dodger was watching that addiction show and there was a girl who was addicted to drinking gasoline. Are you serious? It's like you do know like one or two drops in your lungs can kill you, right? Like, like that's a thing. And she's like, oh, I've been getting cramps. It's like, well, really? Really, I didn't realize that. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need more pilot talks. We're gonna get Phoenix here pretty soon. Seconds are we are in position. I await your orders. Of course. I have to make more pylons. Okay, so the rest of the money from here on out is going to Scarabs and Operation Keep this guy alive. You've not enough yeah, yeah, we're getting You've money. Not all right, so first I'm going to sit down these guys and clean out the stupid stupid zerglings that are going to unburrow. I don't want to be wasting my scarabs. Scarabs ain't free, man. Okay, there's that. Oh, what's this? All right, Zelt, you absorb some of the bounce damage. Okay, we took care of that. You know what, Phoenix? You are just you're just chilling up here. That's that's all you get to do. Alright, one fever shot. This could do some damage. Oh, no. Okay, so you guys build more scarabs, hold position. And this is what's gonna happen. One, two, three. You guys attack. You guys attack as well. And let's hope for the best. Uh, Reavers move so slow, but they're so awesome! Kill some drones. Okay, that was that was a bit overkill. Kill the Hydra Den. Oh, they kill stuff so fast. Now kill it. Okay, that's definitely overkill. We gotta split you guys up. You are going way overkill on this one. All right, you help out over there. There we go. Now we're talking. Oh, this feels good. This feels like a well-executed attack, and the only reason is is because they they positioned half my units for me. One, two, three, attack. Reavers, continue to attack and make more scarabs. Oh, I'm out of money. I'm completely out of money. Stop making scarabs. No, I need that money back. Let's hold 58 resources. All right, all you guys are just gonna start mining this. I don't know if this is actually what they want you to do, but this is what I'm gonna do. Start mining that. Oh my goodness, this attack is still going on. Alright, you guys keep going down here. We've got we've got probes on the way. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's mine over here too. I doubt this is efficient, but I will remain behind and observe the effects of our attack. Return to the Citadel. I shall notify you when the brood becomes erratic. Yeah, you should stay behind because all you do is run in and die. So, there. I'm upset about it. And that's all there is to it. Alright, so I'm going to stop the video here. This one was a little bit shorter. But uh, we are going to continue this mission on. I'm actually going to be playing this game a lot today. Because at the time of uploading these, I'm actually going to be gone on the 6th, 8th, or whoops, whoops, 7th, 8th, 9th, and 10th. I'm actually completely out of the house, out of town, gone, working hard, but uh, so I'm going to stockpile a bunch of videos, so if I sound a little bit tired, that's because I've been playing a lot of games and casting a lot of games, because I'm trying to stockpile, because you know what? You guys deserve some StarCraft 1 and StarCraft 2, so hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys next time! Hello everyone, this is HDSKSK here, back with some more StarCraft 1 campaign playthrough. And let's continue the Protoss. Mission number three is called Higher Ground. Probably involves Phoenix, and I should probably not let Phoenix die. Although, I think he said he's going to stay back and watch the effects of the attack. Kind of sounds like Daggett, though, who was like, Oh, I'm going to kill a barracks. Most dire. The Cerebrate that we thought we had killed has arisen again. The creature's battered form was reincarnated, despite the considerable damage we inflicted upon it. Even now, the Cerebrate drives its brood in preparation for their next offensive. It is as I feared. It was folly to believe Tassadar could be trusted. 
the conclave will not soon forget his wanton betrayal. You take it back right now. Nevertheless, we must stand resolute. For attacking defenseless cerebrates is not the way of true oh cultist warriors. Oh my god. Warriors. We shall overcome the entire swarm with the might and the fury that is our heritage. Executor, we shall lead our main strike force to the province of Sion, which has fallen to the Zerg. It's time the Zerg felt the wrath of the Sons of Ire. Prayer to Phoenix will remain here with a small detachment and guard Antioch from any further assaults. Adun be with you, Executor. Bring swift death to the enemies of Ire. God, Phoenix is just so much more classy about how he says it. The other guy's like, eh, the protests are so mighty, we're gonna crash the Zerg. Phoenix is like, hell yeah. Oh, Scouts, I love you. Oh, I love you, Scouts. I love you so much. Alright, well I can't macro and click on my units a lot, but just know, I love scouts. They're worthless in competitive play, but they are such a fun unit to use. And they do like no damage versus ground units, but they're very good at killing flying things. So let's go, let's go find something to kill. I also love how they're called a scout, and no one at all would ever use them for scouting at all. They cost so much money that, like, yeah. Yeah. Alright, so we're trying to find some Zerg bugs to kill. Aha! Uh -huh. I have found you, Zerg scum! Now it's time to die by the power of my horrible scout army. Like, look how little damage they do. They're, like, having trouble killing Zerglings. Alright, maybe maybe focus on one at a time. Since this is evidently evidently a chore for you guys. I know, chase them around. Take your time. I almost want to take a risk and, like, expand there right away. Let's see, is there... There's a base over here. No, there's no way up here. I don't think. Maybe over here. I think I might... I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to put these guys on gas so I have that going. And I'm totally going to expand here. Hopefully this doesn't bite me in the butt later. Because there's no way really up here. What? What? No! No! No, bro, gather! Oh, that jerk. That jerk hole. Obviously expanding is the right choice. Wait, I want to kill that overlord. Get back here. I'm on the hunt now. Alright, where's he at? Overlords move slow. Aha! I have found you! Alright, build a nexus. Oh, I love that sound. Alright, well I've explored quite a bit. There's no easy way for them to get there unless they do drops, which is a definite possibility. You have not enough minerals. I guess I could build some production facilities. Might be a good idea. Also, another guy in gas would be good. Okay, so the only way I haven't explored is up here. You get to work. You get to work as well. I'm guessing this is the roots of attack. Like I say, you would never use scouts for scouting, and I'm like scouting with the scouts, but we're talking about competitive play here. How close is this? Oh, pretty close. Pretty close. So that means I'm going to send over you guys. Alright, so hopefully that works out. And we need the cyber core. You have not enough minerals. You have not enough Always forget that it costs 200. You have not enough minerals. Down that one goes. And here they go. These guys are ready. This base is up minerals. and running. You have not enough minerals. What units do they give me now? Ah, still only still only Dragoon Zell. I may be able to make scouts now, but scouts are just so bad that I don't even think it's worth it. Because surely they're not gonna give me carriers. 
Uh, oh, they do give me the Citadel of a Dune. That does have Zealot Legs upgrade. So I don't even know if I need this other gas right now. We'll see. I think it's the first mission where I have two bases, though, so... I'm going to take full advantage of it. Throw down a gateway, throw down the upgrade, and throw down another gateway. Uh-oh. 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 I should start making units now. You leave my probes alone! Don't you dare! Alright, cool. We survived. Ain't no big deal. We, we kept our cool. We do need a Citadel of a Dune, though. Get some Zell leg action on. Okay, I think... Still making a couple probes down here. This one should be okay. I want to make forges. I might do double forge. Because double upgrades are awesome. Maybe I'll make an assimilator. Okay, I think we should be okay here. These guys are all in the way. We do have range upgrade. And yeah, we got our macro going. Zealot legs only cost 150, 150. I will take it right now. Ground attack. What's the hotkey? W. What's the armor upgrade? A. Double upgrades for the win. I am going to build a cannon here because my guy's completely out of position to even defend this location. Gotta replenish those probes. Alright, hockey group number one and two. Where? Nice! Alright, this is gonna be a zealot. Do I need I think I need another probe on this gas, huh? That would explain why it's trickling in. And this one could technically use another one, but we should be okay. All right, lots of stuff on the way. I feel like I need another pylon here just to... Yeah, yeah, I just thought about it, okay? I just thought about it and I came to the same conclusion you did that we do require and must construct additional pylons, okay? So just... Just stop. I can upgrade my ship, armor, and weapons, but nope. Oh, zealot legs, yes. Yes. I definitely need a lot of pylons now. And I wonder if they'll let me get the second upgrade. I don't think so. But hey, man, at least I'll be 1-1 one, one really quick. I can get the shield upgrade as well. Should I require it? I never did find exactly what the Zerg has, so... Wait, can I build a robotics? I forgot. No, I can't. Okay. Ground units are definitely better than air units in this game. Man, we mined this out quick. There's only a couple big patches left. Oh, Zella Legs makes me feel like a man. Yes, once these are done. Throw down another gateway. I'm glad I took this base really quickly. All right, so as soon as 1-1 one, one is done, I think that's when I'm going to attack. I should have a couple hockey groups by then. My lie for ire. What? Attack! Don't you dare kill my zealot. He's got legs, man. He can get out of there. All right, I have two full hockey groups now. Which means moving on to number three. Okay, we are almost ready to move out. I love how so far all these missions have been destroy the Zerg base. Let's see, do I get more upgrades? Nope, the shield. I'm gonna do it anyway. Alright, so the upgrades are done. Which means we are moving out. And production's in full swing. Should probably power these a little bit better. And I'm gonna build a cannon right here, just in case. Hopefully it'll help out a little bit. 
All right, where's this ramp at? There's got to be a ramp somewhere so I can't make shuttles. There it is. All right, show me what you got. Oh, that's good versus scouts. Oh, I hear a lot of dying zealots. That's a lot of dying zealots. They do have quite a bit of stuff, and not that bad of upgrades either. All right, thankfully we're doing okay. We're still pushing in. We're staying strong. I am definitely losing stuff at an alarming rate, but hey, man, a reinforcement is on the way, so something to feel good about. Ah, greater spire, huh? Trying to go for some brood lords. Yeah, eat it, Mutalisk. Oh, Scout's so good versus Mutas. I have like nothing left. I only have one hockey for Mutas left. That freaking spine crawler just owned me. Wait, what is this? Are they actually helping each other? This can't be. All right, we got a hold position right here. We are not moving until this this Zerg hive is dead. What? Oh, I really hope this cannon can hold. I really hope that cannon can hold. Okay, he should be okay. We're gonna make another one just to be safe. All right, come on, kill the hive. Kill the hive. All right, there we go. All right, Hive is dead. We can feel good about that. Kill off this sunken colony. All right, you guys kill some overlords or something. All right, also kill off this so the creep starts to recede. Matt, if you don't stay on top of production, you, you have so much money just sitting around. Alright, so we killed the Zerg. Uh, the red Zerg, at least. Now we have to kill off the white Zerg, I think it is. But I'm going to send a probe up here anyways to expand, just in case. Alright, anything left in this stupid Zerg base? Oh, it's up here. More Zerg, I bet. Let's see if there's anything down here. Just to, to fully scout the map, because why not? Uh, there is indeed nothing down there, so you guys come up here. Alright, I definitely need some zealots for, for some beach shields. What's this? This is gonna take a while to recede, oh my goodness. Any gas up here? I don't think so. Alright, well, I guess I'll build an assimilator. And the Nexus. Alright, let's get these zealots. Okay, so how do I get down here? You guys show me how to get down there. Alright, here we go. A lot of dragoons versus... I don't know what these guys have, but... Hopefully not anti-dragoon. All right, kill this Scourge. Yeah, bait him. Bait him, shoot it. Why are we taking no damage from Scourge? All 
Right, you guys can transfer up here. It should be done by the time you get there. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby, my Protoss macro. That macro, I say as I'm hovering 2200 gas, not that you can really spend it as Protoss at this stage of the game. Because I, I sure as hell am not going to make scouts. Scouts are a joke, even though I love them. They're good versus Mutas, but that is about it. And Overlords. Which is kind of a silly thing to say. Yeah, new expansion. All right, yet another Zerg slaughter is complete. I feel like whoever made this mission was just like, I hate Zerg. So I'm gonna make five missions in a row of just killing of giant Zerg bases. Antioch is under attack by overwhelming Zerg forces. Phoenix! Creator, you must hold your position for as long as possible. Fight on, brave Phoenix. And know that the gods watch over you. Entaro Adun. Oh, well, that's a depressing way to end the mission. Oh, great job. By the way, Phoenix is getting owned. And this guy is consoling him by saying, it's okay. The gods are watching over you. It's going to be fine. Um, all right, so that mission is completed. I forget if I did, I already forget if I did one mission or two in this one. Oh, but let's watch this cinematic. Praetor Phoenix Protoss Temple Grounds in Antioch. Man, those forces are overwhelming. No, Phoenix, I love you. I always wanted to tell you how much I love you. Why would his Psy Blade not work? That's the one part I never understood. The Zerg Hive cluster near the Scion province was destroyed, but the Protoss forces paid a high price for their victory. Praetor Phoenix, here on Steward of the Templar, was killed during the assault. The Conclave convicted, convinced that it is, ah, its stratagems are winning the war against the Zerg, have let down their guard and turned their attention to personal matters. The Judicator Alderis was ordered to find and arrest the wayward Tassadar and bring him to stand trial for his crimes and treason. And now with only a small fleet of protection, Alderis and the Ejector have traveled to the Ashworld of Char, hoping that Tastar is still somewhere to be found. All right, so the hunt for Tassadar. Why, why are we chasing Tassadar? He's such a likable guy. I know that you were reluctant to leave Ire in this dark hour, and that you still grieve for the loss of your comrade, Phoenix. But remember that he lived and died as a Templar. He has reached the Kala's end. There is no greater glory than that. We Judicator are called to look beyond such matters, to ensure the safety and future of our people. It is not the Zerg, but the rogue Tassadar, who represents the greatest threat to us now. If he is allowed to spread the Dark Templar's tainted influence to Ire, all will be lost. We will find him and bring him to judgment. Tassadar claimed that this world was abandoned by the Zerg just prior to the invasion of Ire. Yet I still sense a lingering darkness here. Be prepared for anything, Executor. If there are still Zerg on this world, then they must surely know of our arrival. All right, I, I don't know if I, if I agree to what we're about to do. But, um, I guess we're gonna do it. So here we go. Oh, hi Templar, this is where it gets fun. I don't know which way I'm going, but apparently it's this way. Oh, this guy has 200 energy. 
Sidestorm is so good in StarCraft 1, by the way. Alright, hopefully I'm going the right way. I'm actually not sure about this. I feel like High Templar are way faster in StarCraft 1. Maybe it's just me. But I feel like he is just booking it, man. Yeah, can't outburrow Sidestorm, can you? Alright, actually, this is, I'm taking like a lot of losses here. So I feel like I may be going the incorrect way. Uh, well, spoiler, there is Zerg on this planet. Oh dear. Oh dear, more units. I don't know about this. Hopefully we're finding some reinforcements soon because that's a lot of stuff. Oh my god! I, th I think I'm going to lose right here. I think I actually just lost. Alright, well, lesson learned. Don't go to the left. Alright, maybe... Maybe, uh, well... Okay, bye. <laughs> one Dragoon and one High Templar. The best unit composition I could have ever had. And if a bunch of stuff unburrows, I'm so dead. Alright, well, lesson learned. Don't go left. On games, you usually don't ever go left. That's just kind of a rule. Like, think about Mega Man. Almost always running to the right. Mario, almost always running to the right. Oh, can't go that way. Let's see. Do I think as you do? Because that just ended up killing us all. I, I feel like this High Templar puts too much faith in my abilities. All right. Thing over here. Up, up. I can't kill that, unless I have enough for Sidestorm, which I do! What? No I don't! No I don't! The icon lied, it doesn't gray out if you're low on energy. Alright, well let's try this way. Maybe these guys, maybe these Zerg will be more friendly. I don't think I can actually win with the few remaining units I have left. Like, I think it's actually impossible for me to win right now. But I'm gonna try. I have a plan. I have a plan and I'm gonna stick to it until I die. Alright guys, you're gonna come this way. And we're gonna hope that there's something useful right here. Because surely there will be. Alright, I, I I feel like I'm just gonna have to restart this, and that kind of upsets me. Although I'm gonna I'm gonna hang tight because my guy still has Psy Storm. All right, let's. Oh great, there's nothing up here. How about over here? How about door number five? As doors one through four ended up with a lot of people dying. So let's go see. Oh great. Oh perfect. Fantastic. This is this is taking me places. Okay. Um should I just restart? I, I'm just gonna restart this one. Uh end mission, restart mission. Because I feel like I lost way too much stuff. And I'm gonna go this way this time. Not not that way. Over here. And fortunately dragoons are so freaking fast the zealots don't get up there in time. All right, let's try. Let's try. Do they have units up here? Yes, yes. Attack them down here. Yeah, there we go. I feel pretty good. Only killed four, but that's still pretty good. Okay, there we go. Fight them away from the sunken. And no, no, don't lose high Templar. That was gonna be infuriating. I'm gonna skip this building. I do have enough energy for one more side storm. So what do we have up here? Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Is that what you like? You like that, huh? Okay, I'm feeling I'm feeling better after that humiliating defeat before. I was gonna go ahead and kill this one off. Oh, don't you dare! Okay, I thought you were my high Templar. That was gonna really suck. All right, don't lose any anyone else. Okay. Only one zealot. We're in much better position than we were before. So I think if we go up this way, this this is starting to feel a little bit more well played. 
instead of being at this point with two guys, I have eight guys. So that is that is pretty darn good. Oh, I didn't storm that in the wrong spot. That was an accident. I just got a little bit excited. I, I forget just how good Psy Storm was in StarCraft 1, so you have to be very careful not to storm your own yet. StarCraft 2, you can like dodge really easy, it doesn't do as much damage, the AoE is smaller. You can't stack them. <laughs> they, they've definitely nerfed it since StarCraft 1. Alright, come on, kill Vegeta. High Templar should not be in front. Oh my god, just hit the stupid thing. This is this is ridiculous. No, stupid high ground event. Oh no! That's not good. All right, well he did quite a bit, but I I really hope Tassadar's up here somewhere because we I I'm running out of units again. All right, is there a Tassadar? Has anyone seen it? Oh, oh, what's this? Hey, it's Jim Rayner. Instructions, Aldaris. Executor, how is it that you've come here? I was about to abandon all hope of rescue. I have come to arrest you and bring you home to Aya to stand trial. Arrest me? Aya burns at the touch of the Zerg. And you travel all this way? tesla has got a good me? point. Don't let it get to you, man. This happened to me once. Who is this human, Tassadar? The name's Jim Rayner, pal. And I won't be talked down to by anybody. Nice. Not even a Protoss. Amusing. Tassadar, <laughs> your taste in companions grows ever more inexplicable. Executor, prepare to take Tassadar into Executor, custody. Executor, wait. I do not know what they have told you about me. But what I have done, I have done for Ayer. Help me find Zeratul and his Dark Templar. They alone can defeat the Overmind Cerarites. Once we have won, I shall gladly submit myself to the judgment of the Conclave. Unthinkable. You presume that we would side with the Dark Ones as you have? You have gone quite mad, Tazadar. You shall speak of them with respect, Eldaris. Executor. There is much that I can explain to you. If only you'll help me find Zeratul. Oh, snap. Oh, what's happening? What's... What's happening? Oh, God. Oh, God. What? What am I supposed to do? Do I, do I make units? Do I... I don't know what to do! All right, Jim Rayner, it's up to you to scout. We are under attack. Ah! Right here. This should be good. All right, maybe, maybe we'll scout together. Oh, yeah. I feel like I'm supposed to build Sounds now because fun. they did give me an entire base and all. You have not enough time, and I can make High Templar. Can I make Archons? Yes, oh, I can. I, I, hear you. I can't make an Archon oh, out of Tassadar, obviously. Ready. Okay, so they've obviously put some Utilisks down by the beacon. Go ahead, Commander. But where is the rest of the units? You have not enough minerals. Like, do I need to make a lot of stuff? Is Jim Rayner enough? Because Jim Rayner is pretty awesome. Anytime you're ready. Oh yeah. What's down here? Anything down here? Uh yeah, that's that's a lot of hydras. You have not enough minerals. Okay, how about this way? There's probably guys down here now, huh? Most likely, let's see. Take a little gander. Oh yeah. Well, nothing down there, but they do have the high ground advantage that way, so I need to go this way. Not enough minerals. This is Jimmy. This is Jimmy. Go ahead, Commander. Right go ahead, Commander. All right, so this should be good. I just have to be very ahead, careful. Commander. I have two heroes now, both of them extremely fragile. Alright, anything going on down here I should know about? Oh, Queen? Oh, no, you did. Oh my god, if they do that to one of my heroes, I'm gonna lose. Okay, both of my heroes are alive, but they can't use that on your heroes. 
and you can lose doing that, so... Well, now that I know they have queens that are spawning broodlings, then I guess that that's gonna be it for the hero usage. Does it let me make a robotics yet? Uh, not yet, but I can make Templar Archives. Go ahead, Commander. This oh man, I don't know about this. See, the problem is... Oh dear. Okay, this definitely makes it more of a challenge. But I think I'm just supposed to send them to the beacon, I guess? I'm gonna build a cannon over here. I know this sounds silly, but I need the, I need the queen to be deterred. So we're putting a cannon right there. We're gonna keep making probes. Make them at an alarming rate. Alright, you go up there. I'm just queuing up a bunch of probes because I know I'm going to make them anyway, and I'm not in a big rush to make other stuff. Alright, Zealot. Along on the Cyber Core, almost done. No oh, cancel that Zealot, I don't want to do this. And now I'll make a zealot. Alright, sorry guys, but... Oh, may I help? oh wait, I can do hallucination of Jim Rayner. Oh my god, I'm a genius. I'm a genius. You come down here, guys. See what's up with it. Alright. They are off. Okay, got some zerglings. Run past, run past, run past. That Jim Rayner is apparently stupid. Oh, that is indeed a lot of stuff. Okay. So now we know what's up with that. And basically we just need to make a bunch of units. That's what I that's what I gathered. From that encounter. You guys are you're staying right here. And we do have I could build a nexus right here. That would help a lot. At least with the the mining time, but how much money's here? There is these are pretty heavy mineral patches. Aha, my cannon is paying off! I am gonna make a Nexus though. Right there. It may be silly now, but just you wait. Because it's still gonna be silly later. I think what I'm gonna do is build a I need a citadel of a dune. Because I'm gonna make Archons. These meters are making me nervous. Come on, Nexus, I need you and I need you now. Save for once this finishes, I get High Templar. That cannon almost got owned. So build that. This is going to be primarily for Archon. Size Storm, I might do. I might bring the heroes along. Just, we'll see. I'm undecided. I'm undecided on that one. Alright, this next is almost done. That has me very happy. I don't know if it's actually going to help my income at all, but it's going to make me feel cool. Upgrade so. See, the archive is actually almost done. I'm going to do armor upgrade. Zealot, zealot, zealot. Because this is almost done. Alright, cool. So, this should help with income substantially. I, I don't know if it actually is mathematically, but I definitely have too many probes. So, I don't need to make any more of those. I'm just going to make a bunch of zealots for now. Do they come preloaded with Psy Storm? This guy has Psy Storm. My life for Could research Kaderan Amulet, or however it was they said it. it is not Kaderan, or whatever. I remember that cinematic. Alright, let's send one down here. You guys be hockey here, number two. 
Might actually be able to build another barracks a gateway now that I have that. Oh, I need Zell legs. Ah, gas is so annoying right now. I really want Zell legs. And the fact that I'm researching is going to force me to make more zealots because I'm not going to have any gas. Alright, I think I'm just going to make more cons out of these guys. Alright, Zell legs on the way. Armor upgrade on the way for the zealots. Power overwhelming. Okay, I'm feeling okay. I think. I think we're gonna be able to do this. As long as I'm very, very, very careful. I'm gonna make two more High Templar. Much more zealots, pylons. This upgrade should be done. Yes, yeah, so this should all start to kick in around the same time. What? What? Stupid broodlings. Are you serious? You guys are gonna attack those pylons. No, not the. I just built those. I built these ones up here. Okay, just a bunch more Zelts and we should be good. Upgrade is almost done, Zell Legs is almost done. As soon as this High Templar is done, we are good to go. Upgrade complete. Upgrade complete. Honor guide me. More battle calls. Anytime you're ready. This is Jimmy. Alright, so we're good on those. You require so we need this upgrade. Alright, once this Archon's done, then we are so ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and build a couple extra cannons here just to be safe. Cannon there. Defend the base a little bit. Alright. I don't know what's gonna happen, but it's gotta be ridiculous. I just have the one high Templar for Storm, I think. Or do I have two? No, I have two. No, 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 no. Why are you going that way, guys? Not that way. We are definitely going this way. Okay, I think I sent this guy ahead. Find some hydras. Yeah, storm him! I don't think that actually killed anything, but it did do some damage, so I'm okay with that. There we go. This is Jimmy. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Come on, Archons, kill the Mutas! Archons are so good versus Mutas. I really hope they can't use those broodlings on heroes because if they do, I'm so screwed. Alright, so let's continue up this way. Okay, that's okay. God, that stuff is so annoying. 
Pylon stat. Alright, do we have enough? Yeah, side storm on your hydras. Anytime you're ready. So it doesn't have enough for another storm, that's okay. Alright, I think. I think we've got this as long as I don't get brute linked. I'm gonna. No, I won't save. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. This Archon is a total boss. All right, you guys on the beacon, let's hit this. I hear you. Yes! You have my thanks, Executor. Now let us find Zeratul and speed our way home. I agree, let's do that. Let's stop being whiny little babies all the time. How about that? All right, well, I forget how long this video was because I kept playing levels, but uh, hopefully it wasn't too long. And we are continuing on, so now the search for Zeratul begins, and Zeratul Spoiler alert is totally badass. So make sure to keep watching, guys. We continue through StarCraft 1. We are getting close to the end. We have about five or six more missions to go. Hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys next time. Hello, everyone. This is HDSKSKI here, and it is time. You guessed it. More StarCraft 1. We have really, really pissed off that uh, one big burly dude. And we've really made happy Tassadar. So choosing sides is the name of the next mission. That means we are going to be halfway through the Protoss campaign, which means we are like 70% of the way done with StarCraft 1 choosing sides. Protoss command ship Gantrithor, low orbit over the planet Char. Executor, by following Tassadar and attempting to rescue the Dark Templar, you have openly defied the will of the Conclave. Abandon this mad scheme now, and the Conclave may show you mercy. Don't let him control you, Executor. The Judicator have long since steered the actions of the Templar to their own ends. It's time we acted of our own accord. Ah, Tassadar, have you fallen so far? To think that you were our brightest hope, our most beloved son. Now you are everything that we are not. You are lost to us. Not only have you damned yourself, but you have damned those who have followed you. Such is the price for our race's salvation, Judicator. I have been here with the Dark Templar these last few months. While I helped them in their fight against the Zerg, I learned many of their secrets from the Prelate, the Zeratul. Apparently, the energies which empower the Dark Templar also course through the Overmind and its Cerebrates. The same Cerebrates which you told us to destroy. Your advice was useless, for the creature was reincarnated before our eyes. Unfortunately, yes. Your attack on the Cerebrate failed because the energies that you wield are useless when used directly against the Overmind and its Cerebrates. Only the Dark Templar's power can truly harm the Zerg. That is why we must rescue Zeratul and return him to Ire. You were warned, Executor. The Conclave will not be pleased. Oh, the Conclave will not be pleased. Oh, the Conclave this. Oh, I'm gonna tell the Conclave. It's like, shut up. Shut up with your stupid Conclave. Nobody cares. I hear you. All right, so mission objectives are bring Tassadar and two Zealots to the installation entrance. Man, Zealots are involved in a quest. That's that's a first. Okay, so we have to make it all the way down here. Oh, look at that. It's Vault 13 at good old Fallout. All right, so I guess we got to get our macro going. They don't give us a lot of resources, which tells me I don't need a massive army, but who knows? Who knows, man? This could actually be a really hard mission. I hear you. Uh, shuttles are so slow. I almost feel like I need. A sh I should set you to patrol. Oh, you're so slow. Like, why are you so slow? You're like slower than an overlord. Maybe you are an overlord. This shuttle's a spy. All right, I'm gonna scout around with this guy. See what's going on. So far, not a lot. All right, so there's our gas. 3,500 inside that one. And since we're supposed to be moving to the bottom right, I want to see if there's anything up here at all. 
There's an island expo, something I should be knowing about. Oh, well, there's the expo, I guess. There's a the little island. And, yep, nothing over here. They always have expansions hidden somewhere. It's very important to scout around if you don't have the entire campaign memorized, which some of you do, which is fine. Hey! Hero! Any gas? Yes! Oh, I'm so expanding here after these pros are done. Watch out, cowboy. I'm coming through. Why, why would I say cowboy? All right. I am so building an expansion right away because I need that money. Give me that money. I'm going to put my nexus right here. As close to the minerals, but still relatively close to gas. Come on. Come on. There we go. Right there. How about that? Oh, that feels good. That feels good. Okay. So, shuttle. You've done done well shuttle this guy should definitely come back in mind though you have not enough what yes I do you're being ridiculous is this an island I think this whole thing is an island actually I can check over here but I'm pretty sure we are indeed on an island yes executor so I'm wondering if the Zerg do have drop capabilities Yep, it's an island. I'm gonna scout up here because I haven't scouted that completely. Right, this is almost done. I'm gonna need a lot of probes for this gas. Which means just make more probes, obviously. You are gonna need to make a pylon. Yeah, yeah, it's on the way. Don't get stuck, don't get stuck. Okay. Phew. What? Oh. Oh! No! No! Oh, that's so sad. I'm really sad about that. I hope I can make more. I can. Alright, that was really sad, actually. Do I have the ability to make observers? No. No, I don't. How do I know that? Because there's no observatory. Which is a building you have to make to make observers because Blizzard says so. Alright, you guys come over here. You're gonna build an assimilator. I wish I could make carriers, but I don't think I can make those either. Yep, no carriers. How's this gas situation looking? Put one more in there. Alright, well, if anything else, let's build the cyber core so we'll get that going. You guys should be good after this probe spawns. I should actually transfer some over, huh? Right, you guys go down there. You guys come over here. We definitely need more probes. Okay, so I have a lot of gas on the way. What is this? What is this? Oh, gosh darn it. Those things just ran out there, didn't they? Alright, where are they at? Thankfully, I intercepted their fancy drop. No! Quick, transfer away. Must save base. Alright, there we go. Alright, you guys can go back. It's okay. It's okay. Come back. Alright, so this mission is definitely going to be interesting. So I'm going to build Double Forge once again. I hear you, of course. Tassar does 20 damage, that's not bad for a High Templar. Alright, so I'm going to cannon up one of the bases and then defend the other one with units. So I think I'm going to cannon this expansion. Which means I need a pylon right about there. I kind of like this mission. They give you a natural to take right away. They they put you on an island. Are right, we starting the upgrades? Uh oh, how many different colors Zerg are there? Is this pylon done yet? Almost. The fact that I hear overlords dropping units gets me a little bit nervous. 
Alright, so you guys build a cannon, build a second cannon, and go back to work. Don't worry. Oh! Alright, kill that stupid Zergling. Come on, kill. You're supposed to. Urgh, you guys are so stupid! You stupid, stupid probes. Wait, did they kill one of my cannons? What the hell? Come on. Come on, probe. Come on! Alright, that cannon's done, so you guys should be safe now. Now, I need to start building a robotics. I need to build a Citadel of a Dune. Now, let's make it right there. I also need to build more gateways. And I also need to work on the High Templar because apparently I have a lot of extra gas. Which is fine. One good thing about Protoss is you can always dump that extra gas. Okay, I think I need one more gateway. I need this right there. Observers, observers? Ah. I definitely need at least one shuttle though. Because otherwise we're going nowhere fast. What upgrade? I don't know what upgrade we're talking about, but okay. All right, it's soon gotta be Templar time. For now, it'll make some reviews. Do you have a shuttle on the way? Of course. Okay, I think, I think we're on track. I'm like 50% sure we're doing okay. Woo, Templar baby! You are gonna be Archons. I could also upgrade shuttle speed and make them Reavers. I think Tasks are stuck in here now. Uh, no, he's still, he's still mingling. Uh, we have crazy upgrades. Our income's looking good. We have a lot of money stockpiled. Um, I might as well make more shuttles, I guess. Shuttle speed, shuttle speed, shuttle speed. Cost 200, 200, but it's totally worth it. Alright, where my High Templar at? Come in, Archon! Come on! Come on! Alright, fine, you two become an Archon. Why is this so difficult? Wait, are you guys stuck back here? I mean, he's not stuck, but... I feel like these other guys might be. I should be upgrading shields, actually. But, whatever. Yes! Now we're talking. Are you guys stuck back here? Are you seriously stuck? You are stuck, aren't you? Oh, no you're not. You guys are just being stupid. Shuttle speed is almost done. Is almost done. What more pylons? Shut up. I don't want no pylons. Oh, don't get me stuck in there. Come on, probe. You can make it through there. All right. Let's, we got. We got to be really organized if you want to build this space. What? We're like size storm, baby. All right, you guys become archons because I said so. Okay. I think we're gonna be okay. Do I have shell speed now? Not yet. All right. See how slow they go now. Just you wait. Just you wait. Upgrade complete. Yes. Oh, they're so much faster. They control so much better. Unfortunately, I still don't know where I'm supposed to go with all these awesome units that I have now. Okay, we're, we're going to be really stupid right now. 
going to scout with our speed shuttle. Try and find a safe place, place to drop. Safe place. Oh, this is why I said I was stupid. Oh, my God. Oh, where's my other Archon? Uh, made another Archon, right? Oh, you know, he's out taking a walk on the beach. Okay, so we're gonna go claim this little island over here. Make zelts while I recharge my... All right, you guys get close together. Come on. All right, the hotkey for unloading is you, so go right there and fly away. Unload, unload, unload! Oh my god, they still killed the shuttle. Why? The AI in StarCraft 1 is hilarious. I mean, honestly, that's like the smart thing to do, but... Okay, so we took this island, so that's good. What? What? Where? Okay. You zealots unload. We gotta take the much more important archons. Where are my shuttles at? There's another shuttle. You come down here. Grab these guys. Where's my other shuttle? Oh, that's this guy I just made. I need more. Need more shuttles. I also need more pylons. Okay, so I'm making those. You're full, you're full, you are not full, so you go in there. Alright, so we're gonna move out once again. Although this shuttle, yeah, I guess. Alright, so stay focused. How about, no, don't wanna go over there. Oh, don't want to go over there. Get out of here. Man, they are total jerks. Like, are they wanting me to make scouts? Is that what the secret is here? Okay, I really do not want to lose these. This is so much money riding on the line. Yep, I can't go that way. Is there anywhere I can safely unload? Not really. I, mean, I guess I can make some scouts, it's just they're so bad that... I don't even want to make any more ground units because I can't do anything with them. Alright, let's try this. Oh, can't go over there. Oh great, I got a mutalisk following me, perfect. Anything up here, anywhere I can go? Oh, wait. Wait. Ah! Oh, yeah. Top three shuttle control, baby. Nope. Nope. Oh, my God. This is... This is making me nervous. I'm going to save. I'm... I'll just save it over this one, even though I'm not playing with Kerrigan. Okay, I'm just going to keep making shuttles. I think that's what it's going to take. Because I might actually be able to sneak my way all the way around. Alright, so far so good. What is this? Is this is this the weak spot right here? Sort of. Ow, ow. Where can I keep? Let's find out. Nope, nope, nope. Alright, what have we got going on right here? Making me nervous. Okay, so so far, I guess I took the extremely long way, but I think I'm just gonna make scouts. Screw it, I'm going scouts. Three Stargate scouts coming right up. No, four Stargate scouts. Coming right up. Okay, so I think. Can I come down here? Oh, is this the weakness? Oh, no weakness here. There's a lot of guardians randomly positioned. Okay, so we scouted the entire base. It does appear like there is spore colonies everywhere. 
Might not be one up here. I doubt it. So we definitely have to ignore the other bases. I think that that's, that's key. Nope. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Okay, I think I think our point of entry is going to be right here. Yes, scouts. Scout. Scout. Apparently I need even more pylons. Yeah, I should have just gotten scout shuttle. That's what all the cool people are doing. Alright, some of you guys need to come up here. Well, I am running out of money. So... Definitely have to watch out for that. Alright, this, this is going to be the most... Oh, dear. No. No, can we unload here? A zealot! There we go. There we go. Okay. There is no way they're taking this island. Apparently this one Hydra has found a way into our base. Alright, yeah, you can puke your little green stuff on us all you want. But you are not taking our island. Alright. Scout production is full swing. Okay. We're gonna keep those guys alive. You guys, all these High Templar, come up here. We need to have a High Templar meeting. Zealots are invited as well. Okay, so we've got the scouts. Archon, Archon, Archon. Archon with you. You and you become an Archon. Alright, so let's do two Dragoons in there. You two get in there. You two get in there. All you guys get back here, stupid shuttles. Alright, so this is going to be This is going to be an awesome escort service No, not the kind you see in the news Okay So all you guys Come this way Come with me if you want to live Or die, I don't actually know Which one of those things is going to happen I should be researching armor What am I doing? Uh oh no! Oh, he still landed. Yeah! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So you're control group one. You're control group two. I should bring these guys down too. This is gonna be awesome. What's this? I don't know what you guys are shooting at, but good job. Okay, so our point of entry, let's do this one. Alright, you guys, come unload. Unload! Unload! Kill the guardians, quick! You're definitely good at killing guardians, I will give them that. Alright, you back up. Two, you shuttles get out of here. Oh my god, this is actually working. This master plan is working. No, oh, Scourge! Kill the overlords just because it's fun. Yes. Alright, Tassadar. Now's your time to shine. All you other guys, get in these shuttles. Oh, oh no! Oh! Don't you dare! Don't! Oh my God! Oh, thank goodness! Almost lost Tassadar right there. 
All right, anyone empty? Good enough. Where's my escorts? All right, keep an eye on them. Keep an eye on them. What? What? This is General Edmund Duke I'm already stressed out enough. Dominion Armada. You are in violation of our airspace. Oh, shut up. And have endangered human lives in your reckless attack against the Zerg. I order you to withdraw your ships immediately. If you fail to comply, I will not hesitate to open fire upon your vessels. General Duke, I am Tassadar, and you are well known to me. Whatever leniency I extended to you and your comrades before may have been in error. If you persist in halting our course, we will burn your pathetic fleet down to the last man. I'm gonna have to assume that was a hostile response. Yeah, I feel like the protest just sounds so much cooler when they're like insulting you. They are like so classy about it. All right, so we are gonna unload all these guys right here. I guess we'll leave the Zelda up here sending them to the quest. Okay, so should be able to kill this stuff off. Oh my goodness, he wasn't joking! He is definitely attacking me right now. How about you attack something useful? Oh my god, it's a battle cruiser! Right right when I left my base. This is what happens. What are you guys doing? Watching the base die? Okay, this, this mission is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Alright, so scouts chill out over here. I think we can clear it out. Everything, it looks like? Okay. I'm not mining poop for gas, but... I guess I'll you guys go get in there, make sure that's fully efficient. Alright, so there's the entrance. Oh, scouts are so fun. Ah, I've taken control. Oh no, he's actually making infested Terrans. Those things do so much damage. If that thing spawns, it will kill my Archons. Okay, I think I've got this now. All right, Tassadar, here we go. You can do it. You can do it. Alright, I think this mission is actually going to be over here. I think I got it. Yes! Oh, this mission is so stressful. It's like, okay, avoid all the islands, avoid all the scourge. By the way, we're going to randomly kill some of your shuttles. And then the Terran are going to attack you. Then the two Zerg are going to attack you. Have fun. Okay. So that is that, and uh, that mission was a ton of fun, 24 minutes to finish that one, but a ton of fun on that one. Just uh, build on the low ground, don't build to the main base like me, that was kind of stupid. So that mission, I would say one of the hardest ones yet, just because you actually have, have to think about it, you can't just mass any unit on that map to completely win. Um, scouts did okay, definitely take the expansion really soon, you are on an island, so remember that. And build lots of shuttles, have some fun, hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys next time! Hello everyone, this is HDSKSKI here, and I am back with some more StarCraft 1 campaign action. I'm going to get this started right away. We are on mission number 6, Into the Darkness, but we also have unlocked the cinematic, so let's go ahead and check that cinematic out right now. Wastelands, Terran Dominion, Border World, Char, Dominion Base Camp, Reconnaissance Detachment. Hmm. SCV, good to go, sir. Actually, he's more of a sensor tower. With his pretty sweet mustache. Oh, oh God. Oh. What? Huh? 
Oh, giant mechanical walking spider. This seems pretty normal. Nothing too crazy here. Check it out again. Just make this guy is the worst scout ever. He's like, oh, there's a thing marching towards us. I better. Hey, Sergeant! Sarge! Keep looking hey. at Hey! You will immediately tell me why you have called me from my desk, Private! Protoss unit, Sarge! Coming through the South Pass! It looks broke! Kill it! That's gotta be the guy who does the siege tank voice acting. What, what unit is this? This is not in the game. Oh my god, it's got a saw in the front of it. I can't remember if I watched that cinematic the last time I played, because it's been about a week since I've actually played Into the Darkness Protect Matchup. Ganthra Thor Terpeter. Executor, I sense that Zeratul and his brethren are close by, but I have been unable to make contact with them. I fear they may be in grave danger. We must scour this area immediately and find the Dark Templar, lest they be overcome by the Zerg. Oh, that was it. That was a quick briefing. I'm all, I'm all getting comfy, ready for a longer briefing. Oh, this is one of these missions. Your will. All right, all right. Let's see. So. Yes, Your will. See, I get Psy Storm and Hallucination. Yes, executor. Oh, and Zell legs, baby. Of course. Apparently, my mini map was turned off. Totally of course. All right, so I guess we're going through this. Oh, he has an attack too. I was yes, not expecting executor. that. And he also does a lot of damage. Terracala! I must have a mass upgrade. Yeah, I do. Three, three. Oh, that's a lot of dead marines. I was really hoping I was going to get a size storm close, but... You know what they say. Of course. I actually have nothing. Oh! Oh! I do not remember this mission at all. To be honest, I don't remember a mission where I get greens and these units. Pretty awesome, if you ask me. Alright, so maybe I'll get control of some Zergius too. Oh! Sup, son? Please feel free to join. Anyone else in here want to join? What's this? Oh! No! An infested Terran out of nowhere actually managing to almost kill my Tassadar. That would have been so sad. Oh my gosh, I might have to redo this mission. That was that guy was out of nowhere. Hey, don't let the don't let the Zergs in here. Alright, well. Come on, let me take take control of this. Oh dear. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! No! No, my Tassadar has 80 hit points, and now no allies. I do not remember this mission at all. Like, at all. I don't. I can't remember the last time I played this because it is not familiar to me. All right. Well, hopefully there is more Marines over here or something for me to take control of. God, those freaking High Templar. Or not High Templar, but the uh, infested Terrans. They're so good. They do 500 damage. So one more of those, and it's definitely. It's definitely it for me. Of course. So we'll see. It shall be Maybe done. I should do. Oh, I can't do hallucination because I don't have any other units. So I would just be hallucinating myself. I feel like I'm on a Star Wars ship. 
The giant drop down thing. Alright, well, I'm gonna scout around here. Oh, leave me alone. Oh, dear. Come on, please kill him. Alright, well, I was hoping for more allies, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I just gotta run past this trap door. Yeah, I don't even think about it. I, I really don't know about this. I may have to redo this mission. I can't believe the infested Terrence. Oh, that's just it. That, that's just it. This is it. And good night. All right, I don't think there was anything up here, so I'm not going to go that way. All right, we'll try it again. <sighs> I swear, they make the Protoss missions so much harder, because it's like, hey, here's a hero unit who's going to die in one hit to everything. So we'll, we'll try this again. This time, let's do Hallucination on the Zealots. There we go. Ah, they even have Zealot legs. Very nice. Very nice. Zerg has no idea which one's real. This makes my job a little bit easier. Alright, go kill that guy. Hey, don't, don't attack the real ones. There we go. Attack the fake ones, even though they have less HP, it's fine. At least I'm not taking a million damage this time. That was so ridiculous. I can't believe they gave him Infested Terrence. Really? Really, Blizzard? Just busting my balls. Okay, so... Let's keep going down here. And I think there are some Marines up here, so we're going to grab these guys. Only if you don't die to Infested Terrans. Okay? That's... That's the rule. Okay, so I'm going to leave this guy over here. We'll see if this works a little bit better. Oh, I think it... I think it did work, actually. Just in case, I'm gonna leave this guy back here. Yes, Executor. You are my official of course. stop the infested Terran guy. Of course. All right, more Marines. Shall we take so far, so For good. Hopefully this done. thing doesn't spawn randomly and kill me like it did last time. Yes, Executor. Okay, so this guy, you're gonna stim and run up here, apparently using all of his HP. Alright, where's that infested Terran? Go, go, go. Where's that infested roll. Terran at? I know go, you're here go, somewhere. Yes, executor. Okay, let's see. You're I feel like I should hallucinate more of these zealots. There you go. Yeah, yeah, attack these zealots right here. Okay, kill the, kill the big ones. Nice! Nice, I'm so saving. I am so saving. I'm just overriding that one because... You know, it's kind of the same idea. Yes, Kerrigan, don't die. Tassadar, don't die. Okay, so we went that way before, and that was just a bunch of stupidness. So now we're going to try going this way. And hopefully it's less stupidness. What? No! No! Yes! Nice! You guys killed it! Quickly enough. Alright, I'm going to use hallucination again on the zealots. They have proven to be pretty awesome. Plus, you don't get to see hallucination used nearly enough. It's such a good spell, but so difficult to pull off. All right, hallucinate zealots, lead the way. I feel like this is gonna be the right way, though. Can I, can I just say that this usually you work towards the opposite side of the map? We'll see. Oh yes, yes. Oh dear. Oh, not enough energy. Sorry, guys, I can't storm. Oh, my fake zealots are taking care of it. Oh, more stuff is down here. Oh, it's still going. How would you stop getting stuck and actually help fight? All right, so far so good. I, I feel like we're doing okay. Oh my goodness, the army continues here. Okay, so we did clean that one out. I'm guessing we go, or is this another dead end? Are you, are you serious? Was this really a dead end? Man, Blizzard's trolling me like crazy on this one. Like, where the hell do I go? I guess we'll go this way now. This is actually kind of a little bit of a maze. I didn't think they would do this to me, but they did indeed. All right, kill us through a trap door. I would love to have missile turrets in my house. I just would like to say that. Okay, kill it. Nice. Just lost the Zelda. That's okay. That means we're still doing okay, although I can't hallucinate the Zelda anymore. Oh, kill it, kill it, kill it! Ah! Gosh darn it. Okay. You, Marine. You got this. Ah. He, he fought valiantly. 
Hopefully there's more reinforcements over here because I was doing okay and then the Infested Terran killed me. So, really, Marine, where are you going? Get back over here. God, I gotta babysit these guys. This is why you don't make an army out of convicts. I, I just wanna say that. All right, so, oh, I guess kill this. This door is locked, are you kidding me? You're kidding me, right? Like, that's a joke? Like, Blizzard is, that's a joke, right? <sighs> All right, we're going up this way. Everything else has been a complete dead end. So this is a locked door. The only other way is up here, but we didn't find anything up there, so that just leaves this. How may I help? And hopefully it is the right way. Will. And Tassadar, well, he does do 23 damage. I don't, I think he definitely needs these Marines to help him out. Plus he moves slow you. like an old man. It always reminds me of those, uh, you guys remember, oh, oh great, just perfect, perfect, great, losing more and more of my marines, awesome. Oh great, great, lost another one. So now I'm down to three, hopefully there's more reinforcements up here. If not, then I learned that I can't actually fight anything on this game. Oh god, oh god, oh, no, you son of a, ah! Oh my god, oh my god, I'm gonna, just vomit blood. Oh, great. Look. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Wonderful. All right. Let's try it. This is like the hardest mission ever. Thankfully, I kind of saved a little bit here. So, although not very far into the game. Not, not as far in as I thought it would be. Okay. So, let's see. I want to try going this way. Hallucinate on the zealots. Just because they move so quickly. And then, if we go... Oh god. Oh, kill it, kill it, kill it. Alright, I think that was mostly... Mostly hallucinations. Okay, so this time we're gonna try going the other way. Just to see what's up here. Just to see. Okay, if I send this guy up here. Hopefully he can kill the infested Terran. Come on, where are you guys at? I know you guys are up here. Hello? Okay, well apparently that doesn't work. They're just gonna troll me again. I know exactly what's gonna happen. Yes, executor. I know what's gonna happen. For Adun, All right, here we go. Nope, 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 nope. Oh my God, are you serious? Yes, swarm them. Gosh darn it, everything died. All right, well at least I'm gonna see what's up here. I hope. Oh great. Oh great. Come on, Zealot. Oh, Juked! Juked! Oh, well, it was Juked. All right, and then there was one again. Perfect. It shall be done. All right, so let's see what's down here. It shall be done. For Adun. This mission is so hard. Why? I, I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Like whatever whatever my game plan is is just not not quite panning out how I would hope. Oh great, more hydras. And I don't have enough energy for that. Perfect. I think I'm going to lose this guy. Uh, come on, Tassadar. You can fight three Hydralisks. Alright, well, I guess we'll see what's up here. No, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? And I'm missing because I did not hit that stupid guy once. Oh my god. I'm about, I'm about to just bleed out. I'm about to bleed out of the eyes right now. Okay, I don't even think I can make it up that hill. Of course. I, I just gotta restart this again. Alright, let's try this again. This is this is the you most frustrating will. mission in all of StarCraft 1. Yes, so we're gonna come down this way. I hear you. How may I help? And I need to not of take course. damage from the freaking infested Terran. What? No, don't you do it! Okay. I was at least able to kill those off. Swarm those guys to kill them quickly. Alright, I'm saving. Oops, save game. Die two. Okay. I think if I could use this weakened zealot to rush up, then we should be okay. Alright, you buddy, you've got this. Or maybe I have to actually send a marine up here. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe the marine is the one that triggers it. Or, or I can be super fancy. Oh, bait this guy. Come on, Zealot, you've got, oh my god, he's so fast. Keep going, Zealot. You've got this, run the marathon. Oh, you got him trapped. Good work, oh, he's still chasing me, though. Uh oh, dead end. I went the wrong way. 
Oh, here we go. Here comes the juke. Oh, no, he reset. Yes! Okay. I'm okay with this. Now I can rush up past these guys up here. Okay, there's a trap. Activate it! Activate it! Yes! Oh my god, that actually worked! I can't... I can't believe that actually worked. That zealot is a hero. He is gonna come back as a dragoon later in life. Just, just thank you so much for that. Okay, just ignore it, just ignore it. Run past, run past. Keep running, keep running. To be honest, those missiles do like no damage. Okay, so you zealot fight right there. Just get rid of it, because that's the only thing that can stop me now. Of course. Look at me now. Okay, so I think we're on the right track. Of course. Oh, no, 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 no! Over here! Ah! Gosh darn it! Of course. I was hoping to have that not happen. I hear you. Because every marine is super important. How may I help? Getting close though. For Adun. How may I help? Is there anything down here that's gonna totally dig me over? Your will. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. So here's the game plan. You guys spread out. And we are going to side storm them like crazy. Alright, side storm right there. Nice. Oh, they didn't even attack me. What? What? Best strategy ever. Okay, well, these ones I'll have to actually fight. That's okay. Okay, I'm gonna save again as number three. Because seriously, this is you. the hardest mission ever. It shall be done. Okay. Care oh, oh, who's this? Are you guys yes, gonna be on my team or do I have to kill you too? For Your will. Wait, are you serious? This is not a dead end, is it? Okay. We'll see. I yes, if this is a dead end, I'm here. seriously gonna be so pissed. Call the shot. Tell me I help. Of course. Okay, I think For I'm headed Adul. the right way though. Oh god. Oh god. You! Cloak! You! Si oh, I don't have any energy! It's all up to you, Firebats! Oh god. Oh god. No! <laughs> Wait, what just killed all that? I don't even know how that happened, but. Alright, we're just running for it. We're just going for it. My ghost. Try and keep these guys off me. Oh, please don't be a bit dead end. You are a dead end! Uh, blizzard! Uh, oh my god. Oh. I, I'm i so mad right now. I am so beyond mad right now. Okay, so apparently when you load the game, this guy has no energy whatsoever. So we, we really have to actually just sit back. We have to sit back and wait for him to regenerate. Because there's no way I can do that without a storm. I mean, I'm going to be honest. There is no way to do that without a storm. So we kind of have to just wait here. And how are you supposed to... Like, is the idea to run a zealot up here to this? Because i that's the only way I can figure out how to do it. I, don't, I, I feel like I'm playing this mission wrong. Maybe maybe oh, they, they want you to do to be more strategic about it. And I'm just not you very strategic. Okay, so I should have enough energy here in just a moment. Currently at 61. Psy Storm should be I'm enough. Here. Ghost does have full energy, so I'll be able to cloak him right away. Want to turn up the heat? Want to turn up the heat? You got my attention. Naturally. I, I feel Swim. like, I feel like the Firebat is the best wingman ever. Like, like if you're at a bar, just just listen to the stuff he says. You got my attention. Like, you can say that to a girl, just be like, you got my attention. Fire it up. Fire it up. Definitely would good for yes. girls. Yes. Yes, that's good. You got my attention. Is something burning? Nice. <laughs> That's what I thought. Nice. I love the smell of napalm. Yeah, not so nice. Nothing like a good smoke. Are you trying to get invited to my next barbecue? Ah, asking her on a date. Got any questions about propane? Oh, you blizzard. Or propane accessories? Oh, blizzard. Yes. I Reference to a King of the Hill. Okay. How may I help? So we are gonna try this. Options. Save game. Number three, okay. So you are gonna cloak right away. Firebats in front. Firebats in front, I said. Alright, here we go. 
I hear you. Your will. Alright, here we go. Yes! Oh, watch out for that guy. Watch out for the offensive Terran. Oh my god, are you serious? Oh my god, I... If this doesn't actually work out, I think I'm just gonna quit playing video games for the rest of my life. Although my ghost is still alive, so we can come out here and scout what's up. Alright, you stay back there so you have enough energy for that. Never know what hit him. Never know what hit him. Alright, so this is... Okay, so these are the pins they were in. Never know what hit I believe. This door is locked. Perfect. Oh. What? What? No! Oh. <laughs> Blizzard, you are trolling me so hard right now. Like, actually... I, I know they're at their headquarters right now being like, Oh, I can't wait till Husky gets to the mission. Naturally. Okay, let's try. Let's try if I send this guy in cloak. Let's just let's just see what happens. Maybe maybe there's some trick to this uh, actually making it work. Hopefully this cloaked guy doesn't deactivate. Oh, oh, he did. All right, ghost. Well, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is not what I wanted to have happen. All right, we'll see. Okay, that was that was pretty successful. Uh oh, go over there. Detonate. Kill this guy. Nice. Come on, you guys can do it. I have a couple Marines left. Come on, help out in the fight. Come on. Okay, for some reason they have two armor upgrades. I don't understand that. This door's locked, but we're gonna keep going over here. I'm gone. Oh my God, they just killed that again. What? How can you even detect me? Ow! Are you serious? Oh my god. Alright, well, now we... Oh no. Oh no. Please don't. Okay, actually, I can fight this guy straight up. Because I have a lot of... What? Where are you guys coming from? I think this is actually really bad. Is that going to kill him? No, it's not. Of course not. I swear, if it keeps spawning these guys, I'm going to be very, very upset. All right, Tassadar, let's do this. You're all alone. You've lost about 50 people under your command, but you have 25 kills because that's how awesome you are. And come on, what's with that pathing, buddy? Come on, down here. Be careful. Watch out for those stupid freaking turrets. All right, so we know where the turrets are, so I think if I come in at a different angle, hopefully there's none down here, which there probably will be. And they're probably going to shred Tarakala. me to pieces, but that's okay. Of course there is. No, kill that. Come down here, come down here, come down here. Oh, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Alright, we're sneaking. We're sneaking. Come around over here to unlock the gates. No, 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 no! Okay, I saw something on the mini-map. Of course. And if we are very Four careful, of course. we might actually be able to beat this mission, which was surprisingly difficult. I don't know how I ever beat this as a kid. Probably using the cheat code to skip the level. Of course. Oh, please be in here. Please be in here. It shall be done. Please, yes! Yes! Greetings, Dark One. I have come to bring you home. Greetings to you, mighty Tazadar. Oh, I knew that you would not forsake us. For in the time that you have spent with us, you have learned to value our ways and our methods. You have learned to channel our dark power as well as that of your masters. And thus you alone have found completeness beyond the scope of the color. But... I fear that the Conclave, in its pride, could never bring itself to welcome outcasts such as we. Outcasts though you may be, it is your vision and courage that may yet save our homeworld from the swarm. I beg of you, Zeratul, return with us to Ayr. Though they are petty and have in ignorance cursed your kind for generations, help me save our people. Since our banishment long ago, 
We have never failed in our responsibility to Ayo. Though it shall cause us great pain to see our homeland once more. We shall return with you, Tassadar. We will do what we can. Zerachul is a badass. Tassadar was really smart to go find him. And, oh my god, it says it only took 10 minutes, but we all know that's a bunch of poppycock because we died like 800 times. So I had planned to play more than one mission in this video, but you know what? That mission was so hard, it gets its own video so everyone can know the agonizing pain of that mission. Or maybe I'm just really bad at video games. I don't know. Either way, hope you guys enjoy it because I sure didn't. And of course, I'll see you guys next time. Seriously, screw that level. Hello everyone, this is HDSKSKI here, and I am back with some more StarCraft 1 campaign playthrough. That last mission was a total biatch. So if you didn't if you didn't watch that last video, you should check it out just for epic lols. Because uh, I, I was quite frustrated. So we are moving on up to the mission homeland. Protoss Command Ship Gantrithor holding over to Ryer. Greetings, executor, and greetings to you, Tassadar. I am overjoyed to see you both return home in this dark hour. The Zerg have redoubled their efforts, and it Phoenix. seems... It can't be. The Executor told me of how you fell before the Zerg. How is it that you live and breathe? <laughs> well, after my unfortunate defeat, my ruined body was recovered by our brethren. I now reside within the cold robotic shell of a Dragoon. Yeah! Would that this never came to pass. Nonsense! There is no shame in defeat, so long as the spirit is unconquered, and I am still able to serve Aya to a degree. But enough of this. Man, his face is not messing around. To know. You have been branded as traitors by Alderis and the Conclave. Even now they seek to arrest you and execute the Dark Templar, Zeratul. I never believed that they would go so far. In the face of total annihilation, they still cling to their failing traditions. Yes, and that makes them all the more dangerous. Oh, they snap. They you even now, Tassadar. And though I damn myself by doing so, I shall stand by you to the end. And Tarawadu, noble phoenix. Executor, it seems that if our world is to live, we must protect the Dark Templar. Oh, we got some PvP brethren. action. Although it pains me greatly. Not even the conclave shall stand in our way. All right, time to kill this stupid conclave. Executor, you oh and God. the traitor Tassadar are to cease your resistance and surrender yourselves to the judgment of the conclave. We will take the outlaw Zeratul into custody and deal with him as is written by the Kala's law. Flee back to your masters, Aldaris, and huddle with them in darkness. For your actions shall send us all unto the Zerg. Oh my guess. Oh dear. Uh. Uh. Well, I'm just assuming they don't have any detection right now because otherwise this would be quite troublesome. So High Templar's gonna go back here, but I am gonna kill off all these Tribunes. Oh, they just got an observer. Time to go. Okay, bye. Should probably also make some workers. Man, they give you a lot of money on this one. Crazy. All you can build is scouts, though. Still no carriers. Okay, so. Oh, there's Phoenix up there, just chilling. Chilling like a villain. I wonder if I should make another Nexus. Oh, it's tempting. Oh, how it is tempting. Lots of upgrades over here. Let's get all these going on. Because I'm definitely going to need all those in a little bit. Okay, so I guess we're just going to be building a macro here for a little bit. And they actually put the minerals in a nice location for me. I'm going to go ahead and make another Nexus just because. Because I feel so go-su when I do that. Alright, so Observer is going to be scouting out around for me. I want to see exactly what's going on in this mission. I might get Zelt Lake right away just because that upgrade's always good in every matchup. There's too many entrances to cover with just units, so I'm going to sit back here. Hopefully this cannon will hit that. Yep, there we go. Stupid scout. 
I'm gonna go ahead and put the guys on gas right away just because we're gonna need them later. For them high Templar can make Archons. Okay, so there's a base down here I have to take out. This map is quite large, so I think getting the macro going right away is gonna be vital. Let's not mine out that mineral patch just yet. Anything going on up here? Not really. Looks like this may be a fairly long mission. Oh dear, don't don't you lose that to a dragoon. Seriously. Seriously. Okay. Good to know. They have observers in the middle. I also need a robotics, I do believe. So I can also make Archons, which Archons are really good, but I at least need this for observers. Get some probe action going on. Set the rally point right there. Oh, it looks like they're massing up for an attack. Which should be fine. We'll start going this way now. Alright, we're taking these guys out with relative ease. Oh no, they killed one of my cannons. That's not cool. Ooh, hello. That's where my second base should have gone. In fact, I think I'm gonna ex should I expand there yet or should I keep making probes? It's a tough choice. I do know I will need lots of gateways, so I'm gonna build those. Another observer. Oh, can't make that yet. Have to make the observatory. Yes, you had to build a. Oh no, don't put that there. Yes, you had to make a building before you can make observers. Okay, so honestly, my economy is looking pretty good. This guy needs to be a little bit careful. But I think I could totally sneak a probe out over here. And if I expand there right away, this is gonna be awesome. This is gonna be awesome. I'm just going to go straight for it. We'll see. We'll see if it pays off or not. They're probably going to kill it, but whatever. Haters going to hate, man. Also, I can put cannons here. I like this idea already. Plus, I'm going to have so many probes to be able to like, saturate that thing right away. Alright, Dragoon, 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 Dragoon. I also need to build a facility. So get that going. Is that pylon done yet? Yes, it is. I'm gonna make a cannon. I think I'm gonna make a couple cannons. Because cannons are not the best versus Protoss because units have so much HP. Plus, Dragoons do extra damage to them. So, I'm gonna make one more just to be safe. You guys go up here, and that should be enough probes. How may I help? It shall be done. Oh, they even gave me a scout, which makes me overly happy. And for this, I think I need Templar Archives. Alright, so you guys, let's just take a full group. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna try and spread these guys out. And yes, it is worth doing this because they are so stupid that it takes them forever. If you send them all at once, it takes them forever to get themselves spread out. So, just something to keep in mind. Let me go over there. I guess I'll put the first two guys on gas as well. Ah, scouts, say. Eh? I can kill an infinite number of these because they're horrible. Okay, so I'm gonna work on that. So we're gonna get another charge. Uh oh, oh, kill the Reaver. Kill the Reaver. I hate Reavers. They do so much damage. Alright, so I think I need another one of you in there. And we do have this expansion up and running, so this is this is going well. Hopefully it stays that way. I'm gonna rebuild these cannons here just because. They are pretty darn good. So Archons are better than Storm versus Protoss, but not gonna stop me from using it. Alright, check those out. Sweet. 
They do keep killing my cannons, which kind of has me upset. I don't even know if it's worth making cannons, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh oh. Oh, sorry, Observer. It's been fun. Alright, so basically I'm going to make a bunch of Archons since we can't get carriers for some reason. Go ahead and do that, work on upgrades. I think shield upgrades are going to be pretty important on this one. Yeah, Archons, baby. Should get me quickly through all my gas. That should be pretty good on the drones. Alright, we're doing we're doing good. This base hasn't been completely owned or anything. See I mean like I sent all of them there and three of them stay on that one mineral patch. That's just just bad AI. What can you do? Alright, Archons come over here. More high Templar. Which means more Archons. Oh if you spam man, they move so slow. And then we're gonna make a bunch of dragoons. And Reavers are pretty good, but they're not the best versus Protoss. Because they don't like one shot everything like they do versus their. So I think I'm gonna be pretty ready here at least to take out Take out the center. How's the upgrades going? Eh, not bad. More Archons, I'm gonna make a bunch of dragoons. So I should probably make some zealots too. What upgrade? Observers. Very nice. Alright, this should be this should be pretty good for this expansion. Oh, yes. It's gonna be like that Arcaniest heavy unit composition ever. I also need more gateways, I feel like. And evidently pylons. Always with the pylons. Alright, more gateways. Man, they really want you to back on this one. Okay, upgrades well on the way. You gotta remember, Archons have 350 shields, so getting that shield upgrade should be okay. Oh, they got an Arbiter now, huh? You guys must think you're super fancy. Kill the Arbiter before it does something stupid to us. Oh, it's gonna get away. One HP, really. Okay, their upgrades are 1 1 1. So they're currently better than my upgrades. But my macro is killer, son. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, dear Jeebus. Oh, this, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be. I'm gonna start making probes already. Oh, uh, this is bad. Oh, uh, this is so bad. Yes, get stuck on the Nexus. Oh, God. Yes, they were duds. Come on, Archons. Get over here quick. Sacrifice yourself. Save the probes. Oh, I gotta be careful with these heroes, though. I'm actually have to take them out of the battle. Yep, yep. Get out of here. What are you guys doing? Please help out. Oh, no. Oh, my God. No. Ah, oh, the pathing is so bad. I'm like, Zeratrul, get out of there. And then he just runs to his death. Oh, no. Executor. You oh, and the are to oh such a sad day. To the of the all right, Conclave. I have a better we game plan this time, and, and it is to not lose all those units. Is, is there a way to skip this? Yes, yes there is actually. All right, you guys get out of here. Let's just run straight up here. Probably save more of you this way. And we're gonna build a bunch of probes. We're gonna make a nexus immediately. I don't know why I put it one hex over, whatever. Not even worth it to try and save it. Okay, so at least we know kind of what's going on in this game now. 
And I definitely need to leave the heroes back to fight instead of running into their death because that was that was a brilliant choice. And I need a better base layout. Let's see. If I do pylon, I'm going to do upgrades right away again. All right, this base layout's going to be new. I hope. We'll see. No, you guys go in there right away. I like filling that up right away just because I'm going to be making a lot of Archons anyway. Alright, so I'm going to do this and then lots of gateways. Also, I think I'm going to do a forge right away. Now that I kind of know the pacing of this game. Yeah, let's go over here and do my forge just so they're next to each other. Okay. Back over here to make some gateways. The music is so good. Alright, there we go. Let the pro production begin. Alright, this forge is done. I'm gonna go ahead and start armor upgrades right away. Might as well get those as soon as possible. I guess making the pylons is a little bit of an overkill, but at least I got them. Uh, I can't believe I lost Zeratrul. So unclassy of me. So unclassy. Having the second Nexus is nice, though. It helps get you on your feet right away. Probes, probes, probes. I definitely am going to have an excess of gas, but that is that is one resource Protoss knows how to use. Because you just make High Templar all day. Upgrade complete. Oh yeah? What upgrade? Oh that. Range upgrade for the Dragoons. I'm going to go ahead and build Templar Archives up here. Just put it right there. So once this really starts to kick in, then I think I'm going to go for the expansion again. Although, yes, exactly. you guys actually are not allowed over here. There with the DTs, you can't make them. Okay, so let's do all of you guys. Control 1. All of you guys. Control 2. I'm waiting. All of you guys get to work, my goodness. Alright, so we'll start making the High Templar right away. Also, I can do the upgrade right away, so that's cool. Upgrade complete. That. Okay, so this is saturated already, so we're going to go ahead and expand. So we're already off to a better start than in the last game, so that's good. having a difficult time making it over here, which is okay. I think the expansion is somewhere up here. I'm trying to be if I should get side star. I mean, it is good. Archons are also really, really good. Okay, let's go ahead and drop the Nexus right away. Try maybe the cannons a little bit more forward this time. Those archons are done. I haven't built a robotics yet. I don't know if I'm gonna need one or not. Alright, there you guys go over here. Do that, you guys over there, upgrade. Get armor again. That's how I'm going to spread out these cannons. Hopefully by a little bit of time. Also caught. Uh, let's see. High Templar. Across the board. How's this looking? Almost done. So we're going to go ahead and transfer over a full group again. And yes, it's very monotonous to do this, but it gets you lots more money, so worth it, I would say. 
Okay, so they should be on their way. Get more probes. Finally, I've worked my way through most of the gas. Which means I need to put these guys on gas right away. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, we're gonna see, are there any breeders in here? We're just gonna push out for now. My upgrades are actually... Oh, oh, here they come. Oh, there's the Reaver. There's the Reaver. My goodness, they do not want me to have this expansion. Holy crud. I'm still upgrading, right, on all fronts? Yep. All right, I'm gonna start, start making some dragoons. Oh, why are, you, why are you guys fighting down here? Like, seriously, what's up with that? Oh, they killed a lot of probes. That really sucks. Also, a lot of all my stuff just died right there. Definitely need more gateways now at this point. Okay, there was that. I'll throw down one more. I feel like this is not actually fully saturated yet. Definitely want the gas. Throw down another cannon. Not that's gonna do much, but we'll buy some time. Hotkey group one there, hotkey group two over here. Kill them all. Definitely need upgrades on this mission. And apparently a lot of gateways. <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and transfer these guys over here. Yes, more upgrades. Need more upgrades. Okay, so my upgrades now are at 2-2. Two, two. Just not bad. Are you seriously stuck? Gosh darn it. Okay, so I'm going to be nearly... Not like maxed out, but my money is very low, so may have to move out pretty soon. Working on it, buddy. And isn't that the guy I'm actually supposed to be killing? Is that guy talking to me right now? Okay, you guys become archons. Kind of sad by the fact you can't get carriers because that would make this super, super easy, but that's probably why they don't let you do that. In all fairness. You do get money really fast on this many bases. I think two pylons should about do it. I gotta save a little bit of money for upgrades, but... Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and save this one. This is going on there, to number three. In case I mess this up again, which there's a distinct possibility of. And I'm gonna be nearly maxed out. I guess I do need one more pylon, technically. And once I'm maxed out, I guess I'll go ahead and go. This is a pretty quick maxing. I think a little bit faster than I would have been in the last game. Okay, so I guess Dragoons will finish out this army. Yeah, yeah. There's a pylon for 200 supply. Here they come. Ah, uh, freaking Arbiter. Oh, I never made an observatory hot. And my observer is totally over here. 
Kill that observer. Nice. Yeah, I should definitely make robotics though. Oh goodness. Come on, Archon. Well, I guess my scout's still kicking. Definitely need that and that. Okay, so let's get all my groups out here just to see what we got. Okay, here's my awesome army. And what an awesome army it is. One, two, three, four. I have five control groups full of units. This is not enough to take down one of these bases. Actually, we're going to leave one hotkey group back at home. Just knowing that they're going to do something janky on me. Okay, there's that. I need the upgrades. Come on, charge! You're probably supposed to use Reavers to break this, but screw it. Or we can replenish the ranks. Keep up the attack. I think I have one hell of a time going across that bridge, though. Side Templars are actually worthless because he has no spells at all. Okay, this is this is looking pretty good. When in doubt, make more zealots. Also, research observer speed since it's really important. And leave no gas for shield upgrades. Perfect. All right, we do have the three attacks. That's nice. Ow, that's gonna hurt. Spread the dragoons. Okay, that guy's an armor guess. We should take full damage. And this means another expansion. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it. Okay, let's make more units here. So no gas for a shield upgrade, which I should probably remedy. Obviously the answer is to build two Nexuses here. Man, they give you a bunch of money on this mission. Yeah, yeah, I'm reinforcing it. What? I heard something unloading. Where are you guys at? I heard something unloading. I don't like that sound. Okay, so I got another expansion up, which is good. This is more of a backup expansion at this point, because not mined out at the other places. All right, so let's go ahead and clear out middle again. Are you guys seriously gonna drop over here consistently? The zone is so pissed up on the Oh, what? You guys get carriers? That's not cool. That's just not cool. But I can kill all your interceptors to have so much stuff. I guess I can just kill the carrier instead. Alright, we're gonna set up lots of cannons here because I know exactly what they're gonna do as soon as I move out. What is this? Are you serious? Can't be serious. It's actually kind of smart. All right, let's go down this way. 
Only dragoons are enough, right? You guys can kill scouts? Okay. Where are you at, Conclave? I'm coming for you. Gotta be careful with the observers, though. Very careful with the observers. God, scouts are so bad. Alright, let's go ahead and send a lot of these guys over now. Now remember, everyone go to your own mineral patch. Okay, so we're killing this right now. He's trying to. Hey, observers, be careful. You need to spot this pesky arbiter. Oh, I've got six side storm dodging. Alright, got this expansion going. Oh, you did not just use that on me. Alright, at this point, I'm just gonna be throwing units at them. Hoping I can come out. Oh my god, they have so much stuff! How many kills does Reaver have? Three? Somehow that High Templar survived a surprising amount of time. Alright, kill this stupid Arbiter so he stops freezing us. Alright, where's this stupid carrier at? Where are you at, carrier? Kill off these stupid zealots. Alright, goons, you can do this. Kill the carrier. Apparently you guys didn't find anything to attack. God, they have so much stuff. So I guess I'm just going to make a bunch of zealots here. Alright, kill off that reaver. Alright, well, they were able to reinforce us quite heavily. I do want to try and kill off the reinforcements as best I can. Gotta go for their stupid Arbiter tech. Ah. Yeah, they're Dragoon. Oh, well, we tried. Alright, well, we lost basically everything. When I was able to kill their Arbiter tech, they're probably gonna re just remake it. Their upgrades are at 222, which is proving to be quite annoying. I'm gonna go ahead and get remaxed out. Oh, main base getting heavily mined out. I'm gonna transfer those guys over. I gotta make sure not to waste too much money here. I'm gonna send these guys over here to try and get this mined out. Might need to make more High Templar, actually. Yeah, no carriers, this is so tough. Okay, let's get some more Archons. I think I may kill the bottom left side. There's Hotkey group number one. Don't ask what happened to the other hotkey groups, you guys, because you will not like the answer. The warriors have engaged the enemy. I am needed. You guys see what we do with that? Okay, good. She house for a goon. Go, 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 Shield upgrade's finally done. You guys just guard over here, because they already they already attacked me there once. Alright, this expansion is definitely heavily saturated. This expansion, I believe, needs one more probe on gas. Oh, you got storm me? Eat it! I have shield, son. That will regenerate! 
Oh, seriously. Alright, thankfully scouts I can deal with, so you guys just wasted a bunch of money. Oh, Reaver is slightly more annoying. Slightly more annoying. Where is, where is this guy? Hopefully he doesn't get stormed to death. Come on, storm it and get out of there. Alright, nice. Oh, cannon's actually gonna kill one. That doesn't happen very often. Okay, High Templar. I need all you guys to turn into Archons. Don't be stupid. Come on, don't be stupid. Okay, so they somehow managed to kill exactly all of my cannons. Perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and remake those cannons as I will be gone. I'm going to send these guys too. I feel like we need a massive attack plan. Alright, I'm going to put these on the edge a little bit more. Alright, here comes the massive attack. Here we go. I do have plus three shields on the way, but I'm not gonna wait. Ah, you don't have any scarabs. Oh yeah, he does. All right, there we go. This, this should be enough to kill this off. If it's not, then I just don't know what else to do. All right, looking pretty good so far. I do need these guys over here though. Observer speed is so good. Kill that arbiter. Executor, Eldaris, this madness oh. must stop. The sight of my brethren slaughtering one another is more than I can stand. Though I fear you would doom us all, Eldaris. I oh. surrender myself to the conclave. I hope that I won. And that this isn't me Don't failing give up somehow. The fight. Alright, so is that going to be it? There's some carriers now appearing out of nowhere. Tassadar of the Templar, by your actions, you have severed yourself from the mercy of your brethren. You refuse to destroy the Terran worlds as was commanded. You have questioned time and time again the sacred will of the Conclave, and you have abandoned your home world in its darkest hour. Most grievous of all is that you have allied yourself with the blasphemous Dark Ones and learned to utilize their profane powers in tandem with our own. What say you? Well, when you oh, word it like that. Templar? Eldaris, I submit myself to the Conclave's judgment. But know this, given the same choices again, I would surely have made them. I have sacrificed all that our world might live. I have sullied my honor. I have discarded my rank and standing. I have even broken our most ancient traditions. But never think that I would for one moment regret my actions. For I am Templar. And above all else, I have sworn to protect our homeworld till the end. All right, was able to beat that one. For a second there, I was a little bit worried because killing that base in the bottom right side was going to be really, really tough, but uh, apparently the mission just ends if you kill off both those outlying bases. So I guess I did enough damage to them for the mission to end, which means we are getting dangerously close to the end of this game. Uh, that does leave Brood War, of course, and also Diablo 3, which uh, I'm trying to get this game done before Diablo 3 comes out because I'm going to be playing a lot of Diablo 3. So uh, what an awesome mission that one was. Tons of fun. Of course, I failed it once because it had heroes, and I always lose the heroes. And that is that. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Hello, everyone. This is HDSGSG here. I'm back with some more StarCraft 1 campaign playthrough, and we are getting down to the wire. Oh, apparently, we've unlocked another cinematic. I feel like the Protoss has the most cinematics out of anyone. So we are going to go ahead and watch the cinematic, get it underway. I believe there is only two missions remaining until we have completely beaten this game. So thank you so much for everyone who has been watching, rating the videos. High Orbit Protoss, Homeworld of Aya. I'm going to drink some palm juice while we watch this.
Is that some battlecruiser? Tassadar was taking adjudicators custody and sentenced to stand trial for his crimes against the Conclave. Phoenix, Rainer, and Tassadar's followers escaped from the Conclave's agents as the Dark Templar slipped away in the chaos. <clears throat> the trial of Tassadar. In far or two minutes, Sekito. All seem is lost now, but still we must fight on. We must find Tassadar and secure his release from the Judicator before they can execute him for treason. Without him, I fear there is no way to defeat the Zerg and their Overmind. Zeratul and his Dark Templar have vanished, leaving us to fend for ourselves. I wonder if Tassadar was mistaken to have put his trust in them. We are receiving a transmission from Captain Raynor's command ship. This is Raynor. I'd like to help if I can. Tassadar laid it on the line for me and my crew on Char. I'd like to repay the debt. Besides, I'm a long way from home, surrounded by hostile aliens. I've got to do something. Then you shall, bold human. You shall. You shall. All right, I just downed like a gallon of palm juice, so if I'm vomiting profusely, then you guys will know exactly what's going on. All right, so it's giving me pro tips on carriers. Not build the interceptors right now because I need money for my base. You have not enough minerals. Trainer here. Oh, yeah. All right, so what do we got going on in this map? Looks like there's an entrance there and there. Oh, yeah. Ah, okay. You have not enough minerals. Is this one another PvP? Because it kind of feels like it. This is Jimmy. This oh, is yeah. Jimmy. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. Thank goodness that cannon was strategically placed there. I'll kill the observer first. That stupid observer getting away. All right, so I guess this one is going to be a little bit of a slower start. They don't give you as much money. They don't give you as much to work with. You do have a lot of mineral patches here, which has me wondering how long this mission is going to go on. Go ahead, Commander. But we also get Jim Rayner in a battle cruiser, so I am pretty excited about that one. Rainer here. I'm going to be completely honest. I'm really excited about that. I am going to need some pylons here pretty soon. Right on. Go Just gonna ahead, scout around around a little bit, see exactly what's going on. Oh, one zealot. Should be able to kill him. Oh, yeah, there you go. Kill that zealot! Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a pylon. I'm gonna do the gas as well. I'm almost afraid to move out though, because if I lose Jim Rayner in a battle cruiser, that's just going to be embarrassing. That would be like super embarrassing. Because so far I feel like anytime I have a hero in my team, they just run it and die. Which is mostly my fault, but I can still blame the game. I can still blame the game, it's okay. Alright, you and Gas. You two and Gas. And I think I need to build a gateway. Yes, I do. Dude, you're getting a tell. You guys remember that? Whatever happened to that guy? Didn't he get arrested or something? I'm trying to remember what happened to the Dell guy. Go ahead, Commander. Oh, Dell. Alright, so this one is definitely one of the slower starting missions. I'm wondering if I'm supposed to be pushing out or not. And I feel like I, I'm going to do it. I'm going to scout around with Jim Rainer. We'll see what happens. Surely nothing is wrong with this plan. Alright, Jimmy. Oh, God, he moves so slow. So slow. Are we cyber core here right about now? Go ahead, Commander. All right, so there's nothing up here other than some fancy little statues. Gotta help him lose Jim Rainer. I guess there's no way to repair him, huh? So I should not. Oh, fudge! I can totally Yamada one of these though. All right, first casualty. All right, I just remembered that I can't actually repair Jim Rainer, so gotta be gotta be pretty careful with him. I wonder if I can make carriers on this mission. I sure hope so. Which means I'm going to need more gas, so you, you go to gas right now. 
And I guess I can start building interceptors. Of course, I don't have fleet beacons, so I can only get four. One thing about carriers in StarCraft 1 is they don't start with interceptors. Oh, I just realized Phoenix is in here. I guess that makes sense. So he gives me the introduction. But yeah, you don't start with, uh, with interceptors. So once the carrier spawns, it's actually a flying paperweight. Which I guess kind of defeats the purpose of being a paperweight if it's flying. But whatever. Oh dear. I do not have enough for your Mata Cannon. I almost do though. Come on, two more energy. Can you guys kill the actual units and send the interceptors, please? There we go. See how easy that is. Oh, the dying sound for carriers is so awesome. Alright, well, since they obviously like to attack right there, we're gonna go ahead and build another one of those. Alright, so I am going to make, yes, Fleet Bacon! Fleet Bacon, I need more carriers! I also need more pylons. For some reason, I feel like it's my destiny to build a pylon in that corner, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I wonder if I should have built a second Nexus for this one, too. I don't know. I don't know, man. Carrier, carrier. Carrier has arrived. All right, so I think we're pretty good on the saturation for this. And I don't know where I'm supposed to move out, but I'm gonna get some carriers because I freaking love carriers. Actually, wait, build a, build a fleet beacon first. And then we'll do that. Hopefully, I'll have enough gas off of one base. I'm not 100% positive, but... Alright, Probe, you're going to scout out. Go scout for me. I also need to upgrade the... Split the gateway as well. You can, you can build a surprising amount of stuff off of one base. Especially when they give you this many mineral patches. All right, so you scout over there. Look for any expansions that you may find. Uh oh, I'm probably gonna die. Oh, he survives. So, oh, oh, oh. Okay, there's so there's a base down there. It's actually some good scouting intelligence. All right, so I need extra interceptors. I wanna go. I'm gonna go zealot carrier, and I definitely should. Well. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see if I have enough to keep making carriers. Because this may have been a little overkill. Anytime you're ready. Anytime you're ready. What? What's this? Uh oh, Reavers! Reavers, not good! Not good! Probes! Alright, don't you die, Phoenix. You die. Aha, I juked it. Oh, gosh darn it. Alright, well I need to put probes back on gas because they all kind of died. This is Jimmy. This should be good. Yeah, oh, eat yeah. it, Observer. I'll put cans in weird places to try and protect this. Alright, so I think we're good on the gas. This carrier's totally gas. almost done. Whatever. Alright, so once I get a couple carriers, I am... Come on, come on, one more guy. There we go. I guess it overlapped a little bit. More interceptors, baby. Rainer here. Oh yeah. Your right, Rainer should have. Yep, enough energy for Yamada. Yamada gun. It's not the cannon. It's the Yamada gun. Right, this carrier is almost done. My life for all. Go ahead, Commander. Right on. My carrier. Carrier has arrived. Carrier has arrived. Go like ahead, a Commander. boss. Okay. When I was a kid, I used to always think that the faster scout movement was faster interceptor movement, and I would totally research it. I didn't realize until I was like 18 that that upgrade was actually worthless. Oh, innocent childhood. Alright, so we're doing pretty good on interceptors. I need one more carrier. I want to put another guy in gas. Can't hurt. Go ahead, Commander. Yo, Kados. All right, carrier's almost done. I'm so gonna move out as soon as the second carrier's done. 
Because I need an expansion ESAP. This is Jimmy. Anytime you're ready. Come on, carrier. You must construct additional oh, pylons. Oh dear. Interceptors, they build so slow in StarCraft 1. But carriers are still freaking awesome because they release all their interceptors at once. This is Jimmy. Rainer here. Instead of some weird upgrade to like make them shoot slower, which I never understood. You must construct additional Come on, pylons, hurry up. You have not enough minerals. Yes. Go ahead, Commander. I've been waiting this entire game. What would you ask of me? Okay, actually, I don't think I don't think Phoenix should come with me. Jim Rayner I feel a little bit better about, but... Oh my goodness. There's actually a lot of stuff. I actually shouldn't use the belts right now. Oh no, this weaver's looking pretty scary. I feel like carriers are the best choice right now. You guys just run over here. Oh, a carrier. Hey. Oh, shoot. Remember, Jimmy, I cannot repair you. Oh, they're using that shield battery. Oh, what's this? What? What? They're dropping zealots in my base. Please kill these stupid reapers. Alright. I don't I don't know how they got away with that, but good good job to them, I guess. Alright, so cannon there. Anytime you're ready. Any more interceptors? What are you guys looking like? Yes. Anytime you're ready. Watch this. All the interceptors at once. Boom! I guess it's not the exact second. They are definitely way, way, way better. Oh, another carrier? Why, yes. Yes, I do want to kill off my opponent with these. Maybe, though, don't fly into the cannons. All right, so this is obviously what they want you to do because there's so many cannons down here. Well, I think I'm gonna have to retire Jimmy. I want Jimmy dying off. So you guys get chill over here. More interceptors. Ah, I do see an expansion. Wait, what is that? Was that a red zealot? No, don't take so much damage. I should actually really work on the attack upgrade. It's so good for carriers. I would I would even say it's ridiculous for carriers. Carrier has arrived. Alright, well I'm trying to kill everything out, but they just keep sending stuff at me, so this may take this may take a moment. I might go ahead and save the game just because we've seen how easily I can lose a game. All right, more carrier action. Looks like they love killing off pylons. Where? All right, there's that. Interceptors across the board, which are super expensive. That's okay. This is this is quite the way to rescue someone. Oh, hey, buddy, you need rescuing? Yeah. Here's uh, seven carriers. God, carriers are so good. Why are they so good? Alright, gonna need some more pylons. Got my little pylon farm over here. Probably a little overkill, that's okay. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and send this guy down here for an expansion. Which I apparently don't have enough money for right now. 
I just, these are just so mesmerizing to watch. I could watch these all day. Okay, there's my probe. Got to get up the Nexus. Instructions. All right. My carrier count is looking pretty awesome. Oh, look at Zealot. Oh, look, a lot of Zealots. Hey, guys, you know, just passing through, no big deal. Ah! Oh, this feels so good. I almost wish every mission was like this. Instructions. All right, now I'm gonna set up some defense over here. Oh, this is why. This is why. Oh, you jerk probe. Where'd that probe take damage from? That's the real question. Yeah, probe on probe, only I'm gonna win. Also, carrier on probe, I'm also gonna win that. Oh, I built a Nexus, I thought that was a pylon. Alright, I'm gonna build some cannons there. For a defense. One more carrier, yes? Yes. Oh, apparently this is done already. Much faster than I thought it would be. Yeah, you're not building an expansion, sorry. Alright, saturation isn't looking terrible up here. Definitely not the best. Main base. I could. I could still make a few probes. You have not enough minerals. You have not enough minerals. I do need more money, though, for my interceptors. All right, let's expand to going now. So that should help out quite a bit. You have not enough minerals. All right, keep on keeping on. This mission, they literally just wanted me to build a bunch of carriers, and I, I, I say yes. I think it's it's payback after that one horrible mission we played. So now you just beef your way through with a bunch of carriers. I'm okay with this. You have not enough minerals. Instructions. All right. This is this is nice. And this is nice and laid back. This is like uh, going to the beach on a Sunday. Just kicking it, having fun with your friends, killing off your sworn enemies, rescuing friends. You know, just like going to the beach. Ooh, another expansion's over there. I'm gonna take that, baby, because we have no idea what's in the bottom right side of this map, so. I, like, I don't know if, if uh, 10 carriers is gonna be enough to beat them. In all seriousness, what if they have 800 scouts? You never know, guys. Because 800 scouts could definitely beat this amount of carriers. Okay, so I'm just going to keep making a probus. Get the gas, of course, going. Alright, so you... There's totally observers right there. I see you guys kissing. Thinking you're hiding it and being so suave. You're not. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep making carriers. Seems to be working so far. I'm gonna continue my pylon farm. All right, 12 carriers. I'm okay with this. Oh, is this actually... Oh, I guess you can connect over there. I was gonna say, is this cut complete half by some river action? Does it look like that is the case? Oh, I should keep getting upgrades. What am I thinking? I wish I got these a long time ago. Alright, well, this expansion is nearly done, so send a bunch of probes. A bunch of probes. I gave up splitting my probes, man. That was too much work. 
All right, let's see. All right, let's stack the carriers. Hopefully they don't have, they don't have Arbiters down here. Ow, why is the cannon actually shooting me? Oh my God, their upgrades are so good. Oh my God, you guys are not killing anything. You were seriously shooting the interceptors? No, I'm gonna lose a carrier. What are you guys doing? I'm gonna lose multiple carriers. This is what I'm talking about, is you gotta be careful. Where did all this stuff come from? Oh my goodness. That is so many dragoons. All right, well, we're gonna build another Stargate, I guess. The only thing I hate is that interceptors take forever to build. So losing carriers is kind of a sad day indeed. All right, how are we looking? Their upgrades are pretty sick. That's why they're doing so much damage to me. Thankfully, they've eventually got to run out of units, right? These aren't just gonna keep spawning like this. Right? Guys? Oh my god, where is all this stuff coming from? It's an endless stream. Alright, finally killed that guy off. I'm even gonna get shields to help out my poor carriers. Because I am mining quite a bit now. Kinda glad I grabbed these expos though, because if I didn't, if I got too arrogant, then uh could have been the death of me. Alright, Size Storm is actually pretty good versus carriers, so I have to be careful of that. I want to kill this guy first just to be sure. Because if they, if your carriers are stacked like that, and they cast a couple storms. That can, that can end your day pretty quick. All right, I'm back up to 11 carriers, so that's good. This guy is taking a lot of damage. This guy is taking even more damage. He got 3 HP. All right, apparently I lost a carrier. Perfect. I feel like I need to build a pylon right here, so these guys... Well, I guess they're going back there to get that patch. Okay, well, at least my income's looking good. So I can actually continue to make carriers three at a time, so that's, that's pleasant. They definitely do have a lot of stuff down here, though, I'll give them that. Upgrade complete. Don't you, oh, that guy... Hard to tell, but some of the carriers so low, you've got to watch out for storms. I think I'm pretty good on the expansions as far as mining is concerned. Not quite sure what that means, but it sounds pretty cool to me. That should put me at max. And this expansion is baller. Even though the guys are depleted, I almost want to make a dropship just to go down here. I'm going to do it. Alright, more interceptors. Alright, let's continue on. That was just one corner of the map. Who knows what else is over here. Although, hopefully I've killed off a lot of their army. That's, that's what I'm hoping for. And I'm even planning ahead. I'm going for the expansion over there that has a bunch of geysers. Even though they're depleted, you can still mine from them. They just give you a lot less, which I am okay with, because I have lots of gas already. I actually need to make more Stargates, I think. All right, keep it up, guys. Doing great. Wait, what is... What? Oh, shysta. I was not expecting that. I'm gonna have to get these ones out of here. Retreat! You guys should definitely go kill this carrier, though. Oh my god, it might actually kill my nexus. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. It might do it. Go ahead, commander. Whatever you kill my nexus, I'll kill your entire base. How about that? We are under attack. Come on, carriers, get over there. 
Quick, distraction probe. We have found Tassadar's stasis cell. We will attempt to free him now. Alright, what's the exact mission objectives? Destroy the stasis cell, okay. So that's actually right here. So I may have to bring down one of my heroes or something. Come on, Carriers, you can do it. I know you don't have many interceptors, but you can still do it. Jim Rayner. Oh, yeah. No, don't get him out of cannon our own interceptor. Get out of town. All right, you go over there. You probe get in there just because I really want to build a base of this weird looking face on the bottom left side. Okay. So I did lose quite a few probes, which has me bumped out, but I have a lot in my main base that aren't doing anything, so it'll work out. Your warriors have instructed yes, I expected you to attempt to retrieve your hero. You will learn that the will of the Conclave is absolute. Make peace with our doom. Ah, this guy. Words of Tassadar shall not fall while the Dark Templar live. Call off your guards and stand aside, and you may yet live to see another moon rise. I will not be addressed so by one so devoid of the Kala's light. You and your vile brethren shall die with these traitors. Are you truly so blinded by your vaunted religion? that you cannot see the fall ahead of you. Your conclave believes that they are winning this war, but all they have succeeded in doing is helping the Overmind to win. What could you possibly know about our designs, Blasphemer? You speak of knowledge, Judicator. You speak of experience. I have journeyed through the darkness between the most distant stars. I have the births of negative sounds and borne witness to the entropy of entire realities. Unto my experience, Alderus, all that you have built here on Iora is but a fleeting dream, a dream from which your precious conclave shall awaken, finding themselves drowned in a greater nightmare. We shall see. Man, that was some pretty heavy stuff right there. As usual, coming to save the day. And uh, yeah, so I think that means we have one more mission and then that is it. That is all, thank you guys so much for watching. There is one more mission left. And then we have completely beat StarCraft 1 together. I do believe that overall there's about 11 to 12 hours of gameplay content in this playlist. So if you're someone who actually managed to watch all of that, then you are a champion. So I'm gonna go ahead in this video, mentally prepare myself for the last mission. Hopefully you guys are ready for it. I sure as hell am. And we're going to see the epic finale to StarCraft 1. I actually don't remember the last time I beat StarCraft 1 legitly. Uh, because some of these Rotas missions I do not remember at all. So it's been, it's been a minute. And hopefully it'll be awesome. Of course it will though. Because it is StarCraft 1, man. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And of course, I'll see you guys next time. Hello everyone, this is HD Esky Esky here, and this is it. This is the grand finale of StarCraft 1. This is the last mission. We are going to be killing the Overmind together. That is, of course, going to leave Brood War still undefeated, as I will have to play that after this series. But I wanted to finish this game before Diablo 3 comes out, which it comes out in two days. So if I can't beat this mission in two days, then I don't deserve to finish the game. So actually, maybe there is one more mission. I might, have, I might have hyped that up a little bit too much, but Shadow Hunters is the next mission here, and it is... Let's see. In Taro Adun, ah, we're killing the Cerebrates. My gratitude to you for having secured my release knows no bounds. By all the gods, we may win yet. The time has come to let loose the fury of the Dark Templar. Zeratul, perhaps the time has come to tell our friends of the foe we face. Indeed. When I slew the Cerebrate Ochar, I touched briefly with the essence of the Overmind. In that instant, my mind was filled with its thoughts. And I tell you now, our worst fears have come true. The Zerg were indeed created by the ancient Zernaga, the same beings that empowered us in our infancy. Or 
but the Overmind grew beyond their constraints and has at last come to finish the experiments they began so long ago. So you see, my friends, we fight not only to save Ire, but all creation. If we fall to the Zerg, then the Overmind will run rampant throughout the stars, consuming all sentience, all life. It is up to us to put an end to this madness, once and for all. Our forces shall engage the primary Zerg Hive Clusters in an attempt to weaken their defenses. Once their numbers have thinned out, Zeratul and his companions can infiltrate the Clusters and assassinate the Cerebrates. A Dune willing, the Cerebrates' deaths will distract the Overmind long enough for us to assault it directly. Alright, let's do it, baby! I remember this mission being so annoying. And uh, I thought we were on the last mission, but we have one more. Oh, Arbiter. We feel your presence. Hello. Your orders, Templar. Alright, we're just gonna leave these you probes here for me. now. So be it. Mm. I'm assuming we're supposed to go that way, but it doesn't hurt doesn't hurt to check. You me. Check around, see what's kind of your over here. Orders, Templar. Is is there actually oh there is actually an expansion over here. I don't think there's gas here though, so I'm not gonna expand here just yet. Okay, I think they definitely want us to go this way though. Just remember there is a hidden expo down here. And arbiters, for those of you who don't know, they cloak everything around them kinda like a mothership, only it's a unit that doesn't suck. Not that motherships are horrible, but they're definitely no arbiter. Alright, as long as you guys stay cloaked here, they don't have any detection, so. No, don't get uncloaked, don't get uncloaked. Come on, you guys, start behaving. Alright, there we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and come over here and kill these up. And Arbiters, while they can attack, they do basically no damage. It's like a. I don't know why they even bother with that. Uh, Overlord there. Which Overlords do count as detectors. Okay, maybe I am supposed to expand over here. I don't know, I just feel like they would put me somewhere where there's gas. But I could be mistaken. Oh, there's a spore up there. Which can spot me. Single spore. We'll get down here, get down here. So oh, you guys will stay under the cloak. There we go. There we go. That's better. Ah, that takes you out of cloak, though. I don't know. These guys can be spotted now. Okay, maybe I am supposed to expand down here. I'm gonna go ahead and just do that. <laughs> So I'm at least mining something. Oh my god! Yes, you are supposed to expand down there because that is definitely an ultra list. Alright, kill the ultra at least. Spiritual ship, no problem killing that guy. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna back out for now. And we're gonna we're gonna scout more this way. I just want to make sure I don't expand to the wrong place. Because if you, if you aren't mining any gas... Ah, there's a gas. Really, is this seriously over here by itself? Oh, Blizzard. Let's see if there's an expansion over here. Arbiters are so awesome, though. They have recall. So you can recall anything to their location. Ah. Okay. Or if there's any gas at all anywhere. Aside from that one. So we'll check out over here. Just to see, hopefully I don't find a bunch of Zerg bugs. Ah, okay. Okay. I got you. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna expand... ...over here as well. I also have to be long distance mining the gas, which is fine. I'm okay with that. But yeah, definitely you're supposed to be expanding over here. And I think you're gonna be guarding just this location in the center. Because that's where the units are gonna be coming in. I imagine, anyway. Okay, I do need a pylon, obviously. If I even build another pylon. Alright, so you guys oh kill these kill these freaking units. Gosh darn it. I know you're right here. I 
I know where you're at. You address me. Okay, so I'm waiting for these pylons. This map is definitely interesting. Glad I discovered the uh, gas finally. Although if I were to redo this mission, which I still may, um, I would definitely expand right away because this is where you're supposed to expand. And then try and get mining as quickly as I possibly can. Oh, mute a shoot. I don't think you'll be able to kill any of my units. No, leave that probe alone. Probe alone, cheese. Okay, so I'm building my last probe, so I have to make another pylon. I really don't know why I sent this probe all the way over here. But he gets this base to himself! So, have fun, buddy. It is going to take a little bit to get the economy going, because I didn't quite understand what they wanted me to do on this mission. But I do have access to a lot of money now. So that's nice. Very nice. Okay, so I'm just going to work on getting my economy up. Because we are going to be killing them cerebrates. Is it one cerebrate or two that I have to kill? I actually don't remember. I should have been listening. I do know I used Dark Templar to do it, so that's fun. It, it always was so funny to me how you could use Dark Templar and how they played such a heavy role in the campaign, but they were never in multiplayer until the expansion pack. Which was actually kind of ingenious by Blizzard, I think, because by the time the game came out, you already knew how to use the units because you used them in the campaign. And now it's looking like finally, finally I have some sort of decent income going. Enough to at least make probes two at a time. I think I'm gonna send a couple of you guys over just to balance it out a little bit. I feel like this base doesn't have as many minerals. Gonna go ahead and start mining gas now. I do need a gateway at this point. Also, I'm gonna get a forge for those early upgrades and cannons. Because upgrades just take so long to get, and of course there's no proto boost or anything like that. So starting them ASAP is always good. Okay, so I do need a pylon over here. I have a feeling you're gonna send air there, up there eventually. Yeah, probe, go around the backside. There you go. Aren't I building a pylon? I feel like I'm building a pylon, and indeed I am. Okay, so there's that. Go ahead and get the cybernetics core. Pile on over here. And this may seem a little bit early, but just to be safe, I'm gonna make a cannon. Because my army moves very slowly. Okay, so there's that. I do need gas now. Or I will need gas pretty soon. Okay, cyber core is almost done. It's definitely gonna take a lot of probes to fully really saturate that gas. We get some upgrades. I like to start the upgrades as soon as I can. Just because I mean some of these missions are gonna take about 25-30 minutes, so you might as well. Oh, what's this? Kill these guys off before they mass up too many guys. I knew it! Alright, thankfully Zera Tool is actually useful right now. I don't think I'm gonna that overlord. I do this for iron. I'm gonna start making some dragoons just because these guys are gonna be annoying. Oh, see? That's why we make cannons. And also a ton of probes because the mining of this gas is ridiculous. Okay. 
Okay, so that's on the way. And I feel... Ah, oh, shoot, only have to that off. Seriously, where did those mutas come from, though? They flew in at a weird angle. Okay, so I'm gonna make Templar Archives just for at least the upgrades. I'm make pylons because he said so. I don't know if I can like ever actually fully saturate this. Okay, yeah, we'll see if that's enough. I doubt it, but whatever. Give me some Zell legs. Alright, the upgrade's almost done. Uh, archives almost here as well. So I'm trying to decide if I should get Archons. Would you guys please stop it? Seriously, you're just being annoying. I'll build cannons here so I don't have to worry about defense. I think I'm going to be in pretty good shape. Oh, this means I can mine out quite heavily, actually. And so I'm going to build a couple of Archons. Also a bunch of gateways. Space still doing pretty good. All right, time for some gateways. Can you kill one of my guys? Oh, that was the Defiler. Yes, my house Defiler. Oh my goodness, they actually killed that. Not cool. Oh my God, the Ultras run by. Come on, Zealot. Draw his attention. Alright, thankfully Dragoons are really good. Versus that. I should really research size to but Archons are just so tempting. So do Archons for a little bit. Okay, I think I'm pretty good here. That base is looking good. This one's getting low, which is okay. And we're gonna try with gateway units for now. And if that's not enough to kill them off, then we'll have to change it up. Oh, they actually parasited my guy. That's not cool. Okay, so four gateways producing units. Upgrades are good. Income is good. I see pylons. And obviously, surrounding this cannon with the pylon is the best option. Working on it, buddy. I'm gonna research size storm now. All right, so you guys are doing okay. We are under attack. What's this? Gosh darn it! I thought I built that back up. Evidently not. These freaking circlings are running by. No, don't lose these dragoons. What are you doing? That would just be silly. Yes, killer queens. Kill it. Ah. Okay. No more run buys for you guys. Once I get a couple of cannons. Oh, a guardian. That's not something I want to see. Okay, the only thing is I'm a little bit worried about my heroes. 
Oh, did you seriously just plague that? You jerks. I'm just gonna remake that. Plague is so annoying, it brings the HP of whatever it hits down to one. Which isn't the best versus Protoss because they have shields, but still relatively annoying. Alright, I think I'm ready to move out. We shall see what happens. I think it went. Oh, that plague was beastly! Ow. Thankfully, plague is worthless for Sargons. But definitely not worthless versus everything else that just got hit. No, nope, don't lose this. Ah! I wanted to keep that alive. Now I'm angry. Now I'm angry. Although that plague is just owning me. Oh my god. Plague! Ah, plague! I probably should have made carriers. I am regretting my decision not to make carriers. And the best way to get over that mistake is to make carriers. Since the main problem is that the mining is so difficult to get saturated correctly. Okay, so this should actually be a base I can take. Alright, we're killing off a lot of their tech. I don't know if this is the only buildings they have of it, but... Alright, Archon, your job is to kill that so I can build the expansion there. Oh man, they really want to save this or something. No ultras for you, hopefully. Usually they have like 20 tech buildings of the same thing, so... Not sure how long that'll last. But we did kill this base, so that is... Another base I can take. Did you seriously just parasite my probe? Not cool, man. really wish there was a way up there. But it would appear, sadly, that that is not the case. Making lots of zealots just because. Three mineral patches? What? I don't even think building all these cannons is worth it all. Give me one, I guess. Alright, well, I'm gonna build it for the gas. If you're blue and don't know where to go to, why don't you go where Bastion sits? Uh, putting on the Ritz. Okay, so... I don't know if these High Templar are going to be very good, but... March, no! Oh my god, I can't believe they actually did that. I'm not happy about this. No, don't you kill my probe! I need this guy. 
Alright, I think you'll actually survive, surprisingly enough. Alright, well, I guess I should have built those cannons. Alright, fine. There, there's your stupid cannons. Yeah, I know I researched Storm, but Archons are too good, so... You guys are not doing that right now, are you? Oh my god, that's so many Zerglings. Oh, oh, snap. Oh god, I thought these guys were in a safe spot, but evidently not. Okay, that was... That was more intense than I would like to admit. So you guys are going to come over here by these cannons. You are going to come build some cannons. Alright, that would have been really sad if I lost that, so I'm just going to maybe throw down a lot of cannons. Freaking guardians. Can you please just kill that guardian? Or you can sit there looking like an idiot. This one going, that one going. Alright, we're, we're making carriers. All this high ground stuff can be like me. Uh, Archons are so beastly. So, so beastly. Alright, more cannons in case they counterattack. This expansion's looking good. Mining off its two whole mineral patches. This patch is a little bit better with four mineral patches. Whoop, you freaking do. Okay. Alright, go ahead and attack up here. What are you guys doing? Anything up here? Yes, there is. Eat it, White! Guess I'll go ahead and send a probe over. Not sure if I'll need that spot or not, but, uh... All right, carriers have arrived. That's always a good thing to hear. All right, what is uh, this? Okay, I think we're in pretty good shape. We just gotta find where the server is. There's one. I, I do have to kill it with the uh, DC. I Come on guys, don't try and kill it, it's just going to get reincarnated. Maybe focus on something else. Haha, you did unplaceable, aww. Move my guy out of the way. That's not very nice. Okay, so now we got to go find the other one. And I think I have to use Zeratul for that. We're going to send him up. We're also going to save because my luck, I'll end up losing him while he goes up there. Plus three attack, zealots are pissed. And they're really good. Alright, where's my Zeratul at? There he is. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Your 
Okay, they're pretty far and widespread battle, but overall, looking good. Gotta keep an eye. Oh, don't let them rebuild that, really? Come on, Archon. Go kill that extractor. Alright, DT moving on up. Should be able to kill this guy off. Yeah! Ah, maybe kill this Hydra first. Oh, one-shotted like a boss. Alright, we killed that server. Gotta come over here and kill this one now. Come on, guys. Not nah, worth your time. Trust me. This one Archon's gotta take on the entire swarm. Alright, where's he at? Where are you at? There you are. Okay, I think that that's gonna be... It's gonna be it, right? I don't think there's anything left on this map. I guess I could have used these carriers. Quick, guys, find something to kill. Of course, I don't think there's anything over here. Just my luck. Oh wait, yes, there is. Yes, there is. A whole nother expansion. Why would you guys attack that instead of the thing that can actually shoot you? And there we go. I've beat yet another mission, and that means now we are on to the last mission. I got a little excited about it last time, but that was not the last mission, as there is 10 missions per race, and considering there's three races, that means there is 30 missions. This mission did take about 25 minutes, which overall I think brings our total time up to around 11 or 12 hours, which is, that's a lot of gameplay considering how old this game actually is, and I also love how they threw in a couple of challenging missions here at the end, because up until now I don't think we failed too many missions, unless it was completely my fault, but uh, that, one, uh, that one mission where you controlled Tassadar, that, that mission... Probably my least favorite one out of all of them. So hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Hello everyone, this is HD Husky Husky here, and now it is it. Now it is the finale. I know I kind of hyped it up before, and then I was like, oh, it's not actually the finale. But this time, it is for sure the very last mission. My voice is getting tired because I've been playing StarCraft all day. But let's go ahead and play Eye of the Storm. Eye of the Storm, Protoss Command Ship. Gant, Trittar, I never say that right. Low Orbit over the planet Ire. Executor, our plan worked perfectly. The Zerg defenses are broken, and the way to the Overmind is laid bare. The time for our stand has come. Indeed. My friends, this is our final hour. Not all of us may survive the coming conflict. Yet, death may be a blessing should we fail here. We seek now to destroy a foe that has ravaged its way across the universe, consuming all in its path. And now, it has reached the end of its long journey. The Overmind has come to destroy all that we hold dear, and assimilate us into itself. And I say to thee, this shall not come to pass. Fire shall not fall. Executor, I stand ready. As do I. Well, I guess all I have left is to see this through. The Zerg have taken everything from me. My home, my family, my friends. I know that nothing I do can bring those things back. But I'll be damned if I just sit on my hands and wait for the end. I want a piece of them, all right. I'm in. Then let our actions speak for us. For Adun. For All right, let's do this. Let's go kill some Overmind. Executor, Tassadar, this comes too late to you, but the Conclave has witnessed your defeat of the Cerebrate. They know now that they cannot deny the necessity or the valiancy of your actions. We sought to punish you, while it was we who were in error. You represent what is greatest in us all, and all our hopes go with you. Antaro Adun, brave sons of ire. Wow. Does that mean they're going to send some backup for us? SCP, good to go, sir. I like the way Jim Rayner thinks. He's like, oh, that's great. Where's the backup? And sorry I wasn't listening while I was macroing off of my two bases, Terran and Protoss alike. Which is freaking sweet, man. Jacked up and good to go, Commander. Let's get you guys in the bunkers right away. 
Apparently there's cannons on this side of the base, but not up here, which is kind of confusing to me. All right, this is gonna be really confusing. I gotta switch back and forth. Oh. All right, if I do control F3. Oh, I don't think that worked. Control F3. I think I'm doing this wrong. Whatever. There's a way to set hotkey groups. Um, points on the map, but I always mess it up. Alright, let's get the gas going right away. How about you guys? You want to build some gas too? Sure, why not? What? You don't even start with interceptors. The best carrier ever in existence doesn't even start with interceptors. Not cool. All right, so we do have a forge. Yes, Executor. For our door. We have you guys scout up yes, here for now. Yes, Gas going. You should be in there already. Yes, you are. All right, man. This mission's a lot of mental work. Okay, I think that's enough probes, actually. So, I right now, oh, there's another geyser up there. It's not enough probes. I'm gonna start mining that right away. Should probably make a gateway. I think I'm gonna go for some carriers, maybe some arbiters. Those are always good. Right now, I'm just looking for more expansions. They usually hide one somewhere. Just finding the last thing. Anything over here? Nope, not really. Okay, that gas guy's just done. You guys return cargo and then come over here. Want to get that gas going ASAP. Alright, I do need more supply depots. I'm gonna get that for scan. Oh, this is the base up here. Ah, uh, yeah. Build this. What? What? Oh, goodness. Leave my poor SCVs alone. Where do these things even come from? Okay, so I did find an expansion over there. Oh, this is, this is definitely a lot of work. I guess I could have just scout over there. That was stupid. Okay, so probe down there. Do I get a nexus right? Ah, you jerks! Always putting rocks in my way. Definitely need dragoon range. Okay. If only I had mules, mules would definitely be handy. What if I should build another command center down here? I'm gonna do it. Yep, just walking through the minerals, no big deal. Okay, how's this one looking? Not quite done yet. Not enough minerals. Oh, I found another base. Oh my goodness, that was just pure luck too. Uh oh. Come on, carrier. Just let me make the rest of those interceptors. Oh my god, this is so much stuff going on at once. I think the best thing to do is build, build cannons, and keep macroing. Also, I'm gonna have a million archons. I think I'm gonna go archon carrier. That sounds, that sounds pretty good to me. Okay, 
Okay, build a fleet beacon. Build one of these. Get upgrades. Yes, I know I have a lot of gas already. Upgrade complete. Alright, this command center is finally done. And some of you guys can go over there. Another base? Jesus. This is actually going to be ridiculous. Alright, just scanning around. I think that's enough mining at that base. Definitely gonna need a lot more pylons. Alright, I've definitely got this economy. Oh, well, maybe not really that many over there. Okay. I think I'm gonna go with mostly Protoss units. Which I know does limit my supply, but. See, so yeah, I do need a Templar Archives for this one. I hear you. Your orders, Templar. I can make a couple more SCVs over here. Help flush that one out. This base is doing okay. I'm still gonna make a couple more guys, though. Upgrade complete. We are here to rise. Uh oh. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Hopefully that's all the stuff they're sending. I'm gonna look at this base as more as like my macro base. Instructions. Okay, that should be good. Up here can keep making probes. I should definitely build some cannons though. I never built the cannons over here, did I? Nope, I did not. Okay. Uh, I think I need to expand again, actually. And also make a bunch of High Templar. Because I have a way too much gas. Where should I make those gateways? Gateways are so big in this game. Like, it's so hard to build stuff, like, super organized. Just because everything is so big. Yeah, that's definitely enough for us up there. You guys need to go over there. Gonna work on the Arbiter. Arbiter Tech. Carrier has arrived. Upgrade complete. You have not enough minerals. Instructions. You have not enough minerals. Interceptors enough are minerals. so freaking expensive. So I'm gonna save it for an expo. I'm gonna go ahead and save the game. I will have a lot of carriers, but not a whole lot else. So hopefully, hopefully this ends up working out. All right, next is time. Gotta get an Arbiter or two. Just because they're awesome, and I finally got the uh, interceptors done for these guys. Yeah. 
Time to get some High Templar rolling. Actually, I think this pylon may be an issue. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. We'll see. Oh my goodness! Oh, this is not good. Definitely not good. Hey, you guys put my ad on. That's not good. Fireback, get out of there. Well, he's got six kills. I'm just gonna have to live with it. All right, let's make some more Marines. That was a lot of SCV deaths. Okay, I see the Zerg bugs. Yes. Affirmative. Alright, this I'm okay with. Standing by. Should probably research green range. I'll have a gun plus one to make them feel a little bit better about themselves. Alright, this expansion is up. Actually, no, let's save this for a piece of evils. Instructions. I feel like I'm almost ready to move out and kill something. I think I'm gonna bring this carrier along. Just because he's gonna be freaking awesome. Carriers, hurry up! Yeah, yeah. Pylons, buddy. Get back to work. What? My what? Oh my god! Oh no! No, it's time to move. Definitely time to move. That is definitely more than one cannon can handle. Oh, they're gonna kill my cannon. That's just not cool. Carriers are pretty good versus guardians. Just saying. All right, you guys can go back to work. Haha! You missed. Oh, I guess you didn't miss. Okay, so I guess I can build a factory. You can totally come down here and build that, though. All right, so I definitely want to kill Red when and where I can. Upgrade complete. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Of course. All right, Scourge are annoying, but they can't see me right now. So that's good. You definitely got to watch out for the Scourge. Because they will ruin your day. Now 
I usually just set my arbiters to auto follow. I don't know if that's the best choice or not, but might as well send in my archons. Can you guys seriously not find your way out of there? Ow, oh, plague is annoying. Ow, plague is annoying. Actually, really, really, really annoying. This guy's gonna have plenty of you now. I long for combat. All right, hopefully my ground army is actually doing something. The warriors have engaged the enemy. Ah, God, plague. Yeah, maybe I should use my hero guy because he's gonna get plagued. You require more Vespine gas. Warriors have your hero enemies. Your command. The warriors have engaged the enemy. Okay, everything is looking okay. Four down. Yes, sir. Instructions. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. The overmind's right in the middle of that. Okay, mission objectives. Destroy the Overmind. Sounds good. There's really no easy way of going about this, I feel like. Can you just kill my expansion because I'd make you very upset. Actually. We're gonna start from, right? Yeah. Alright, so you make that. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Are you guys still doing okay? Alright, slow and steady. Just, just take your time. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Ow, oh, there's the scourge. My guys are all in the red. The power of Plagu. Orders, Captain. Right away, sir. Right away, sir. Alright, these are gonna be my backup plan. Complete. Upgrade complete. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Orders, Captain. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. I can't feel that. I think we'll be okay. Because they are quickly running out of units. Not a lot they can seemingly do versus this amount of carriers. But you never know. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, make some nukes just in case. Somebody call for an exterminator. Somebody call for an exterminator. There's like nothing up there. Apparently the whole party is happening right here. Alright, so nuke should be almost done. Oh, I didn't make a nuke. I do have the nuke silo though. Which is the important part. My carriers don't take too much damage. 
Because I definitely need you alive. Roger that. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. God, nukes take forever. Reporting for duty. Affirmative. Ghosts also take forever. Still only have just the one. Oh, what's this? Executor, your mind has been weakened. I fear we have sustained severe damage ourselves. I will steer the Gantrithor into a collision course with the Overmind. If I can channel enough of the Dark Templar's energy through the hull of the Gantrithor... What? No, Tessa, I've got this. Don't... Don't pull a Star Wars. Remember us. Don't pull a Star Wars, I got this. Don't even... Remember don't even worry about it. Here today. May Adun watch over you. I was just going to nuke the damn thing, but uh, I guess if you want to crash it. But this is it. This is the final cinematic. Well, this is the victory screen, but there should be the last cinematic. I just want to say before I do this, guys, thank you so much for watching this series. Let me know what game I should beat next. Aside from Diablo 3, post down below. Let me know. Please give this video a thumbs up. Here we go. Tassadar. Epilogue. As the Calyx swirling energy subside, a heavy silence set over the battlefield of Ire. Due to Tassadar's noble sacrifice, the Overmind was now dead and the Zerg swarms were scattered and broken. But as the heroes surveyed their once glorious homeland, they realized that their victory had cost them all but their lives. Ire was left nothing more than a smoldering ruin. Those few Protoss who survived the final battle could only wonder what the future would hold for their race. And far away on the distant planet Char, Kerrigan, the self-styled Queen of Blades, knew that the time of her ascension was at hand. Oh, the game's over. Nerd chills for sure. Haven't seen the ending of StarCraft 1 in a very, very long time. So seriously, guys, thank you so much for watching this series. Um, for those of you who actually watched the entire thing, you dedicated 12 plus hours to this series. I cannot thank you enough. Um, seriously, just being able to play this game has brought back such good memories. Not only from my childhood, but as StarCraft as a whole, and you know, just to be able to play it again uh, right before the Diablo 3 release comes out. It's a good segue into Diablo 3 because honestly, like my whole life has been Blizzard games. So um, I, I enjoyed this way more than I thought I would. To be to be quite honest, I, I didn't know if I would actually finish the campaign or not. But uh, you know, the kind words from you guys in the comments, the the fact that I love this game, the great story, and also that there is still Brood War to uh to beat is awesome so if you just skip to the very last video um i i don't blame you because that's a lot of other footage to uh to try and check out but definitely 
definitely, you know, let the playlist play in the background if you want to listen to me play it. Uh, for those of you who do not know, I do have a playlist of this entire series on my homepage. So if you just go to youtube.com slash husky, you can check out every single mission in the playlist. I think it's called StarCraft 1 Entire Campaign. It is the playlist on the right side. So um, if you click play all, that's a really good way to help me out if you want to watch more than one video at a time. Um, that's, that's a great way to do it. Same thing goes with any of my videos, really. If you want to just sit back and enjoy a playlist, any of those videos are, uh, or any of those playlists are a good one to watch. So I do plan to, um, in the future, I, I want to beat more games. I, I think I may eventually change my YouTube background. I know it's been the same thing for like three years now, but uh, I, I kind of want to make it a little bit more modern, a little bit more up to date. And when I do that, I'm going to start making a list of all the games I've beaten on my channel. The only game so far that has fallen under that category is StarCraft 1. Um, but I mean, that's 12 hours of footage alone. So Brood War will be the second game in that list, most likely, or Diablo 3. I was going to do Diablo 2, but I may put that on my second channel. And really, am I going to want to play Diablo 2 right when Diablo 3 comes out? Probably not. And uh, plus, Diablo doesn't have that great of a story, or at least not compared to StarCraft, I would say. And I know there's a lot of Diablo fanboys out there, but really, who plays Diablo for the story? Not a lot of people. Uh, I think they got the story pretty good in the Diablo 2 expansion, and Diablo 3 will have much better storytelling than Diablo 2, I feel like. Hopefully we'll have a lot more content as well. That game, of course, does come out on the 15th. It may already be out by the time I upload this. I'm not quite sure. And uh, again, thank you guys so much for watching. It's been a ton of fun. And I guess we're just going to watch the, uh, the credits here for a little bit. Scenario layout. Those five guys right there. Good job. <laughs> Manual design and layout. Oh, that Chris Metzen. You would design the manual. Manual. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else I can think of? Uh, most of you probably aren't watching anymore at this point because it is kind of the the Cinemax box designer. Almost Breidenbecker. Oh, I guess she's marrying Robert Breidenbecker. Wonder how that relationship worked out. Hmm. Director of Operations. I love all these pictures. These are all the discussion screens where you you get your kind of mission objectives and all of that. And yeah, I'm I just am so glad I beat this game. It took a lot of a lot of time, a lot of effort, but it was worth it. And how about Flash playing StarCraft 2? That's insane. I'm trying to think of what else I can actually talk about. Uh, QA analysts, additional testing. Good job, guys. Sometimes I wonder what happened to a lot of these people. Additional testing, Mr. Mike Perazzi, John Schwartz, hardware specialist, there we go. Vic Larson, apparently knows what's up with a bunch of hardware. And God, this game is so good. It's so funny because I was playing this game, of course, and uh, Diablo 2, and it's just hilarious to me. A lot, of, a lot of the younger people out there who are just starting to get into computers might not actually know this. But games back then, they had very wonky resolutions. There was no such thing as widescreen monitors. Everything was CRTs. Widescreen did not exist. So these games are played in a perfect box, as I'm sure you can tell. And the same thing with Diablo. The, uh, the resolution was actually 800 by 600, whereas 1920 by 1080 is the standard now. It does make making videos so much easier because hardly any games out there, even indie games, will uh, usually, <laughs> usually be able to be played at 1920 by 1080. It makes recording videos so much easier because it gets it in that nice widescreen. YouTube as well is in full widescreen. So it's kind of crazy how far um, really everything's come is since this game came out. I mean, it's been 12, 13 years. It's just insane that uh, 1920 by 1080 is the standard. Who knows what the next one's gonna be? So information systems manager, information systems. Hung Nugan, never know how to say that name. Public relations. Good job, Susan. With the PR. We got the BD, the business development. Legal counsel. Marketing. Well, you guys did a good job because this game sold like freaking hotcakes. US sales. Todd Little Buddy Coil. Danny Kearns. Internal sales. International sales, not internal sales. That'd be weird to hire someone to sell it internally. Direct sales, Rob Beatty. Kim Farrington, manufacturing. John Goodman. Wow. Battle.net hosting partners, Global Center, Mindspring, Exodus, Multiplay. Don't know if any of them exist anymore. Oh, yeah, here's a special thanks. This is what we've been all waiting for. 
The special thanks are awesome. They always hide stuff in there. At least they usually do. I think they've done this one. Bunny and Doug. Dr. Gregory. Walter, Susan. Shane's not Alan's mom. Pin Pin. Marlboro cigarettes. Uh, Victoria Fitch. Lots of Fitches in there. Care Bear. Notorious Crawfords. Nuclear Rabbit. Long Island Iced Teas. <laughs> oh, you guys are so funny. Blizzard always with a good sense of humor in all their games. The Residents of South Park. Brazil 2001. 420. <laughs> Monkeys, Mobius. George Lucas, perfect. Chicken King. The Prodigy, Mountain Dew. Steven Spielberg. <laughs> the Girls of Crazy Horse. Guinness. And you for reading this Operation Seawall. So awesome of them to give a call out to them. Special thanks to those two guys, or three, I suppose. No pixels were harmed in the making of this game. It's good to know. To the best of our knowledge. Eh, how certain can you really be? All right, guys, that is it. I feel so accomplished after beating that. I don't even want to end this series, but we have completely beaten StarCraft 1 in its entirety. Brood War, of course, still does stand. If you take a look at single player right here, the expansion is right here. And you can just see right here, the three different characters, Kerrigan, Artanis, and I forget this guy's name. But uh, such great stuff there, guys. I had a ton of fun. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to continue playing single player games. Maybe even going to be playing some Diablo 3 action as that will be coming out soon. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. It was about 12 to 13 hours of work for the entire series. So hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.